Hey, buddies, Potato McWhiskey here, and we're about to get started. Um, we're a little bit late um, due to a couple of technical issues, technical issues, getting things all together, getting things set up. I was almost super late because I miscounted the time zones, um, but we are here. We are getting started. I'm just about to go and uh, switch to my perspective, and we can start listening to the host. Uh, you can capture as many as you want. I know the CPL has this limit of one city-state capture, but here there we go. We don't care. Kill as many as you want. Capture as many as you want. It's up to you. It's free reign. Rule number four: Surrender is allowed. You will then become a vassal. So at any point, you can say, "I surrender to whoever is killing you," and you become their vassal. It is now your objective to make sure that that person wins. Your alliance with your teammate is broken, and it's now your job to make your vassal win or whatever this is uh number wow, five again. no city trading is allowed any other trading is okay gold trading is fine luxury trading is fine no city trading okay everyone clear on the rules can i get a yes from everybody here yes yep yes Ye yep. yes all right cool very cool uh i see that there have a couple people that are loaded in but we are not fully ready for that uh, right now, why don't we get some predictions? Like, let's first have this prediction. How many nukes are we gonna have this year? Any predictions? I said 20. I think the same was a 10. Yeah, that's right. I said 10. And then Zoe said 27. Wishful thinking. <laughs> Anyone else? Anyone else have any predictions? I think well, we're gonna put I... over under on eight. Eight? Yeah. I'm gonna think. I don't know. Zero I mean, nukes. if Horse Lady goes wild. There might not be any nukes. There'll be no reason for them, because there'll be too many horses. I the think... The spectator's loaded in. I can see everything now. Oh, ho, ho. Okay. Uh, we are going to go to the casters. And me and BB are going to go to the other thing, and the stagmas as well. Uh, we'll see you guys later. Good luck, everybody. Remember, this is for the kids. We are raising money for the kids, right? Yeah. This is not a fully full competition. We're going to have fun here today. All right. All right. Let's Good luck, guys. Fun allowed. Hey, yeah, fun, everyone. About. Oh, hush. This is the <laughs> ultimate competition. <laughs> did you're, you you're get right. that? Sorry? Did, did you know <clears throat> what get set? Did you know what get set? Yes. New, new and wet. New and wet. Yes. 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 <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. The, the map's all good. So it should be okay. like, did you know what? Okay, bye. Right. Good luck, have fun. I love you all. Let's go. Uh, quick I question. If I spawn in like with a barb two tiles for my settler, is that legal? What? Oh, jeez. Not again. So, <laughs> like, I think we settle one, one of these two. two tiles south of my settler. I think we spawn on the, I think we settle this T. Because that gives us access to a 2-2. Two -two. Access in to place, another T. Uh, we're playing the Cree. What does Cree do again? He wants camp pastures, camp pasture, meek waps, plus one gold of adjacent to a luxury. So I think we don't have any camps, we don't have any pastures, but I think we settled the tea. So yeah. We're good, right? Everybody's in, so we can just start making moves. Yeah, I've, I've done we my can. already. Well, no, I was just nervous because uh, sometimes in multiplayer games when I played in the past, um, they've been like, uh, I would see like everything. I got to do oh. my tile yields and stuff. All right, all right. Got this. All right. Um, Sorry. <laughs> mini map size. There we go. There we go. Am I moving the game right. setting for not shuffling automatically between units because I didn't turn that off and we got the Disable unit up. auto cycle. It's in interface options because I literally just turned it off because it infuriates me. Good luck, potato. Hey, don't donate Everybody to me. Make sure to have quick animations and quick combat as oh, well. Oh, that was please. a prime. Yes, do give me primes. Thank you. Um, donate to Jingle Jam or this event. But what if I want to? I'm happy with either. I just don't want to make money in the stream. Jewish combat. <laughs> just kidding. We do have at least one pasture. We have also potentially another horse here. Potentially a horse here too. Kick same ass at taking names without taking any names. Thank you for the prime. I love you. You're the best. You're the best, my friend.
foibles. It's so weird having the announcers in the background. It happened. It, it will be a little bit blurry. <gasps> Look at this. I know. <laughs> uh, because be I am playing in a land center through Parsec, so it'll be a little bit blurry. Last person to end their turn has to donate five dollars. God damn it! Hurry up. That's a good policy. Is it is it watchable, or is it super blurry? Also, make sure you have your settings on. It should it should be a little bit blurry. Should be a little bit blurry. Did any of you guys uh, press put a JJ in chat if you watch the Jingle Jam? Uh, any of the streams on the Jingle Jam? Nice. Did you guys enjoy it? I had a great time in the Jingle Jam. I got a little bit anxious. It was so weird to be in a recording studio. I like, I got, I, I was mentally, I was a bit weird, and I think I drank too much. So I think if I'm, if I'm gonna go over to the Yogg's Cast again, uh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna drink as much. I think that was probably my biggest mistake in terms of making the content. The second biggest mistake was not like being mentally prepared enough, um, and not understanding what I was getting into. Um, so now that I have that understanding, I feel like I'm going to make much better content with the Yogs in the future. Um, because I have the first time I do something, I'm like, like even the first time I put like petrol in a car, uh, I was just like, dude, I don't know what I was doing. Oh, God, I need to like I need this. I need to go offline in Steam. Highlight of the Jingle Jam for me, by the way, was uh, meeting PFLAX. Um, he's the only person associated with the Yogs that I actually knew. Uh, absolute stellar guy, just hilarious. Uh, really, really fun to be around. Um, you had good tech chemistry with Duncan in the Civ stream. I think me and Duncan could make really cool content together. I do. I, I agree with that. Um, when we were in the same room, uh, Duncan's energy is very bounceable. He has like, I don't know how to describe it, but he's like. He's just so, um, Let's go, don't do. good at like laying you up for jokes and also bouncing off what you've said. Like he's just, he's really, really good. Three minutes. Is that what we were doing early on? Uh, I guess so. I'll uh, I'll bounce the question to Moy Sauce in the chat. Even looked at your. To be quite honest. Um, I feel like natural start with the Cree is two Okichitas. We also really want to get um, pottery ASAP to get the meek wrap. We can get eight error score super early. We might not need eight error score. Um, we could so, maybe uh, justify animal I husbandry really into pottery. Uh, I have no split screen today, so if you need to talk to me directly, uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. You might have to message me. <laughs> I'm going to need to turn you up too, Sozo. All right. Oh, is it all of a sudden like quiet? I think you misunderstood me what I was saying earlier. I was saying earlier you were quiet, and then I think you made yourself quieter. 
I somehow became more quieter. Well, great. Dude, the the pound maker music. How could you possibly say it's D tier? It's actually that's okay. I tried to turn you up a little bit, but you are coming across quiet. Like top which is five music like in the first game for you. So so for me, it's so good. I love the th- the the throat singing. I love any any human singing where they don't make word noises. I love that. That's why I love the Dune movie. Holy shit, dude! The Dune movie was so good. You know, when the spaceships are coming down. It's like not ah! really, but. And like you have like I'll the, just keep turning you up on my end. As like the people I, I are like chanting and stuff. That was so fucking great. good. Okay. Yeah. I'm not at my home studio, my fellows. So, uh, um, I have the I game play. pretty quiet. Let me see. Can I? Uh, Your Majesty. Your Grace. With the remote connection, this feels like so foreign, but yet it's still. Safe. That should be a this little bit better. Feeling. He just found a tribal over here. It's working surprisingly well. I thought this was going to be a worse playing experience, but I'm feeling okay. More singing, please, Buntadaman. I have no ability to sing <clears throat> on key. It's just a skill I never practiced, really. That's all it is. Yeah, I really love Native American uh, music. I started listening to a band called, a tribe called Red, I think it's called. And they do some really, really good, like heavy Native American inspired music, like metal and hip hop and stuff like that. That has like just that Native American aesthetic built into it with like the throat singing and the um, drums. Really, really good. I'm ahead of the YouTube how much in donations for a potato attempt at throat singing? I could do it right now, but I'm going to tell you right now. Um, <clears throat> years of smoking and drinking like destroyed my my throat. So, oh, so that's me like doing like a Pavarotti. Oh, so if I was trying to do throat singing, I can't go that like, you know, I can't. I can just I can't <clears throat> I can't sustain it because <clears throat> uh, I start coughing. Hey, potato. Hope you're doing well. Hey. Hello, Lambago. How are you? Because I want to ask you your gold. Is it possible? Are you... Right, I have to heckle some mm-hmm. people. She, she don't answer. <laughs> uh, she might not have heard you. Lombago, I think Lee's just talking to you. Hello. What's up, buddy? How's it going? <laughs> I Sorry, I was asking... messing with some settings, so. Pardon? Don't worry. I am just asking deals. If you can just accept on the deals. Oh, cool. accepted. Oh, I didn't even notice it. Thank you. No problem. I, I took your money. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I mean. Thank you. Yeah, I guess I guess I can accept that for you. <laughs> uh, I uh, I think uh, I hope you're gonna accept uh, the next one. <laughs> there will be maybe a lot of deals in this game. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> Thank you. All right, I, I'll keep an eye on it. I got you. I got you. Uh, so I have to heckle three people. Zoe, you're stinky. Sassy, your horses are stinky. And nerdy, you're also stinky. Wow. Well done. If you don't know, I have a heckle and compliment player incentive, so. Just don't heckle me. I'm randomly complimenting you. It has nothing to do with your civ. Wow, if I had horses, like, (laughs) right now, that would be really terrifying for everyone. I've been scouted. What's up, Bikini? Everyone say hi to Bikini Bode. The Swede. In fact, at Bikini, 
and then type the words bork 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 how's your Cree run going it's going well so far it's only just started so it's hard to tell really Is that lady voice person, same person who was covering Game of Thrones in your multiplayer game a few weeks ago? No, that was Boba from the Yogg's cast. You watching the World Cup? Uh, I don't give a shite about it. I might watch a game with my dad, that's about it. Just because it's something to do. Oh my god, the word bork is meaningless to me now. Should I go three scouts as the Cree? Is that insane? Triple scout? Cree? Powers are kind of weird, in my opinion. They're mostly holdovers from Wild West shows. I mean, I don't know anything about them, so I can't really comment on them. Um... What am I going over for... F what am I going early for? I think I think I will go three scouts, especially because this is like a 2v2v2v2v2v2v2. So the more information I have, the better decisions I'll make. I don't need to go for pottery right now because I'm not... I don't have anything within trading range. I think I would rather go for like mining. Um, What's going to be my strategy? It's pr probably going to be like try to golden age into commercial hubs for... Science while playing a culture heavy game. I will There's ask you your money again next turn. Oh my god, he's just take, take, take. I know, yes. but you know what? I, if my friend, you know, the Civ Give is all about being generous, I... so if my friend <laughs> needs me to donate, then I'm going to donate, right? Oh, uh, <laughs> that's too kind. That, that's the mentality of Civ Give. <laughs> Thank you a lot. <laughs> Uh, my favorite win condition is obviously culture. It's the one I do the most. It's the one I enjoy the most. It's the most complicated in terms of how many game mechanics you have to interact with. Um, domination is quite okay. Religion is probably my least favorite. Diplomatic victory is kind of like a eh to me. It's kind of like a secondary one that I go for. Diplomatic can be fun though. Um, in certain certain situations, you're playing certain saves, doing all that sort of stuff. I do prefer culture. Culture is just the best one. It has, it has a very obvious way to defend. It has a very obvious way to attack. Um, it happens in the late game. You don't have to do war. Ruh row. Hi, sassy gamer Ruh -roh, lady. Hi. How wonderful. So it begins. That you are next I, to me. I, I regret many things I said last year, and I just want you to know that right now. Could you enumerate the things that you regret? You just remind us. What, what was uh, it? I may or may not have said, and I quote, we're definitely going to betray Sassy at some point in the last Civ Give. <laughs> Which is now problematic because she's right next to me. Didn't you also say that you would be really happy to spectate for the rest of the game? I'm just letting you know now, before I show up with my horses, that- I said no such thing. If you that want to become video. my vassal, you're welcome to become my vassal now. I'm okay with this. Ooh, the the turn seven vassal play it's a, could could pay off for us, you know. Thank you so much, Brian. Appreciate you, man. Yo, she seems scary. Get the Roach City out now. Listen, there will be no Roach Cities this game, okay? If anything, I'm the Roach creator, okay? I will make Roach Cities, but not of my own. I will what's force this others. one gold thing? What, what's that supposed to be? 
Oh, that's just a gift, like a goodwill gesture. I'll so take I it have a now. couple of uh, roasts that I need to start off the stream with. So I'm going to go ahead and decide to roast VB twice, because if I was in a room with uh, VB, Caesar, and Genghis Khan, I'd shoot VB twice. So <laughs> VB so bad at Civ, he had to li literally not play it and let the AI play to get famous. That's rude. And you thought you were uh, had a good chance at winning Civ Give last year, but uh, guess what? You, uh, you didn't. We'll never know. Wow. Man, those, those all cut pretty those were, deep. That was that was worth those. the donut. Whoever donated that money got their money's worth. That was good. He took the knife and he twisted it. Probably a serrated knife too. Classy gamer lady, I'm gonna just start watching your stream. Uh, mine's not working. <laughs> My chat was like, "Damn, nerdy went in." <laughs> Sorry. Okay, at least we know we don't need to scout this way anymore. So I'll send this scout northeast and then the next scout southwest. I had like literally the second turn, a barbarian scout came out, saw my land, flew, flew away to a barbarian settlement that was five hexes from my town. Good start. I spawned in with a barb next to me, so yeah, I'm in the same boat with you. <laughs> I think he doesn't have honorable husbandry researched, so he doesn't... I, how do I tell what he's researching? No, I guess that's like a spectator thing. Kamasi right next to you. Uh? 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 Haven't found a city state yet. Is your teammate streaming? Yeah, if you go to, I think most of these guys are Twitch streamers. So if you go to Twitch, you can find, in the Civ, if you type Civ 6 Twitch, you should be able to find all the other streams do not under any circumstances go to another stream and give me information from that other stream this is not a competitive game of Civ, and even if it was a competitive game of Civ, st stream cheating screen poaching sharing information will get you banned why does my sauce have zero everything not settled he's the observer he watches the game he doesn't play um he's the civilization equivalent of a bench warmer the hell was that? Okay, we found Bologna. Hello. Uh, we're not ready for pottery. I mean, I can always put the trader to sleep, I guess. I'll get the pottery now. Okay, so we at least have a couple of good coastal cities up here to the left. Um, I wouldn't say coastal cities are ideal for the Cree, though. Uh, hey, Petitu, do you think you'll ever make videos on Rebel Inc. after playing it with Spiff? Actually, I would really like to play Rebel Inc. Um, I think I really, really enjoy the game. And uh, I also really enjoyed playing Orbi Universo. So it would be kind of fun to make some videos on both of those. Or even just do a live stream. Um, I'd really like to make a Rebel Inc. video, I think, after playing it. Really strong start with the tiles. Yeah, I do like, I do like my start for my tiles. Uh, there's a couple of tiles I'd like to buy, like the horses, if I could get it. 
Um, what am I working right now? Two twos. Yeah, if I could get the horses, I'd feel pretty good. I need to get a builder relatively early. I've got a couple of pastures I need to get improved, which is important for the Cree because we get um, <clears throat> uh, bonus resources for the amount of camps and pastures at a city. Uh, and we also get pretty strong Mequap. So I think a, a very early builder here would be quite good. If I could get like pasture, pasture. There's also a couple of like plantation resources I need to get online to what pantheon are we thinking um vanilla pantheons are kind of dog shit so it's hard to pick one to be honest with you potato i really enjoyed seeing you play games with the yogis yeah i had an amazing time uh uh playing with the yogs cast i'd love to go back i'd love to see them all again okay there's rapa nui unfortunately i won't be able to get a good surround on that city and rapa nui mission is to send a trade route i may send them a trade route I don't know if Moai are going to be the direction I go this game. Um, but it's something to consider. I'm going to start moving this warrior back for my settlers. Why is the timer so damn long? I'm not sure. It does feel very long. Am I going to go for a religion? Um, I don't think the Kree is really a religion sieve. Maybe... If no one built Stonehenge for a while, I might pop a Stonehenge right here. Ah, uh, TGM, do you want to get a friendship? Sure. <laughs> I'm going to go for a survey. I don't need discipline right now. Out, uh, soon, no? This is online game speed. You do have a pl bunch of plantation resources. I could go for plantation um, culture. Plantation tiles aren't very good, although they so would give me a lot of gold. I enjoyed you dedicating half an hour farming salt from PFLAX. PFLAX is an incredible canvas for content. Like you just, you, all you have to do is like send one caravel to his border and he like, <laughs> he lost his shit. It was hilarious. Um, that was some of the most fun I've had in a Civ 6 game in multiplayer. I think the biggest, the only mistake nice I made is I got a little bit stream? too drunk towards the end. Yeah, and I wasn't able I'm, to like I'm not at my be as engaged as I should have been. OBS so here. I think uh, I'll have to limit myself now from now on. If I'm on a Jingle Jam stream, like I I drink every two hours. I think I was pouring myself far too big a glass. So I'm going to have to limit my drinking slightly um, whenever I'm on camera. I think that's going to be important. Maybe ping Moyer and Nystagmus and maybe one of them. I was having too much fun drinking and just... Yeah. Maybe during her break, I'll see if I get it up in time. Nah, you seemed fine. Yeah, I see. I seemed fine from the outside, but on the well, inside, I was like, like I was having thoughts, but like my tongue was like wood. I couldn't talk. The Sim Show is where I'm usually at. I don't usually stream. Are we shouting out big donations this year? You, yeah, should I, you should. That. It's a really important part of the process, I would say. I'm just going to go down my list. Tamorius, $50. My Fat Dog Share, thank you for the 20. Raid Runner, thank you for the 250. Civilized Bolt with 200. Thank you so much. Cyro, Cyro thank you for the $50. Uh, I'll, keep, keep an, I'll keep an ear out to see if someone's super quiet. I, I didn't really hear who, who was quiet there. So we won't be able to kill Rapa Nui, sadly. Oh, he's kind of hasn't gotten what he needs yet, sadly. The best part was was looking at your face, trying not to laugh and not succeeding. Do you prefer multiplayer or single player games? It kind of depends on my mood. A lot of the time I like to play single player games when I'm on my own. Um, but I will occasionally play multiplayer games like on my own. Like I'll play multiplayer with strangers. But where I think I have the probably the most fun is if I'm playing a single player game. And... I'm like someone is watching me play or I'm hanging out with friends or if I'm playing multiplayer with like people I know those are like the times I have the most fun uh, what's your thought on cinnamon versus chocolate it's not even a competition I don't I don't even know I've if cinnamon is actually donations to throw out there molar molar with 100 bales with 50 Paul Lewis with 20 Jenna with 20 Tamorius with 20 and Tara Galad with 50 that says hashtag nuke nerdy yeah I don't even know if yes. cinnamon is fit for human consumption I should probably name off some of it. I have, I have one that is, uh, I'm either choosing to cut the hair or save the hair, and it is it is a race right now. I've gotten $100 from Ricochet, Boomzy for 20 Koala for 25 It's just, I might, I might be bald at the end of the stream. 
cut the hair and turn it into a Gilgamesh beard. <laughs> I just I got... have to say, I, I support anybody who donated on behalf of Nuke Nerdy, so thank you so much. Um, I have a dono here too, uh, just uh, $50 from Anonymous. Thank you so much, for, I appreciate that. Got a question in here, guys, and it really bothered me. Um, the question is, uh, thoughts on cinnamon versus chocolate. Now, my opinion is, I like chocolate, but I'm not even sure if cinnamon is like fit for human consumption because God damn, is it nasty. I'm allergic to cinnamon. Based. Of course you yeah, are. Yeah, cinnamon's not, not ideal. Like in a, in a Christmas drink, that's about it. I didn't I know, not realize like... there would be so much anti-cinnamon sentiment happening. Yeah, I was going to say. Oh <laughs> Shun the cinnamon I mean, enjoyers. Like, Shun them. <laughs> if you yeah, make French potato, toast you're, you're pro with soup, cinnamon, right? I remember it's watching good. that video. What do we think of soup? Because soup's so, great. Soup is amazing. Any liquid-based dinner is soup? amazing. You've got pho. You've got, like, that other one that I don't remember. Ramen. That one. That one's good. Uh, soup is amazing. Any brothy thing, I'm on that. Hold on, is a hot dog a sandwich? Uh, yes, and I can prove it to you scientifically. Oh, I agree. Let me hear this scientific perspective. <laughs> Let me hear this scientific explanation, please. Okay, so uh, if you let's try, <clears throat> let's say you have one slice of bread, okay? Uh, you put a slice of ham on that bread, and then you cut it in half and fold it over on top of itself. Is that a sandwich? You've taken one slice of bread, you've cut it in half. And... Yeah, it's a sandwich. Right, okay. Uh, so let's say you make a normal sandwich. It's two slices of bread, but one slice of ham in the middle, and you cut that in half. Is that a sandwich? Yeah, that's, one hundred, that's like the definition of a sandwich. <laughs> Perfect, okay. Now, you take one slice of bread, you fold it over, but don't cut it, and you put a slice of ham in that. Is that a sandwich? Um, it seems like based on your logic problem here, it should be a sandwich. Okay. Now you replace the ham with a sausage. Right? Is that a sandwich? Is this it? Is this how we came up with the hot dog being a sandwich? Yeah. You replace the ham with a sausage. That's still a sandwich. And then you replace the slice of bread with a hot dog bun. Boom. It's a sandwich. Boom. All right. Uh, all right. I'm fine. I'm I want, into it. You know, I want to I challenge that. Because, like, if you had just a single piece of bread, and you put the ham in that and folded the bread, you'd have a, something more like a hot dog. I would argue that a hot dog is either a fold or a wrap, but not a sandwich. A sandwich is two separate pieces of bread. It is no longer a sandwich if you do what you're describing. But okay, wait, but hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. take a piece of bread and fold it, put ham in it. Now it's a wrap or a I can see what your logic is, but let, let me say hypothetically, okay? I were to take that slice of bread and I rolled it, but you you never saw the folded edge. You only ever saw the front edge with the, the edge of the bread and the ham sticking out. You would probably call that a sandwich, right? Because you can't see that it's folded I, and not I cut. Didn't, if I didn't see the bottom and I was just looking down at it, like sandwiches are usually horizontal, sort of like flat, right? Like. A, a, a hot dog to look at a hot dog from the side would just look like a piece of bread right it'd look like a roll it would look like a bun or something if i don't know a sandwich you, to know it's a sandwich i have to see it from the side and i can see the ham in between or whatever is in between but that's what i'm saying like say you were looking at the open face of the folded bread right where the ham is sticking out you'd probably be like oh that's a sam uh like let's say you were looking at the open face of the folded bread and you could just see like the edge of the bread and the ham sticking out and you couldn't see the fold or the top of the bottom you'd be like oh uh, that's a sandwich sure sure, right? sure sure i would agree with that deduction i don't see the Can problem it's a sandwich, QED. sandwich uh, real quick just to let everyone know as a team we've hit uh, almost twenty one thousand dollars so we crossed the uh, twenty thousand dollar threshold let's go nice one guys good good work wait wait no 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 the, the, the can't talk about donations we have this this huge study that we another huge do. dono here from potato mcwhiskey for 43 uh -huh. <laughs> no, <I'm just> <laughs> <laughs> speaking no, of no. donations i just got two donations the first one is uh from revenge for 20 dollars. the second one is uh <clears throat> oh sorry and, and uh, yeah the second one is from red dirt saying nuke vb question mark and reward is uh flirt with a streamer so 
Uh, I'm going to flirt with Bows. Ooh, good choice. Oh, hi. Bows, you have such beautiful hair. I hope they don't cut it off, please. Thank you. Well, right now, uh, cut the hair is winning by $120 or so. So if you guys oh, no. want to save these beautiful <laughs> locks, you got to donate. I did just get another $100 to cut it, so... Oh, my oh, gosh. No. Do a dirty dance. And if it gets cut, Sorry, it's going to cut off midstream. So how early can we concede and just be vassaled? <laughs> I'm, I'm sensing a feeling behind that question. Uh, are you asking for a friend? <clears throat> uh, no, I'm asking for me. Oh, okay. <laughs> Could, if you, you, you want to join you Team VB and Potato McWhiskey, I mean, feel free. Could, could you describe the reasoning behind your decision, TGM, please? There will be no explanations. I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm ready for this explanation. What is going on? I, I keep, I keep forgetting that I have to click over to Discord to yes, talk to you I people. Yes, I do the same. Uh, I'm. It, it, this is. I can't imagine a worse start. Is really what it is. Oh. Okay, How about that... this? How about this? If you want to be my vassal, I will ride forth in a million horses and destroy everything in, in its path for you. That's like tough but fair. Like some Lord of the Rings, uh, Rohan saving. Rohan, stuff. death. Sorry, I get too excited about this. You should be excited hey, uh, for potato. Rohan. Hello. I understand. I need to roast you, sir. Oh, wait, I hold on. <laughs> I don't want to be turned into someone's dinner. Oh wait, no, you mean like the your mama kind of. Okay, yeah, you can roast me. Oh, Michael, I mean, I you I'm forgot to click on your... We didn't hear you if you roasted me. God damn it. Oh, okay, okay. There we go, there we go. Uh, I was clicking on the game. <laughs> <laughs> I, so, I know. I, was, I, I, I wanted to ask you if you're ever going to turn into uh, French fries. Uh, actually, I have that in my will. That's how I want my body to be sp disposed of. Oh, well, those, those are going to be some expensive French fries over there. I yeah, I... compliment a player. Uh, and I would like to tell Michael how much I like how peaceful you are. Oh, so sweet. That is so cool. Thank you. I have a $300 donation to announce, Whoa. which has unlocked a full makeover for me. Thank you so much, Carl. Yeah. I really appreciate you. Let's go. Thank you for stopping by. What? I want to see record, a full makeover. For the it was makeover. Mrs. Foible's idea, and I'll get a full face of makeup. Thank you very much. I bet you'll look beautiful. I can't oh, wait. Oh, I know who I'm flirting with next. Yeah! Hey, right? Exciting news, everybody. She's getting white and thirsty for me, and I don't even have the makeup on yet. I have exciting news. Is everyone ready? I'm so ready. Yes. yes. I am only... I've had tons of donations. $50 donations. 25 20 We are so close to me wearing a corgi outfit for the rest of the Civ Give. Just $160 away for that next milestone. And yes, I will be dressed as a corgi. Everybody donate to Sassy because I want to see the Co Corgi outfit. I bet she's going to look cute. I don't know if you've seen her dogs, but they are freaking adorable. So if she can dress like them, uh, and they're going to get confused and be very excited to have a third Corgi in their crew. <laughs> um, I don't specifically have a donation page hey, uh, for this Jim, event. When did we meet each other, by the way? Because I am... Oh, I see. Never mind. I see. Because I was participating in the Jingle Jam, you I didn't want to split nowhere, my fundraising into yeah. two fundraisers. So I'm helping Van Bradley raise nowhere. funds for this one. So if you donate to Brand Ra on, Van Bradley, for, and there's an incentive. Um, as long as it isn't too crazy, I'll do whatever incentives Van Bradley has. Did, uh, did you start uh, beside Coupe? I think I could kill Rapa Nui, actually. And I think it's worth it to do so. Uh, oh yeah. wait, you're up there. <clears throat> oh, we're gonna set some terms here. So basically, I I didn't want to I didn't want to split my audience between the Jingle Jam and the Civ Give. So 
And I didn't also just not want to not What's participate that? in this. We're going to need to negotiate our uh, places on the map here. So, yeah, I'm trying I to like... see you're up there, right? You're in the north? Yeah, because, like, it I'm, doesn't I'm matter. One of I have the... nowhere to go, so do it. Do what you want. I'm one of the big names I mean, in the Civ community, can, and I wanted to lend my you can keep going voice right. and time and energy to you the Civ right. event. I don't know. And that's really my uh, As well as the Jingle Jam. So <laughs> to my right is, is Japan, <laughs> and to my north is C, and to my southeast is C. So. Uh. Yeah, I have, I have a ton of room. They can't turn evil? If you were Coupe, you could go into the sea. I think my first settler goes south. I could even just go one settler this game if I really wanted to. Uh, if I'm going to kill Rapa Nui. You're not laughing. Oh, this is actually huge if I can get both of these kills. Oh, this is even bigger if I can get it. Yeah. I think we just won the game. If I can kill both of these city-states, that's like insane tempo i got so stalled but at least now i've got an army word of barbarians hey vb i see you i think that's uh close mm. enough could you take your scout and turn it around please nice the hill south is good but it's it's like, I think I have to do, I have to gobble up some of this and, like, get a campus here. No, Before there's, no, con there's no condit split. Again, it's the literal worst. I can't wait to get barbarated. I am currently getting barbarated. Am I hot miking? I think no? so. Yes. So oh, basically, right. if you use push to talk and then move your mouse over the parsec screen and then release it, sometimes it'll leave you hot miked. So thank you, sassy. That's a fun feature. Yeah, my bad, you guys. No, it's okay. You weren't actually you weren't actually oh, making good, no noise. Worries. You guys can still hear me, yeah. We always hear you, Zoe. Sure can. I just wanted to see if, like, you know, DTM is like my fast. I don't think it. I have dollars okay. and zero cents. So hey, potato, long time fan. Recently did a Spain slash no campus slash no cross culture dialogue slash tech shuffle science game. Highly recommend. Donated two already. <laughs> Sassy, I'm not going to turn the scout back, but I will only follow the coastline and will not move it towards your empire. Oh, please don't. Don't, don't. Do that? What? Are you saying you don't want me not, to go to war right no, away? No, not you. I mean, I'm not talking to you. I'm not talking to you. I don't know. I'm, look at, I'm looking at Potato me. Whiskey and yeah. his, like, strength of 100 already, and it's a little intimidating. I'm not going to lie. That I think he's ready to march on me. Well, well. BB, don't, don't poke, don't poke <clears> him, please. He's got sharp teeth. Uh, it's it's just because I'm playing the Kree. I got a free, I got a free scout, so and scouts have the same strength as uh, warriors when you're playing the Kree. Yeah, I'll do one more, more and wait for that astrology boost. All right, we got any more donations? I got to be on top of these things. I have to refresh the page every time. We're at $2,810. Crispy AZ with the 25. Woo. I'll throw the roast in. I'll throw the roast in later. Ooh, Sunday roast. I don't hey, think I'm from Hello. Um, I, somebody in my chat says you tend to fib. Ooh, I tend ooh, to ooh, fib? <laughs> yes, oh, wow. they're calling oh. you a fibber. Oh, can we I, chat I am the most honest man <laughs> in the world. I can't believe. What do you mean I'm lying? 
You think I'm lying? I'll be it for her to call you a liar. I'm shocked. Oh, we killed the barb. Idiot. Ooh, Katarja Bay. Who's this? That's ah, Katarja. I can't lie. I'm like that lady from oh. that Knives Out movie, right? I start to I, well, see. I'm. It's I already can't happening. Tell a lie. Isn't that like George Washington? But like, I thought it was Abe. I think so. One of those. I mean, you started stuttering when you're saying that you can't lie, so I don't right, know. This man. is gonna come out. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go into mining and towards encampments, which really sucks. Well, you know what I was thinking, Potato. I mean, if I if I hit my three thousand goal, you were gonna be a part of the uh, Among Us stream because it sounds like you don't fib at all. I and am so bad innocent. at social deduction. Hey, we got a merch so order. So bad. The merch fairy. I'm genuinely a terrible liar, so I I try not to lie. That just yeah, makes I, you sound I like wanna, one. I didn't want to shout out every merch order, but somebody ordered a logo tee, and then in that order donated a hundred dollars. That's oh, awesome. For nice. ordering a T-shirt, so that's like a t that's like yeah, that's a good chunk of money going to gamers that reach. Heck yeah, Steve, thank you. Gaslight gatekeep girl boss. Did uh, any interesting natural wonders get in the game? I haven't found any yet myself. Has anyone else? Well, I mean, are people going to reveal that secret intel? I reveal that I have not found anything. I'm, I'm going to be real I'm with you guys. I one, but I'm keeping it a secret from everybody. How dare Whoa. you? Oh, it's Giant's Causeway. She's OP. What, what if, what if, uh, like, $100 to reveal a natural Your wonder? Film time. For a you got a hundred dollars? You want to donate? Not me. Do it, I'll tell oh, you. Wow. I'm doing dad <laughs> jokes. <laughs> hey, who's taking all the huts in this game? Job of the hut. I haven't found a single hut. <laughs> I know, right? I Somebody's taking all of them. That's a free builder. I am watching Sassy's stream officially as the Zozo stream. Yeah. We'll wait a turn, maybe. Well, hello there, foibles. How's it going? Uh-oh. Uh I think it's uh, too early. Foibles? I need these units to be out of the Yeah, that thing. looks like Egypt to me. Nice and purple. Oh, yeah. Jesus I'm going nice. to give you an opportunity to be my vassal. <laughs> is, uh, I'm going to get this builder no matter what. I met you, though. As long as I take the city, I, know, I will get weird. these build charges. So it Bizarre. doesn't matter when I get them. That is, uh, Even promote I the scout. I'm saving the promotion for a heal. Oh, yeah, I'm not promoting my scout because I'm saving it for a heal because I'm going to be attacking the city. Oh, hello, oh, the leech. Uh, yeah, I need to I get can, this warrior out of the city. I will be at <laughs> but after we, but after we are cool. <laughs> you don't want to face. No bully, no bully, man. No bully. The garrison warrior is making you know. this horrendous. <laughs> As is I the river. Have face. So sorry, but uh, not sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Honestly, I don't know how you can see me, Sassy, because I have no idea where you are. As long as I can get my three I scouts on these I'm tiles, I should be good. Maybe a city state told us about it. I think it's a teams thing where once you meet one person, you meet them both, but you don't see them both on the map yet. Weird, because I only see Van Bradley, but I don't see uh, Potato. Then disregard what I said. I'm a raging liar. Okay, great. Hey, hey Bradley, uh, do, you, do you see me yet? Yeah, I saw your warrior on the coast. Okay. How do? How about? Do you wanna? Do you wanna draw some lines? Are you? Are you okay with that? Just like yeah. Do you want to draw about, a line? Is Bologna, like, is that a good like cutoff? Bologna is a great cutoff. I won't settle any further than the top 
part of Bologna on my side. Okay, I'll, I won't settle any further bottom left of Bologna. That's, I think that's You're Bologna. Right. Perfect. Look at that. We'll Diplomacy. find out soon enough who's full of Bologna. <laughs> there goes my plan to take Bologna. Oh, God. I, I'm going to have to go. I have a warrior that's at one health. That's fine. So has uh, anybody found Bermuda Triangle yet? Hold on. Three times. I got to go to my... Uh... Three different realities. Chat settings. War? Yeah, what did you mean? Shout out another hundred dollar donation from No oh, Redeem. Thank no. you so much. <laughs> Whitney, my arch nemesis. Yeah, hold on, I'm fixing it. Oh, there's another Barb clan. Yikes. Wait, what did I miss? What did I miss? I was too busy looking you just at something else. War on us. What? I did? Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> okay. All don't right. worry, uh, it's all about uh, Michael and me. I just pillaged one only side for my face, Smiley. and uh, we are cool Smiley. with uh, that team. Smiley. No, I, I trust you. I trust you. I trust I, I trust you more than I trust anything else in this game. <laughs> oh, very good. Yes. <laughs> you so, should name you... your religion Lej. <laughs> hey, hey uh, um, Lumbago, I'm coming for you. What? No! What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm already so scared. Our fight will be the fight underneath Does the Titans. Horses? Does potato need the horses? The Titans that are odd spotted liege. Did someone declare war? Uh, no, I'm, I'm good on horses. I have yeah. some. Yeah, someone did declare war on the Oh, sorry, potato. I, my alt keys, my push to talk button stuck. <laughs> so I wasn't meant to say that. You're good. <laughs> yeah, oh, that good cover. Do I? Oh no, I. <laughs> I lost connection to the game and the computer itself. That one leaf. Yeah. Should we pause? Yeah. All right. Sag. Somebody ping Moy. I paused it. Luckily, I'm right here. <laughs> oh, thank you, Zo. Oh, that's a good call. Yes, I can. I can't stream, but at least I can shout at Moy. Uh, Moy is saying, "Can you try and reconnect, Leaf?" Trying to Parsec. The problem oh, was that it wasn't I'm just one account that was spamming in my chat. It was that one account would spam like six messages, and then a new account would appear and spam six you. messages, and then another account would appear and spam Since six messages. Since we're doing messages. that really quick, can I have a? Can I take a quick <clears throat> break, really fast? A couple of minutes. Did you uh, raise the uh, necessary hundred dollars for break? Did I raise what? So go, there was go, actually go, go, like go, go, about go. 10 or 12 bots that all, all came right. into the chat. And there was right probably back. an infinite chain of them. After these messages, we'll be right back. I, this is starting to look very cursed, this attack on Rapa Nui. I don't know if this is going to happen. This is not enough damage. Yes. Nice. Not at like war. That. Good answer. Well, yes. I guess it's, um, it's my fault that I didn't uh, keep that with some unit over there. Wait, who's at war right now? I think uh, the onspot just had the war declared on him because he was just too damn handsome. Oh, that's fair. That's very fair. Yeah, it happens to me all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Comment sections are, no, are a wasteland now. They're working on the bot problem from what I've heard. It's hard. It's a big problem. I also wanted to share real quick with that $300 donation that came in before. Um, that unlocked story time with foils. We're going to have a story time night sometime soon. Ooh, nice. what are you going to read? Read some books. I don't know. I'm going to leave it up to chat. We're going to figure that out. Oh, sounds fun. Well, uh, sorry, I missed why we're paused because I was dealing with like a massive bot invasion in my chat. One leaf disconnected. Okay, okay. We'll get them back then. Yep. Okay. From, from Parsec. Yeah. Sorry, those are all my bots, Potato. I was trying to, uh, you know. Yeah, they had your face. They kept yeah. saying this stream is trash. Come over to Bose's instead. Like, what the hell, dude? Yeah. Wow. Um, it's wow. not letting me connect. Uh, Tamoy is on game. it now. He's trying to figure it out. Okay. It's so it's okay. so weird. I I really wish my stream was working so that I could show you guys. Like I, I I'm not looking. Okay, I'm not looking uh, at any of your monitors. But like if I look at somebody, you guys moving them around, it's like weird. 
the ghosts. Yeah. Uh, I guess I'll uh, I'll quit real quick. I'll try that again. <laughs> I feel bad. Because we already had like a whole bunch of... Oh, sorry. Oh... Tim placed an order for a Civ give mug, but also in that order donated another Lars, thank you for, I don't know why they're not popping leaf, up anymore. Uh, Moy's actually trying to call you in the first realm or your reality. If you could answer that, that'd be great. Uh, are they popping Check up? Are the, are the donations popping up on screen for you guys? What nation is your favorite music? Thank you for the <clears throat> yes. uh, $33 donation. Compliment another player. I can. Sorry, I just realized that. Uh, I was, uh, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and compliment... No one. Uh, wow. I don't, I don't know where you can buy the merch. TGM. Exclamation nice. mark Tiltify. That brings you to Van Bradley's fundraiser, Thanks. I think. I, I really like your voice. Thank you. Oh, you guys are so sweet. The uh, Twitch front page thing is going well. The Civ shows 4,000 viewers. Oh my god. Nice. Damn. This Yo. is awesome. So far, though, that's been going very smoothly. Well, let's just hope it we can give the people what they want. Is it, but is it now possible that you to reconnect that... while the game is going on? Like, that definitely yes. sucks, because the AI will do turns. But... Well, she's not... I don't think... Oh, she's disconnected. Yeah, she's not disconnected weird, from the she's game. Yeah. For, she's from Parsec disconnected, so that is the yeah. remote connection. Is what oh. So her game is still running on the PC, oh, right. but I she's you. connected, I get you. yeah. So, so parse that, yeah, I get you, I get you. There. Yeah. Because we are, you know, solving our technical issues by remotely connecting to a LAN at a LAN center. So a LAN is a local area network. So we are here at Invictus in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. We have 14 computers that are all running civilization right now. And every move you make is being made remotely here on the monitor so it's it's really really it's a real cool solution that we were able to figure out uh oh uh but it's just that part yeah i'm getting a network issue now yeah i just dropped two no canada has been attacked by the moose they're chewing on the cables the internet cables oh crap the moose are rising up it it's is. all over man this is all about that holy site i'm telling you it declare war uh, pillage uh, holy site express did a bunch of you get dropped yeah, 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 yeah. From the Parsec <laughs> yep. connection, though. You're all yeah, still... I think, yeah, from Parsec. So that's... At least the advantage is if there is a, a disconnect, the game is... Fun. You're not. There's not going to be a desync. You're here, your game the is running. stream went down, too. Oh, gosh. What if oh. the land center went out? Yeah, Sif show stream went down. That's probably oh, what happened. Oh, no, not with front page. I I'm still connected. Uh, interesting. I'm still connected. Oh. Never mind, yeah, I I'm just got booted. Gone. Yep, I'm starting to get internet connectivity issues. About to get booted. The land center must be having issues. All right, well, we'll be patient, people, and see what's going on. <laughs> Hopefully, they get TV's on it. Well, yeehaw, yeehaw, partner. Madge. Boybles, are you still on? Oh no, I got disconnected. It like closed out of parsec and everything. Any connectors in the chat? Again, the the games are all still up, so that's good. There's there's no desync. It's just your controlling of the puppet is. Not. I have no idea what the fuck that was. Anyone else disconnected? How many do we have right now that are not? I'm not... still in. I am not I'm having disconnect. issues yet. I'm give me a in. minus. Give me a minus sign in the chat if you're disconnected. Group chat in web chat in Civ's yeah, chat. Yeah, Thoughts of the new yeah, version so Ottoman in Japan. I haven't seen their abilities yet. I was away uh, for the last couple of weeks. They're just letting me know right now. Everybody, take this I... opportunity to retweet each other on social media. And yeah, yeah it's a great idea. Yes. Twitter.com forward slash TGM, the game mechanic. Go retweet them. 
you don't have to retweet me, but you know, you can retweet Sassy. She's nice. Aw, you're so sweet. Are we allowed to explicitly say what the new Ottoman ability is? I'm hesitant to do so for some reason. I think so, yes, yeah, now, because it's revealed. So. Yeah, let's is... talk about it. But, well, Was it revealed? Maybe... No, Ottoman hasn't been revealed. We're, we're... Yes, it is, on my stream. I'm playing yeah, it. Yeah, he's, he's playing it. playing right it. That's the oh, whole yeah, point, that's is right. that we have oh, one yeah, right. I'm player sorry. that... Oh, what's, oh the, sorry. What's, what's the ability? Um... It's 15% uh, uh, science with 15% culture, and uh, that's when I'm in a golden age, and if I'm not in a golden age on the heroic age, I get uh, plus four uh, extra combat strength against other sieves that are still not in a golden age or uh, heroic. Ooh, that's kind of interesting with the armored bonuses. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> yeah. The problem is getting to that golden age all of the time, I guess. Well, here's the thing. Getting a classical era golden age is like pretty easy, right? So well, about that. Uh, it's like yeah. having ping, <laughs> but, well, it's, that. it's like having Pingala in every city. Oh shoot, actually. Hey, one leaf sin, that's good. Yeah, I need to buy a builder and make a Mequap and maybe try to find another I need like one more era score, so I need to find like a tribal village. I've still found zero tribal villages. Yeah, me too. I, I don't know where they are. Somebody's holding them up. <laughs> Everyone I've gotten, I still haven't got a secret society. Ha 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 I know we're not using Or rather, they're not using us. Are donations being read? Yes, but I'm not reading them. Um, someone else's. We got uh, one leaf back? One leaf is Hello? back, yeah. mm, I can't reconnect to, uh, to, the, to, to the game. I don't know how to do. I tried to connect to, to the PC, but uh, it's not working, guys. I, I try again. Moino. Yeah, mine just says waiting to connect. Yeah, it says connection was not improved in time. The host needs to approve your connection. Okay, so I guess we're just waiting on them. Oh man, we got some big yawns in the hood. I'm yawning. Hey, fluffy baby. We can just have everybody relay their turns to me, and I'll uh, put them on their computer. These network problems. This network problem is actually a problem with the land center, not with Firaxis. For once, for once. Hey, hey, fluffy. I'm playing with you because you got technical issues. Who's a fluffy little baby? Hi. That is my little fluffy. Are you so soft? Are you just feeding you whatever that made you feed you? Belly is full? Oh my god. You packed on like a couple of pounds? Damn girl, you thick. You feel that belly? Oh, you've been eating good. You've been eating good. I left my bunny with a <coughs> with a very nice lady who looked after her. And uh, she's kind of chubby now. That lady was feeding you well. You're going on a diet for Christmas. That's what I'm telling you. Potato fat shaming a bunny. <laughs> Have you, uh, uh, hello, Potato McWhiskey. Have you tried the new natural language AI that came out? Open AI GPT. I have tried it. We are it. working on the and it didn't work very well. At the land center, we hopefully will have this corrected. Don't yes. try to open your cage. No. It wasn't as easy as we thought it would be. Okay, I'll give you a treat. The I'm fat take shaming. This opportunity to uh, take a quick break. I'll be right back. Did you poop today, by the way? I think I should check. You need to poop so that I know you're. Digestive so I will announce for every $25 donated on my stream, I'm going to put another dumb sticker on my face. She's I currently already have three. Full of poop. Could be one, it could be either way. You never know what around. And then we'll just keep going from there. 
Uh, you have a bunny, but you're a potato, not a carrot. Rabbits don't actually eat much ca carrot. They eat the green part of the carrot that's above ground. Yeah, we're doing virtual LAN. Can I have a treat too? <laughs> have you been good, Mr. Tibblesworth? Um, really, I had it right. A song by my uncle's golden Yeehaw. silver business. Yeehaw! IB4LB, thank you. Pound for pound. Ah, clever. Any thoughts on trying to get the Steam version of Dwarf Fortress that just came out? I actually really want to play it. I want to, I want to bring more diversity in the games that I play. So that's going to be... The goal for 2023 is to make more scripted Civ content, put out a video every single day, and diversify my games portfolio. Pew. Take that to the bank, and when it's 2024, you can enumerate all the ways that I failed that. <laughs> Next year. Um, what's the big plan for a W here? Honestly, I don't need to plan for anything. I've literally been and gifted like the God start. Are. I have so much land uncontested. I could literally, I could just build settlers for the next maybe 40 turns from my capital city. Uh, and I would just win the game off the back of that. Like just automatically. Um, very easy win here. So I'm more interested in making an interesting game than winning. New year, new potato. Where did I hear that again? You heard that last year when I completely failed to live up to my goals also. Oh shit. We have a whole team. Lee, you should be able to reconnect now. We've got a whole team here scrambling. And uh, we will have this back up and running very shortly. Oh, yawning. Sounds like a preserved Cree game. It could be. Uh, I was able to reconnect. Excellent, excellent. I was never disconnected, which I think is like a nice. superior. That's probably an indication of uh, had to, had to go there, didn't you? will and intelligence. <laughs> so the internet went down at the land center, is that right? <laughs> Hot like the got lines. your game bragging. Um, one or two of the computers had... I'm going to grab some coffee. Best way to get into multiplayer games, Potato. If you're talking about specifically for Civilization VI, the best way to get into multiplayer is to either find a group of friends who are all sim similarly skill leveled and play together and have a really fun time, or uh, find uh, the CPL community. I'm going, to mute, I'm going to mute indefinitely on Discord. Uh, yeah, you can find the CPL community. Join the CPL community. There's like some really good people there. You jump into games. You'll get yourself, you'll get wrecked. But um, everyone is like super happy to teach you how to play. And anyone who isn't, you can just be like, yo, this person was a jerk in my game. And then they get kicked out of the CPL community for a few days. So, you know, um, you know, do that. Watch Michael. Uh, if you look for, go to twitch.tv on spot. And then look for a guy called OnSpot TV. He does like some pretty good commentary games. Hey, Potato, much love from Israel. Uh, Shalom. Shalom? If you can beat Immortal AI, you can also beat the novice CPL players. Keck W. Hi, Andrew. How's it going? Uh, so they'll kick your ass, but tell you how they did it, basically. Ye 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 ye. <laughs> I need to expand my library. Hey, hey, Bose. What, what, what do you call a fish wearing a bow tie? Um, what? So fishticated. Oh, for the love of God. I felt physical pain. <laughs> Follow me for more recipes. Phys physical pain. <laughs> the, chat is, the chat just really dies. Are you okay, potato pain. whiskey? Do you need it's some just, help? Just that pun. He actually, My potato uh, came a portal in opened up above me and much. punched me um, in the face when I heard that pun. Oof. Dear the math, grow up and solve your own problems. Physical pain. Foibles, you're being contacted by. Thank you so much, Sheldor, for the uh, 13 month sub. Appreciate you, man. Glad you enjoyed your little uh, potato. Hey, potato. What's up? What did the ocean say to the beach? Nothing. It just waved. Oh, you knew that one. 
We get that in the Christmas crackers every single. Do you guys get like you know the little Christmas crackers yes. you can pull and they go, yes. and yes. then they have like little jokes in them. Yeah. Wait, yeah. What I love that when I lived crackers. in England. They they're like you you open them and they have like little like jokes and things in it and it has like a little hat that you wear like a little crown that you wear. If you if you oh, haven't had Christmas crackers before, you hundred percent need it. You can you can order them online, even what? in the states. I mean, I've yeah. had fortune cookies. It sounds somewhat similar. It, it, it's, <laughs> it's kind of like a little really fortune nice. cookie with like tiny little presents in them. <laughs> or like a Kinder Egg or something. Kind of. But basically what you do is you have one and it has like a tiny, a tiny firework in it that makes like a little noise, like a pop noise when you pull it. So it's not dangerous and there's no fire, but it makes kind of like a little pew, like explosion noise. Um, and you two people grab each end and then you pull and whoever gets the middle bit gets the presents inside. And it makes like a fun popping oh, noise. Oh, okay, right. Yeah, we Canada has a lot of the, the uh, Great Britain tradition, and that's one for sure. That um, re- what I would really like to do, and I might actually, maybe I have time to do it this year. I would like to actually make my own, but the problem is I have a really big family, so I'd have to make like fifteen of them. Um, but it'd be fun to like make my own and like fill them with actually cool stuff instead of like weird little plastic molded trinkets that you get these days at least I think the stream is up and running again so that's good we're waiting on Ben Bradley and Sassy I think we just had two computers that we're figuring out yeah I'm all good all right Sassy are you here yeah yeah I never disconnected I'm good sorry everyone's ready I'm just doing another round of of words really quick i'm pausing three two one yahtzee oh let's go uh, is foibles and sassy in i just got a 150 dollar donation from basket case <laughs> waiting on foibles i guess <sighs> he is the kind of goy guy to bring foibles to a stream foibles you're here right no he's not even in uh oh Discord. foibles someone shouted foibles that he's 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 slowing us down like shut really loud like go the, the, I, don't know. I, I tried to say Hello, guy and cool. foibles at the same time and i said goy like, <laughs> <Is he Goibles? laughs> <Goibles? laughs> so uh jesus i got I, I got carded at the liquor store the other day oh my, congratulations my, yeah, my, my blockbuster card accidentally fell out. Oh my god. <laughs> we had a place called Extravision in Ireland. And uh, video, video games are like super expensive as a kid, but you could go to Extravision on a Friday and like buy, like rent a video game for like two, three days for a couple of euro, like a couple of pounds back then. Take it home, like finish it. Those are the good old days, man. Go to the shop with your mates. You all pool your like. <clears throat> go to the go to the video store with your mates. Like pool your cash together and like try to buy a multiplayer game that you'd spend the weekend playing. Simpler, simpler yeah, times. Yeah, those were simpler times. And like going and getting your little popcorn and choosing your movie. I miss that. I I I think sometimes life is maybe too convenient. That was one of the things like Netflix. I killed the video store. All right, so Moy's trying to get me connected to oh, a new team. Apparently, mine couldn't regain internet connection, so we're waiting on that right now. Sorry, guys. Oh, you're good. You're good. Sure. So now we can we can blame you. Oh, I like this. Yes, I'm I'm fine with that. <laughs> and they have to like <laughs> reinstalling Civ on this new one as well, so it's going to be a minute. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Oh, okay. So that's technically on us then. We, I guess so. We yeah. Past twenty two thousand dollars. I'll, I'll be back in a little bit knew, there once I get that connected. Our, on our goal. It knew who it was. Absolutely well, unreal. Right. Thank exactly. So much, okay. I'll be right back. Support. Where am I hearing this? Supporting. Well, then I guess the Civ Show at least channel is giving insights. Which is the reason why we're here. Prediction. And play a little. Where the hell am I hearing this? Okay, oh. that's good. As long as we have something for the front page. I mean, <laughs> you forced me. Oh, yeah, like, yeah. Uh, the Civ Show stream. When you got four thousand plus I viewers. I see. I see. Oh, that's awesome. That's when you want the game to, you know, stop working. Um. Since we're waiting on that, do I have how how long do we think it's going to take? Five minutes. No, no one's allowed. No, don't assume that you have a break. Just uh, hold I'm not on, leaving. Right? That's not what no, I was asking. Oh, okay. I'm not leaving.
but I will uh, look into it. Yeah, my plan was to... I'm pretty close Running to being able to buy a builder. Uh, potato, I really think you'd make a great vodka. Sassy, I love how Ooh. sassy you are. Uh, and bows, I think you will look great with or without hair, my friend. Wow. I almost Aw, thank like you. Hair. You're so sweet. I try to be as sassy as possible, but in a nice way. Any sassies in the chat? It's it's a mod check meme. I was you know, if you're being sassy. Oh okay. You have more, you have sassies. You have sassy mods too. Uh, <laughs> okay, I don't have to explain it. Sorry. It's like a dumb Twitch meme. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> um, so like let's say, oh my god, I actually can't think of an example right now. Um, Like, okay, let's say there's like an emote uh, that you spam. Like, I don't know, like a uh, uh, forehead. Okay, I'm following. And then, like, if you do like a really big brain move, in order to encourage chat to spam the emote, you'll say any foreheads in chat, and then people will spam foreheads. So I was basically telling people to spam your emotes in chat. Oh, that's very sweet. Thank you. The, another way to do it is like if you want to Twitch Prime, you say any primers, any primers in chat, and then like people will Twitch Prime. Did you Plugged know in? that if you connect your Amazon account? <laughs> <laughs> Where's that? Ooh. What's that ninja copy paste? Yeah, my, my. Thank you once for the gift. Uh, is gamers outreach worldwide? Would love to start something for my local hospital. I have no idea. Um, I wasn't able to. Oh, what am I getting DMs for? So the update is well underway. It's just that, uh, yeah, for some reason, the specific. Due to their foible. Um, Lunkins. What's going on? Um. The specific computer that Foibles had here at the center, um, it, it lost connection. We don't know what's wrong. Some weird glitch. So we have to reinstall it. Almost done. <clears throat> Almost but done. It, so it will be done within five still, minutes. Yeah, yeah. I just saved yeah. it. Okay, cool. Then I can do five another minutes. round of words. That's the only reason I why I was asking. I wasn't it. stepping away from my computer. Everyone's enjoying the words thing. What's like the advantage it. of membership? I get money. You lose money. You get a badge in chat. Perfectly fair trade. Hey guys, sorry. It's downloading like the full game right now, so it's going to be like anywhere between five and ten minutes. Yeah. Right, 
This is a perfect time to play a game of Civ 6 trivia. All right, let me open up the Civilopedia here. Oh, oh baby. Oh, let me go. redeem myself, please. <laughs> the answer is industrial zones. True. Plus eight True. industrial zones to be specific. No, plus zero. Oh, Everyone I can't open the Civilopedia because the game is paused. Plus zero plus yes. Zero I can't open the Civilopedia because the game is paused. Hold on, let me get the wiki open. Oh, I can't either. Yes, quite frustrating. I was like, oh, maybe because I paused it. But no. Um. This is going to be a pub quiz on Civ Six Great People. I'm ready. All right. All right. Starting up with great generals. In the classical era, which great general creates the great, the art of war, a great work of writing? Sun Tzu. Sun Tzu. Ooh, Sun Tzu. Sun Tzu. Very Stay good. Fast. Very good. Ooh, okay, let me just button? start. Where's the clicker? <laughs> There's our My Jeopardy clicker. clicker. Oh, it's, it's, I buzzed. Sorry, it's it's a team effort. Okay, so you're you're gonna get a score out of you've, you've got one out of one. So, so everyone wins. Okay. Yes, it's a team effort. Okay. <clears throat> In the medieval era, which leader grants? Uh, sorry, which leader forms a core out of a military unit? Oh, Great so general. Shaka. Oh. Are you going to lock in that as your final answer? Are you going to say Shaka? Yes. Right, we're talking great leaders. Sorry, uh, great generals. Great generals. Oh, oh great, great generals. Gen oh, okay. Uh, okay, okay. Um, yeah, yeah. I'll let you. Lock and fail. Oops. I know the name. Oh, apparently not. No Googling. I'm afraid I'm going to have to press you for an answer, guys. The clock Shower is ticking. Me. I'm not going to say it. I have no idea. I wasn't spoiled by chat. Time is up. I'm afraid it is El Cid. El Cid. Oh, El Cid. El Cid. My my thing wasn't working. <laughs> <laughs> the thing. Yeah, that one thing. You my are now thing, yeah. one out of two. So you've gotten 50% of the questions right. That's pretty okay. Uh, in the Renaissance era, which great general instantly creates a bombard unit with one promotion level. Oh. I think it's not looking at chat. Uh, Would you like is, a hint? Who is Sid Meier's? Oh, does it start with a G? Would you like that to be uh, your hint? Uh, Would you like that to be your Gustavus hint? It's Gustavus something. Gustavus Adolphus? I'm going to give you that. That's Gustavus Adolphus. Correct. Well done. So you're now two out of three questions correct. Nice. Good nice. job. Now, in the industrial era, which leader forms an army out of a military land unit? Sorry, which great general? Which great general forms an army out of a military land unit? Is it Eisenhower? He's a very famous... This is uh, industrial. He's a very famous guy. Mm. Quite short. Very angry. Napoleon? Correct. Oh. Napoleon is correct. You know, you know, he wasn't actually short, right? No, apparently like he was a, just like... It was just a meme. Average yeah, like propaganda. Average, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but everyone knows it. That's why I said it. True. Yeah, yeah, yeah. French, okay, French in the modern era. Everyone now, I'm knows the power of memes. True, exactly. I'm expecting you guys to have a little bit of trouble with the modern era and beyond because this is where you like you see the least amount of these. <clears throat> just, just a quick comment on uh, th th this is interesting that that like Napoleon that was like propaganda, right? That was political, like marketing. Another interesting curiosity out of France: the potato when it first came to France. So, sorry, Zozo, can I interrupt you? Yeah, go for it. Um, you've gotten like quieter all of a sudden. Did you move away from your yeah, microphone? I turned you up a little. Oh, how's that? Is that better? This is that's a lot better. Okay. Mix. Okay. Sorry. So apparently, the potato <laughs> when it first came to France, in order to make it a successful, like, get people eating it, uh, the strategy was some good marketing. They they basically made these royal gardens that were caged off and guarded, and uh, during 
the entire day. You know, there'd be a, there would be a guard posted, and they would were for sale for like an exorbitant amount. Uh, but then the guard would go away at night or something like that, and people would start swiping them because they created this, this fake demand. And yeah, uh, a, a chef told me that that's how the potato was popularized. In I've oh, definitely heard that story before, and I think it is a true story. I've definitely heard it before. It's just too wild to not be true. Daltos gifting five. Let's ask Lay. She must know. Tier one Local subs. Thank you so much, Daltos. I love you, buddy. It was great to see you. Forgot to buy me a drink. It's okay, buddy. You'll get me another one another time. But thank you so much for the T one subs on Twitch. Love you. Thank you so much. What it was great to see you. What sort of game shows do, do you guys have over in Europe? I don't, like I, when I see local history, like Jeopardy, is Jeopardy like watched? We, we have a lot of the same ones you guys have, but we have like the the UK or I don't know about like right. continental Europe, but at least in the UK and Ireland, we have a lot of things like we have like the tipping point um, where like people okay. put giant coins in a machine and then like answer questions to put coins in. We have catchphrase. Catchphrase is one of the best game shows, I actually. I've heard of that one. Yeah. Catchphrase is so good. Um, uh, now, when you talk about game shows specifically, are you talking about like things that win prize money? And it's yeah, for the like general public to participate in. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we've, we, we have a few of those, but not so many. There's like things like Countdown and Catchphrase and all sorts of... There's a good few. The, where the big popularity is here is for celebrity game shows. So stuff like um, Taskmaster is huge. Um, 8 out of 10 Cats, it's kind of like a game show. Then there's... Oh, God. No, not news. It's something news. No. 8 out of 10 cats. There's, there's, a, there's a few of those like game shows where they just have like comedians on and they all like banter with each other for an hour and it's really, really good. Mock the Week. That's another one. Uh, have I Got News week? for Use? Yeah, it's basically like Mock the Week is basically they go through the newspaper headlines of the last week and basically like take the piss out of them um, because they're wild or insane or like they go over news stories. Like you might read in the news story. It's like, oh, a woman in... Caddington North uh, attacked a man with a cat and had to be subdued by seven police officers and then like they'll joke about that story you know because it's like a crazy thing that happened in the UK okay all right um, yeah but we have a we have a bunch at least that's in UK and Ireland we have a bunch of stuff like that I don't know about like the continental Europe like Germany France they because they're like their own language zones they if they speak English they probably watch our TV shows and if they speak their local language, they probably watch the local show. My favorite show, though, of all time is uh, Ninja Warrior. God damn, is that a good show? So I'm being I'm being instructed by Moy that uh, to make up for the time, uh, once we get this up and running, uh, the preference would be that we just take ten minutes right now, go grab yourself a snack instead of doing the break later. Is there Fair. any paramount objections to that? Nope, no, no objection objections. here. That's fine. That gives me a chance to like take let the dogs out. Woo, woo, woo! Again, I don't know what's going on, but it's just taking a while to download, guys. So sorry about that. Okay, so take we ten know right it's now. Fault. <laughs> it, it's only only directly Foible's fault by like fifty eight percent. So that's not bad. I'll take that. So just uh, yeah, take ten guys, and uh, we, we've almost got this downloaded, and maybe put it on an extra computer if it happens again. But hopefully, okay, I would take a break, but I'm gonna leave words like minutes, up for my minutes. chat. Okay. I, I would like to finish the great general quiz. Uh, yes, of course. I'll, I'll still right. be here. <clears throat> Which great general in the modern era grants a musketman in each of the target cities' indefensible and undefended districts? Someone does that? He shares a name with a famous rapper. Drake. Francis Drake. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I don't know. I don't know any rappers. Tupac Amaru. Oh. Like, yeah, like I would have, my next guess would have been like Sir Snoopin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Snoopin of Dog. T TGM, did you, yeah, sleeping of dog. <laughs> TGM, did you ever do that Civ uh, quiz? No, they did. Uh, I, 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 I still may. Um, but they did. They did a trivia show for promotions of this, like uh, last Sunday, I think. Ah, right. 
now that I've done this, like, uh, well, there's still like two more errors. Um, which great general creates a tank with one promotion level in the atomic era? Eisenhower. <sighs> Patton. Ooh, I'm afraid the correct answer is Douglas MacArthur. Made up. Now got two questions. Uh, and in the information era, can you name any of them are available? Can you name any of the great generals in the information era? Anyone? One of one. His name is Ahmad something. Oh, sorry, I'm eating a pickle right now. <laughs> if, if you can give me Ahmad's second name, he has three. I will give it to you. Ahmad. I need two out of the three names. Needs to be above fifty percent of his name. Ahmad Shah. Correct. Ama I don't know the last Ahmad name, Shah Masood. Ah, okay. Masood. That's the one that gives uh, the um, modern AT unit, right? Correct. And you get a bonus point for correctly identifying his ability. Well done. He's six You're out of seven right. there. Six out of seven. That's not bad. Um, unfortunately, the passing score was seven out of seven, so I am going to have to give you guys a failing grade. But well done. Good effort. Sorry, right. my father. Uh, I'm gonna go get some water, but good quiz. <clears throat> I think I think you should totally do the uh, trivia thing because that was actually quite fun, even though it was like just great people. Hey, I see foibles. We oh, have I a foibles to connect. We told everyone ten minutes. You are my princess, my fluffy baby. I love you. If you don't know, I hate pickles, and I have a hundred dollar donation incentive to, for make me end my turn to eat a pickle, and I'm on my second one right now. So I want to. I'm kind of. I'm, I'm a little hungry, and I wish I. I hate everything. Pickle. Pickles are so gross. I love how people have such different tastes in food, but like technically, our brains, in theory, should be processing the flavors the same, right? It's just like I love. I love other pickled foods. I love kimchi. I love pickled onions, but I can't like. Did you, did you know can't... here in Canada we have dill pickle chips? Yes, I do, and they're gross. I love. Uh, I actually have some dill pickle chips. Um, I got in the grocery store yesterday. Nice. It must be an export. Well, you're uh... close. To, you're close to Canada, so you know you 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 might have been influenced by our culture. You have ketchup. Chips yeah, something too. like that. It definitely wasn't our film studios influencing yours, yeah, for sure. Not this time, no. You know, sometimes it's Canada's sticky maple syrup that's seeping over the border, okay? Sometimes. Ooh, I also have maple syrup, so maybe. Nice. Hey, I heard about this pickle party, and I'm not a pickle hater, but one thing that I hate is salt and vinegar chips. So if anybody on yeah, my stream is interested... In paying me, uh, not paying me, but donating a hundred dollars, I happen to have this little tiny bag of salt and vinegar chips, which I hate. So, if anybody wants to donate that hundred dollars, I'll add that as an incentive, and I will eat this whole little tiny bag of the grossest chips on the planet. <laughs> While wow, everyone's like stealing from Bose, uh, I actually did make a redeem for a uh, hundred dollars to make me eat three olives because olives are my pickles and. Uh, Moy says I have uh, the the uh, the palate of a child, basically, because I don't like you hate olives. olives. I don't like olives. Yeah, either. I hate olives. I can't. I can't stand them. <laughs> I'm an I'm an Italian that does not like olives. <laughs> it appears that I'm back in the game, but the volume is so loud. Give me one second. Uh, someone said lumbago needs to get nuked for disliking salt and vinegar. Wow, those are bold <laughs> words. That may be true, but I'd rather have the nukes than the salt and vinegar chips. You know what I'm oh, saying? Oh, wow. <laughs> that, that is hate. I like brought like 10 hats. I was gonna do hat wearing and, and, and I can't stream because you will let me. Because it's dumb. 
business to defeat the bums. Fluffy little invaders. Hello, Fluffy. You're just so seven pluses. Seven plus. You might actually be the friendliest rabbit in the universe. Ooh, we'll seven. I think eight, I'm good. Eight pluses. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, what a good girl. Why are you so soft? Why are you so soft? You guys, you guys know the count. Nine, nine pluses. I just had a $75 donation from Revenge to uh, Mega Dumb Me, so I'm going to have a lot of dumb stickers on my face for the rest of the game. Nice. A Anonymous donated $20 and says they want a refund if Potato doesn't build the Venetian Arsenal. What say you, Potato? I think he may have gone to grab some water. Any, any primers in the chat? Hey, Potato, somebody, I, I'll be getting a couple donations on your behalf in my thing, and someone really wants you to build Venetian Arsenal. <sighs> okay, I'll do it. It's for the kids. <sighs> so I'm uh, $20 away from my milestone to make me sing white and nerdy karaoke. Weird Al, all that stuff. Beautiful. I can I can assure you it's hilarious. I've seen it performed live <laughs> at the uh, well I can't remember the bar, but in San Diego, White Nerdy does a great job. Yes, the werewolf. The in werewolf. The bar? Yes. Back when VB and I were oh. friends. I would like to give a big shout out to Angie Chimi for dropping five hundred dollars. Oh my God! Thank you so much oh. for the donation, sir. Oh, big boy. donation. Let's go. That's amazing. Yeah. Amazing, yes. Had to come over from YT for that. <laughs> All right, I got the twenty dollars for the white and dirty karaoke. All right, bye. <laughs> Same equals D. Is everybody plussed up if they're here? Uh, we oh, are waiting yep. on one. No, one leaves here. Sassy's here. Okay, we're just need one more, I think. Oh, that's everyone. I think we're good. One, two. Yay, we did it! Sorry, I, I, I plussed to um, Van Bradley. 10, 11, 12. I don't know. We all good? Uh, is the beach plus? I plus twice. Okie dokie. Let's go. Everyone here? Yep. I think everyone's here. Unpausing. Woo! Hey, I'm walking. Here. Stop cheating with the five. Two two city. I'm walking. -y. Here we go again. I was literally at Werewolf last night. I played a game of Werewolf a few nights ago, actually. And now everyone's sick after that game. Well, I don't know if it's like necessarily after that game.
Keep in mind there's no turn timer on this turn, um, so just be aware of that. Mine's still counting down, but... Yeah. yeah, I think there is, because we didn't actually disconnect from the game. Oh, weird. Yeah, I, I don't have one. I think only you had. So it's a me problem. Oh. Got it. Totally a you problem. Sounds like a we problem. Shoot, where is the sieve give? Where is this? There it is. I think I'm going to give up on Rapa Nui and see if I can make moves on Buenos Aires instead. I'll have to kill this later with like archers. Um, one of the most important hotkeys I did not set up. Meeting so many people. My next action on Z. Put an F in chat. <clears throat> Not for any reason, just do it. Because I told you to. Who puts a G? Now, if you didn't put an F in chat, Put an L in chat to show you're not a sheep. You idiots typing L, you're just sheep of a different herd. You fools. Although I did manage to catch a lot of first time typers. <laughs> you fools. Did you check your deals. Okay, guys. <clears throat> We're going to do a challenge in chat. Okay? If you guys... Can you accept deal too, please? Number can two. combo the entire alphabet. Thank you. Okay. Now, here are the rules. Each person can only put one letter in. And any sequence break I got you, of any Thank message you. invalidates the attempt. So, like, if you, I need 26 independent people to, to, to combo the alphabet, okay? I will donate. Uh, I, wait, wait, like, I'll, I'll donate, like, a, I don't know. I've already donated, like, a lot of money this month. So, I'll, we'll do it. We'll keep it simple, right? I'll donate, like, 100 bucks to Van Bradley's thing. Starting now, okay? We got A and B. A and B is going. So three, get your letter lined up. One letter per person, one message. Potato, you're making this chat unusable for the next 20 minutes easily. <sighs> Only one letter per person, guys. Nicolay, you misunderstood the task. I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna time you out. You're not in permanent trouble. You just you misunderstood the, the request. It's okay. It happens. Sometimes we're not paying attention in class. And it shows. Hello, Egypt. Hey, Potato. I got this really cute donation from Aaron and Josh that says, My fiance and I often play Civ together, and Potato McGuisky has been the cornerstone of our content for the kids. Art. Oh, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. I'm glad you guys have fun. Oh, did I did I not mic up? Uh, uh, that was so cute. Thank you guys so much. Um, I'm I, I'm surprised you guys were able to stay in a relationship where you play save together. But I, you know, 
Uh, I think if I played Civ with my significant other, um, either the computer or the significant other would go out the window pretty quickly. Can't, can't it? Can't it be both? Uh, Look, I tried to play Portal Two with my partner um, one time, and I'm just gonna say there's a reason we're not still in a relation. No, I'm just kidding. I had nothing to do with it. <laughs> but I definitely oh found God. myself getting more frustrated. <laughs> so I know the feeling. That's all I was saying. See, the only way I can play games with someone I'm dating is if we're both playing a game that neither of us already plays. So, like, It Takes Two was, like, the perfect example of that game. Uh, super, super fun Such game. Nothing, game. Yeah, nothing like any of the games so that I normally play. To kids in because, like, if we play, like, an RTS game, slash region slash country, this is and, I don't know, she's not, like, building enough workers, I'm like... Listen, honey, you, you need to make more workers. You know, you're not making enough money, okay? Get on your shit. Um, but if we're playing like that game, I'm not good enough to criticize her. So, it's, you know, it's easier. Yeah, that's exactly how I felt. I just was getting like, oh, I'm supposed to do this, and you're supposed to do this, and we're supposed to do this at the same time. And at a certain point, I was like, I can't do this. <laughs> <gasps> it's a fun game, like a hundred percent, but it was mostly me just being confused constantly. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm it was a wink, really wink, fun. Wink, wink in that situation. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Why well, oh, are you potato? Too fun. What's up? Hello. Oh hi, just me. Don't worry about it, Sass. How dangerous am I feeling with the settler? Hey, foibles. I see that you got a scout up uh, near my cities. I consider that an act of war. You might want to move it. Your definition of an act of war is very loose. It is so loose. Like those. It it's more like the headlines. You think I'm loose? But yeah, I, I saw you in this game of civilization. That's an act of war. I like how there's some people still trying to type alphabet. I saw it in the Discord channel. That's an act of war. I, I said to my chat that if they can each individually type a letter of the alphabet in sequence, um, I would donate a hundred dollars to Van Bradley stream, and I've completely made my chat unusable. But that was like a good few minutes. <laughs> <laughs> that was a few minutes ago, and so new people have joined, and they don't understand why people are spamming the letter. <laughs> Gosh, it's just like uh... I'm on a site that should not be named. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> Who can count to 10? Green text. Oh, right. Who types an R after a D? Oh my god. Duplicate letters? Don't count. Like, if you type three A's, that's still just an A. You know what I mean? <clears throat> so, like, uh, if three people in a row type an A, that still just counts as one A. So, like... I'll let you guys get away with that, I guess. I just misclicked and removed my terrace farm. Oh no. I'll take sounds like a you problem for 300. Nerdy, that sounds like a you problem. <laughs> yep. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. I already have 12 faith, but I haven't gotten a Pantheon. Is there like a Pantheon limit? I think it goes There's... up. There's a limit per turn, so you have to like click your Pantheon button to start the turn to try to get it. Ah, uh... uh, we just weren't gonna let you have a Pantheon this time around. No.
I need to make a meek wap, I think. The problem is the place I want to make a meek wap is like right here, but I don't have jungle chopping yet. Thank you. What if nobody types anything but two people take turns saying a letter? Uh, that doesn't count. Each person can only type one letter in a sequence. Please, you're hot, Mike. I'm so sorry. It's okay. Speak more <laughs> French, please. Every word. Yes. <laughs> I just want to say French is such a beautiful language. Most of my favorite operas are French. Oh. Me too. All right, no more buttering up, Lee. You should try to get him on your side, guys. I don't know enough operas to have a favorite one. I I I don't really know many either. It was just. I was just being stupid. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I would have believed it. Oh, GG, I'm so You much. had me. I'm, I'm just not going to bother trying to kill these city-states early. I'm going to go exploring. I'll kill them Apparently later with Apparently someone Archers. donated $25 for me to compliment Michael on his hat. I, I don't know what your hat looks like, but I guess it's beautiful. Jabber is throwing. If you get a mod on your side. Michael always has the best hats. Like, 10 out of 10. 11 out of 10, Michael Fest hats. I don't have, like, a roast streamer thing, but someone did donate to my thing and told me to tell Michael <laughs> that the top of his head is, like, a Lego thing, and he actually clips on all of his hats like he's a Lego person. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's awesome. That's outstanding. That feels like money Ooh, well donated. They found out your secret, Michael. Yes, that's why I don't uh, take it off anytime, you know. So you don't see the connection. All right, guys, stop typing letters. Stop typing letters, right? I'm going to count to I'm going to count to 20. And I want you all to get a letter ready, okay? Pick a pick a letter, A B C D E F G, right? Whatever it is, all the way to Z. And when I say go, okay? If all of the letters of the alphabet appear, I'll make the donation. So I'm going to count to I'm going to count to 20. You all have a letter ready. No, no, no. Don't announce what you're doing. Don't tell other people. <clears throat> right. So I'm going to count to 20 and then go. 1, 2, 3, I chose 4, the wrong thing. 5, I can, I 6, can save stuff, 7, right? 8, 9, 10, 11, yeah, 12, 13, okay, 14, 15, yeah, 16, I'll, 17, I'll like 18, 19, um, 20, go. <laughs> G, X, K, Z. Oh. Oh. Oh, is there a full alphabet in here? Oh, I didn't realize there would be this many messages. Oh, shoot. Okay, I think that that might be enough. Oh, shoot, I need to get my Pantheon. Um, okay, Pastures is gone. Production from Thingies is gone. I don't need this, I don't need this, I don't need this. Camps is still here. I don't care about camps. Don't care about Earth Goddess, but there's really not many good ones. Hi, Smith. Uh, there's really not many good ones here. I'll make the donation. I'm going to assume you guys achieved your goal. I think I'm just going to take Earth Goddess here because it'll... I don't really have that much appeal. But 
Potato Broke YouTube. I thought that was your job. Okay, I just got a hundred dollar donation uh, from Koala for, gonna take City said, for the corgis. So I am super close to that milestone of wearing a corgi costume for the rest of the stream. Amazing. Awesome. Amazing. Um, oh, we have a golden age without a meek wap. So we can wap what our way is, to the top. How could you make Sassy more awesome? Step here, well, go uh, into woods. Cut the hair is now currently leading in the poll, the donation poll, by four hundred and seventeen dollars. <laughs> well, probably I'm, gonna cut my I, I'm like crying for your beautiful locks that are going to be lost. <laughs> it's okay. I will cry too, but it's for the for the kids. Are you going to go back to like shaving the side of your head? Doing an having like uh maybe I don't know I haven't cut my hair like that in a long time so I'm like I don't know if I, what I'm gonna do. <laughs> <laughs> the best part of Sim Give having no idea what's gonna happen or what yeah. you're gonna do. All right, PayPal, let's go. There you go. I made a hundred dollar donation to Van Bradley. Okay. Let's grab a pastor. We definitely want our pastors online. I think those are worth gold. I think we settle here because it's the most optimal city packing. Um, I could go commercial hub. I'm going That's golden a very age. Early buy room there, sir. I feel like early commercial hub here has a lot of advantages Heck for me. Yeah, love an early buy room. I'm about to go Penbrush and Voice, or no, um, you know the one I'm talking about. The one that gives uh. What you call it? Free inquiry. Why not pen brush and voice? This is base game. This is base game pen brush and voice, which is one culture per district. I'm experiencing some very bad lag right now. I actually just had a bit of lag as well. It's quite rough. So I think it's it might be the center. We'll get them. And, and hopefully it uh, isn't too bad. Okay, guess who's dressing as a corgi when we have our next break? Ooh, me? Yay! Hey! I hit that milestone. I'll be dressed as a corgi at our next break. Thank you, awesome. everyone. Corgis That's are the good. best dogs. They really That's are. Awesome. I love my corgis. Aren't corgis just furry potatoes? Maybe. I look at them as furry potatoes. A fuzzy little tater. I got a $100 donation from someone named Potato McWhiskey. Big, big shout out. Yo, that guy. Oh, don't don't read his dono. He's a he's a nerd. Your chat learned how to spell the alphabet. Total. Yes, nerd. they did. Wow, we are proud of you, chat. We're getting perilously close to twenty five thousand dollars raised. We're we're so close. Woo. That's huge. Hey, yeah, uh, TGM, can you move that scout or no next to the barbecue? I guess Unfortunately, I can't. I can next turn. I guess I'm just gonna have to wing it. Uh, what? 
He's fine. He's double fortified with anti barb promotion. Um, there's definitely a campus here. This is a fine commercial hub. It kills an okay tile, but just want to get those down. Can you uh, go on Arbor Tech? We need Arbor. We need a trader. We need to do, do a big tra trader naval. Wait, I'm you're... sorry. What was the thing? What did you need? Uh, I need from you your Arbor, your unique Arbor in Celestial Navigation. Uh, you need me to run Celestial Navigation. All right. Yeah. All right. Good deal. We'll do. Let's go. Quick question. Uh, did Moy say he set up private rooms for us to talk with our teammate? The he five did. two two. You did, mean right did, here? Did. Nah, dude. Did settle on the two two. Bose, you Get bananas. One real quick, please. Act of war. Yeah. It's an act of war. Nice French accent. I think he, he said it was supposed to be during break. He's French. I could be wrong. No, no. He said you no, could pop in now whenever you need. Just don't take yeah. too much time. Gotcha. We should just someone, someone should just pop in there and <clears> say hi. <throat> Yeah, and the campus is closer. I can still settle this river. Could have gotten five camps past us for a trade destination. One tile northeast. One, two, three. Oh, shit, you're right. Eh, no biggie. When Coliseum? Dude, I don't even have state workforce yet. It's a good Coliseum game for me, though, if I do go for it. Huge potential. The base game, so Coliseum and Kilba should already be on the cards. They're kind of on the cards. I am probably going to go probably beeline Kilwa. Although, if I'm killing city-states, that might not be the right move. How do you decide when it's a good game for Wonders? When you're playing against other players, Wonders are much better. Because the AI can't just steal them from you really easily. We didn't say a single word. Where are you, Potato? That the time is 1538. Uh, I'm actually not... I'm playing this through the, an internet connection to a land center in Canada. So right. Like Vancouver or Toronto or some shit like that. I don't know exactly where, but it's somewhere there. So you're going to fortify on defensive terrain. That gives you plus three. So you'll have ideal terrain against both of these guys. You're also fortified, so you have plus six combat strength. You're missing five. That brings you up to 21. Plus five, you're 26 combat strength. So yeah, you should be easily able to defeat both these guys if they attack you. In fact, I'm pretty sure I can do this. And yeah, yeah, okay. We're fine. Hello, hello, Mr. Byream. And that's why I'm not settling coastally. <laughs> he's, your, he's your teammate. I know, he's that scary. <laughs> oh, I don't know if I don't know if this start is particularly frightening. Does that do you see that warrior, BB? Is that is that a good is that fine? Is that a good stop spot? Yeah, I think that's okay. I had other okay. plans. I think that's fine. Oh <laughs> the other plan. Uh oh. Oof. Oh. 
Could go for Stone Stonehenge. <clears throat> Great Zimbabwe in third city. <clears throat> uh, do you think the DD AI shouldn't have huge starting bonuses so they don't steal wonders as much? Yeah, that would be kind of nice if they scaled better, if they played the game better, that would be ideal. Um, it's just an unfortunate reality of how the game is made and designed and how it plays and stuff, you know, there's not really a huge amount you can do there. I assume that windows noise was potato. Could have been. That potato guy's a little bit. He's a little kooky. One of my hopes for Civ 7 is API interfaces to Hello, the AI, AI scripting. That'd be kind of cool. Hello, friend. Or is it Hello, enemy? I haven't decided yet. <laughs> but now it's neutral because I have no idea where you were. No, all right, fair enough. Uh, so there's the commercial hub. Think this is going to be a government plaza. He didn't understand what I was asking. Henry, thanks for the hundred dollars, and I have to eat another pickle. I swear, on me, mum. <gasps> Yay! Fuck! I didn't mean to capture that this era. <sighs> One turn too soon. I can't Pickles believe I was on games. autopilot because I got distracted. I have to. This is the third time I have to skip a turn too every time. Damn it! I think I legitimately have this continent to myself. By the way, I haven't seen anyone. Is Potato playing with both? Yes, I'm playing with a whole bunch of content creators. <clears throat> That's his third city. Yeah, he's having a hard time there. Time to settler spam them. I think that's what I'm going to do. Oh. We met, I think, the Ottomans, Michael. Hey, hello there, sir. Hello, Michael. Nice to meet you. I think we do free inquiry here. Penbrush and voice is a lot of culture, but I think the extra science is pretty good.
You almost got me my golden age there. One turn off. Oh my god. Oh, I'm so glad I didn't scout that way then. Why am I not getting gold? Ah. Ah, I see, I see, I see. Three internationals. I should probably move Pingala out of this city when I get Magnus. Potato should do more 1v11 stuff. I, I meant to. Um, but I'm just really bad at managing my time. I'm hoping that I can get a diagnosis for like ADHD or something, something, some executive function issue and maybe medication will actually allow me to do work. <clears throat> what is the name of your rabbit? It is Eve. She is a fluffy little baby. And when I talk in her direction, she flicks her ear at me. And gets very excited, don't you, little girl? Yeah, you do. You get very excited. I love you. No, don't get up. No, no, stay comfy. No, she's running around now. Damn it, I have to give her a treat. Because she got excited. Because I interacted with her and I love her so much. Hi. Good girl. Oh, you're eating good tonight. Do it, Finn. Finn? Yeah, good girl. I thought I'd throw it out there. How does everyone feel about the turn timer right now? She's good. I'm born. I, I wish, it's uh, good. I wish. Uh, I want uh, two minutes less. <laughs> but, uh... True. You want a one minute timer? Oh, jeez. A little faster would be nice in a bit. I would like, yeah, two minute timer would feel pretty good to me. Yeah. <laughs> All right, who's going to tell Moy? You could probably say it in the, in the right now? chat. Uh, I just want to, like, if everyone's on agreement about it before anyone asks. Big plus on this one. Just because I feel like we got to make up some time from earlier. Exactly. Yeah, we're on campus here. Uh, this should be discounted. One, two districts. You are a hot. I only mic have two districts nerdy. unlocked. That's unfortunate. Nerdy, you're hot mic. Hot mic, nerdy. Nerdy, you're giving us your strat. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not supposed to sing yet. You sing later. Oh, I actually already sang. We did it. We did. We we got the thousand oh, dollars for the nice, nice good job. Alan Bang! I Just noticed Japan's Bang. stats. Crazy good game. For, yeah, I mean, he's probably got a harbor start. Liege is... And he's Liege. Liege Here's knows how to play this game. Alan he's doing Bang. really well. He's also not hot that Mike. much further ahead of me. Um, <laughs> That's okay. Everyone gets one. Oh, shit. Hang on. Um, I'm not going to pretend Bose hasn't done that, man. His GPT is really good. Right there. So he must have his harbors already. Is going to come and murder me? He's like a couple, he's like a harbor or two ahead of me, and a monument. He's like a monument and a harbor ahead of me, I think. Cree fact, the Cree were one of the largest indigenous language groups and one of the largest tribes in Canada. Cree fact, none of the Cree's traditional or current territory extends into the US. They live solely in what is now Canada. I just got my ADHD diagnosis this afternoon. I'm so excited to get some help. Yeah, I've just, I've always struggled with like doing things. Executive function has just been like really, really poor for me for most of my life. And I was like, you know what? I'm, I'm going to be an advocate for myself because I'm like getting up there in age and no one is you know people won't advocate for you up to a certain point you gotta be your own your own adult you know what I mean um, 
uh, after a certain point. So that's where I'm at right now. Uh, I think the, the most important thing, though, is that I'm not going in looking for a diagnosis. I'm going in with a problem and like I will accept a diagnosis or not. Um, I think this is uh, I am going to be building wonders, so autocracy would be fine here, I think. God King for now. I will be producing settlers soon. Do I want to actually build the market or do I want to go for Ancestral Hall? I think this is an Ancestral Hall game. Yeah, it's definitely an Ancestral Hall game. This is like so powerful. The trouble with going in, which is the problem, is that Dr. Zalva take the easy path to get you out of the office, in my experience. Sure, yeah, but uh, you don't also want to go in and be like, I know what my problem is, I know my diagnosis. This is the diagnosis I want. It's not good. <clears throat> uh, did you just find a ton of iron? Maybe. Not sure. Need to get more envoys out. It's definitely a thing. Oh. Hey, sassy. Hey, how's it going? Living the dream. <laughs> Turn 34 war? Hello? Yeah, she might get me here too. This might this might this might be a quick game for me. Well, you'll become a vassal. You could be a wonderful vassal. I I giving you an opportunity here. Never surrender. I'm just gonna buy warriors. Can you buy spite? I'd love to spectate at some point. If I got truly eliminated, I think it's all about how much fun you make it, right? Like if you make if you make getting eliminated fun, people will find <laughs> it fun. On taking How's it going? It's going really well. Mate. My ally's exactly. being murdered. Where's Japan? I haven't found Japan yet. I'm far enough okay. away from anyone that I don't think I feel like I'll be attacked for a while. So I can sim city for a good while now. Oh, will I, you do I, more I'm rogue tower sometime? Sassy, I would like to. Sassy pulls this off and it's just good good civilization playing. That's what we're Yeah, he needs for. to get this buy room into the town to give it extra plus five or combat strength and Victor if he can. They can, the all, they can all hear the the drums of war and they're cheering. Okay, we've got our gold coming. Rough life. 42 combat strength on that city with two defensive districts. She needs to pillage those to make the city easier to kill. Michael, can you move your scout? 
Yes, sir. Thank you. I don't have a place to finished. buy warriors, though. The the bars are upon your liege. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm trying to, to kill them uh, peacefully. Uh, I mean, not oh, peacefully, but... Uh... <laughs> they still have the road here for this warrior to head up. Yes, tell us more, BB. Man, my ult key really sticks this game. <laughs> Sassy, I have a warrior coming up. I don't know if that changes your math. Rogue Tout. Rogue Tower is in a bad state right now. The blister nerf has hit the fun factor hard. Yeah, it's all, it's always a mistake to nerf, oh, wait, in my I, opinion, I in those kind of games. I, I have six more horses on the way, so I'm good. I think so. Because you just make the game okay. more shit for the bad players. What you want to do is add optional extra levels of difficulty. That's what you want to do. Never, never nerf shit. It's just like, I don't know. I just, I don't think it's good to nerf things. I guess the storm got nice quality of life update. I really want to play more of that. We do have to watch out for raising Zozo. I don't know where he is. See, I feel like this is a mistake. I don't know. He should have had he should have had a scout over here. Literally just par parked right here, watching for the horses coming. A couple of turns of extra notice would have like been huge here. Plus, she was talking about conquering him the entire game. He should have been prepared for this. It's not like he's in my position where I can be exceptionally greedy because there's literally no one around me. Um But, uh, you know, everyone plays their own game. Is Michael playing the new Suleiman? Yes, Michael is playing the new Suleiman. We were given, I think we were given special access to the latest patch. Yeah, you're right next to Scythia on open plains. They talked about killing you. You can see two horses improved. You can see their combat strength, 259. Um... Is that a Lumbago who settled right next to me? Nah, couldn't be me. Fight, fight. Is that uh, a Lumbago yeah. who sat right next to me? Yeah. No, <laughs> trying to take the land? The, the of course not. I would never do anything like that. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> it's a different Lumbago. You you haven't met him. It's a, you know, asking for a friend type situation. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> oh, this was a mistake. He should have shot this one. This is going to heal now. Foibles, is this is this you, purple and white? Perhaps. I uh, he just he just he just made some very elementary well mistakes. Well played, sassy. Very well played. Um, should have all in this oh, tobacco. Right, he would have then oh, held right. this. And then, in order for her to attack the city next turn with all the tiles, she would have had to kill. He would have at least taken away a horse. Could have maybe survived. Um, shouldn't have shot here. It was greedy. He 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 was too greedy. Um, never never play greedy on the defense. You just you don't you don't Sorry, have the luxury. Sorry, I'm concentrating. Um, you just don't have the luxury of playing greedy on the defense. Feel free to concentrate less. Uh, let's do this. Your entire I mean, civilization. I was going to warn you not to send to warriors for my horses to feed on to get healed and continue to get promotions, but you know. 
To be honest, I, th I really thought once I plugged the government with the extra combat strength that both those horses were going to die, and they both had like one health, and that was really unfortunate. So I actually want Susan to have Kumasi here. Because um, it's a really good city-state, and I'm going to have trade routes. Two city-states. So that's one I want to hold. He's dead when Gitarji comes around. Yeah, probably. He just got a really bad spawn. He he might be able to cockroach a settler out, but I think he's dead. He's dead now. The failure to kill horses is just really bad. Am I at war? Hello? G game pause by foibles. Did you mean to pause? The wrong foibles. Was Sorry, that the press B for pillage? Turn 50, they'll increase the turn timer to 3 minutes. Uh, Completely unintentional. Sorry, guys. Do I still have Dipple League in? Okay. The potato spawn completely alone, essentially, yes. You just uploaded the video, you dirty multitasker. Well, the beautiful thing about YouTube is you can schedule videos to go live. Hey, potato, I have a question regarding the Phoenicians. Potato won the roll on spawn. Kumasi is mine. Theoretically, I could levy this and send it. I, could, I think I'm not going to send my gold to Dido anymore. <clears throat> I don't know if my gold makes a difference here. He should have been prepared for this, in my opinion. Um, it's hard to prepare for, but should have been. This archer needs garrison promotion, too, um, to hit these horses harder. Which is hard to do. I'll give him that. Oh, look, see? Yeah. Yep. Just, you know. He's in a tough spot. Speedy Boy, thanks for the $5. Uh, Speedy Boy wants Potato to know that your outfit looks good today. I don't know how they know uh, that, but. I, I'm just wearing a Twitch t shirt. Good, apparently. Do you like my fit? Is that? Cree facts, there are roughly 400,000 Cree people of Cree descent alive today. That's cool. Need to pump up those numbers. Is it teams? Yes, we are in teams. I'm about to get my ancestral hall. Start spamming the old settlers. Um, 
So he's holding the mountain pass. I might just back off here. Bring these guys around to escort my settlers while I just like greedily spawn, spawn cities everywhere. I, I, did I actually? Th can somebody? <laughs> no, actually, don't check the stream. Don't tell me. But I feel like I'm literally alone on this continent, which is kind of insane. Sorry for this squeaky mic arm. Okay, so he got the walls up. Which is huge. It's going to buy him so much time. So he has the garrison promotion on the archer now. Um, and he can start getting kills next turn. How long until Biblos? Biblos wall... Wall ETA? So the walls are huge. Oh wow. Looks like the uh, the walls of Phoenicia have just been uh, very quickly built up. We do, we do love some walls? Yeah, yeah, walls. Walls. You know what they say, build walls, not bridges. See how much would this trade route to come out to Rapa Nui? This is actually really, really. This is better than internals almost. Where was I being attacked? Or was that him attacking? I don't know. So we're going to take Magnus. We're going to appoint Magnus in the capital. If we're doing internals, I'm going to reassign Pingala to this city because it's just as good as the capital, basically. Um, and we're going to take provision. No, no, no. We're going to take surplus logistics. I'm going to send him money as much as I would prefer to make him build this with them if it means more spearmen. So she's starting to pillage now, which is rough, um, but he does have spearmen out. I don't know what's attacking me. Is it this? Oh, that, that barb scout was enraged. I think this internal 4-3 is better than the external, but I do want those externals. Um... I'll quickly get that external. Yeah, there's an archer there. Okay. So I really don't want to be dealing with these archers, so I'm going to start bringing my scouts back to fight this war. <clears throat> and I'm going to... Basically, Do you want peace, Sassy? Edmund Bacon really needs to look. I see you got some walls, to... sir. I do. It's up to you. You can keep on hitting them, or you can have peace. I'm happy either way. <clears throat> Is there a locust build coming soon? Yes. Yes, we're getting close. Once we have feudalism, our five charge builders will pop out. It's gonna be glorious. <laughs> I almost had you, BB. It hadn't been for those stupid walls. Meddling kids. Yeah, I was about to say meddling kids. <laughs> if you had sent a horse to to Biblos, I, I I think I think you could have like spread me a little thin. But yeah, I barely got those walls. I had like ten HP left. I just wish I didn't have to send him so much cash. I mean, I know I have to, to keep him in the game. But if I was able to spend this cash on builders right now, it'd be just so big for me. The fact that it's just like, it's really slowing me down. But I have to keep him alive, right? Because he's my buddy. <clears throat> um, I'm just gonna plan my build here. I might settle a little bit coastal. I'm going to fortify this guy and run him northeast. 
to try and trick him into believing that that's the direction my empire is. He might already know where my empire is, but the longer I delay his units getting to me, the better my defense will be. I have more science and culture than him, so I'm not worried about that aspect. I have no one to escort to the, to the north, so I'm going to send this one west, I think. And if I'm going to use the coastline efficiently, it's settled here. One, two, three. Ooh, I don't want to settle beside this cattle because that would take it away from my capital. Um, I want to settle on these tiles so only a single water tile can attack the city. Settling on this, while okay, would hurt me in some respects. I will definitely settle here. One, two, three. That'll capture these two. The best tile for me then is right there. I'm still there. getting incredible amounts of lag. Is anybody else in the same boat with me? I'm getting a oh, little bit of lag no. every now and again, but otherwise it's relatively okay. Like, it's playable. Yeah. I wouldn't want to fight a war with this lag. I will say that. Yeah, it's definitely some good latency, but it's not like lag. It's consistent. So I'm scouting this way. We're heading south. I'm gonna run this way to try and bait him this direction towards Cahokia. Um. Do I want to levy this? Nah, we're good. Phoenicia's a lost cause at this point. Now, Phoenicia's lived. I uh, offered you peace, Sassy, if you want it. Wait, hold on. I keep clicking on the thingy. Hold on. Yeah, this is really bad for Scythia. Um, failed invasion. Lost a lot of horses. Didn't get much out of it. I think she should redirect towards Bologna now. If she kills Bologna and Geneva, she's actually in a really good position, in my opinion. Oh, nice. We've got Zhang Qian, who increases my trade route capacity by one. Very nice. So I just need to hope there's no, like, scouts around here. Okay, what are you saying? You want to go to peace for a little bit? That sounds good. You just got to accept it. The offer's there. When Government Plaza for Giga Internals, it's here. I've already got it. I'm saving a pop for the Diplo Quarter. I'm already getting four threes. Everything got pillaged. Yeah, this is a pretty big setback for him, but at least he's in the game. I think Scythia is on a one city. Well, no, it looks like two cities, two city build here. Is someone at war with Kumasi? Well fought, Sass. I'm still worried about those city states. There's like Geneva and Bologna. And she Sassy can just murder for free. That's so many horses. It's crazy. Sassy goes after I my never Bologna. do that, and that's such a great idea. Thank you for the advice, Potato. No! Don't saying, do that. It's terrible. Don't, don't kill the city states. Bologna. No 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 no. They're our friends. Yeah. You will regret going after Bologna is a statement I will stay. I'm listening, Bose. What what's off the table? I've got horses. They they want to run wild. Wild horses God, this is run such wild. Such a good trade route too. Actually, you make the settler, you make the trader, settle cattle, we want to keep cattle if we can. Has pyramids been built? 
Unsurprisingly, it has. Japan has nice stats. There's Japan has so. really good stats. However, I think I can outscale Balance Japan zone. with my um, the sheer here. number of cities that I'm making. <clears throat> I'll have an insane number of cities. Like, ridiculous amount. Japan sleeper raid boss. Well, I mean, that's Liege, right? He's like... I don't know if I would say he's like one of the best Civ players in the world. Maybe he is. Maybe he's one of the best. Yeah, I, actually, I take it back. Liege is definitely one of the best Civ players in the entire world, especially compared to the multiplayer. Like, it's no surprise that he has like double my science right now. However, I didn't go for like, I didn't go for a science build. Um, how many cities does he have? That's a real question, actually, that I have to ask right now. He's two more than me. Okay. It's a concern. <clears throat> he's he's on a slightly better tempo than me, but I feel like my my arc is like on a huge upswing. So we're at peace now. I can move this scout. Bringing these guys back. <sighs> so much land. Yeah, Lumbago isn't doing as good as Leash. So just need to wait for feudalism. I may actually delay settling this to get a five charge builder. Fun fact, Tamaris probably didn't exist. There's only one story in history about it written by Herodotus after hearing multiple stories about Cyrus' death, and that was his favorite story. Um, I mean, we can't ever know, so we may as well decide that she's real. That's the thing that we can do. We can just be like, yep, that's the history. What happened to the war in Potato's ally? Uh, we managed to coach... Um, Van Bradley into surviving gave him a bunch of money helped him out he managed to survive he, he did all the he did mostly the right things he kind of messed up a little bit I think in my opinion um, there is religions going was well, Stonehenge taken yeah, Stonehenge was taken I definitely feel like these turns are very, very long. Um, these are way longer than I would normally play. But to be fair, it's a charity event. So it's like the competitive nature of it isn't like the super important part. How's everyone doing? Living the dream, raising money for the kids. Yeah, we, we are allowed to talk, still talk. That was a close call. Those walls. Shake your fist harder, boy! Get a quick market in here. Do I want to go for Colosseum? If I'm going to go for Colosseum, I should chop it out. It's like an extra monument in every city, or I could just keep making settlers. Hey, Boast, uh, how much are you planning to settle in this direction? Is that your last one? Were you talking to me? Oh, yeah, I am. I, I, I'm looking at you across the water with my uh, archer horses here. Are you asking if that's my last settle? In this direction. Yeah, like literally where your horse is is my last settle. Okay, just checking. I got I really enjoy how <laughs> aggressive Sassy's being. Just being like, Sassy's "Hey, been very aggressive over here." Hey, buddy, you're We're within off. like three miles of my borders. Are you okay? <laughs> 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 I 
I noticed you looked at my land wrong. <laughs> I love it. It's so much. It's so much. <clears throat> it's so much more fun when people, you know, get into little arguments about where they can settle and where they can't. Hey, I'm having went. a great time because I really love horses. <laughs> Even in real life, I love horses. Do you like rampaging them into coastal cities? I feel like that's a pretty standard thing you do with horses, right? True. Oh, shoot. I should have waited two turns. It's not the end of the world. I still have the builder. Um, so you make your way back to the capital. Get that monument up. I keep making small mistakes like that. It's okay. I'm also Jesse, spreading like settle? holiday cheer everywhere, so be ready for holiday cheer. May I settle where your horsey is, please? How so about you sweeten sweeten that with some gold? Yeah, I'm gonna say no. Ooh, he said no to the lady with horses. Get him, sassy. All right. Get him. All right. I'm just going to have to force it. Force the horse I didn't it? say a lot of gold. You could have just, like, it could have been one gold. You know? <laughs> Not even you know, you just one sweeten gold. the pot here. Sweeten the pot. <laughs> the hell? Oh, I wasn't watching, and Kumasi got killed. Foibles, why are you killing Kumasi? You forced my hand, Potato. Science. What do you mean? I just took level one suzerainty of it. I don't understand. Stop killing Kumasi. That's so many of my envoys you're killing. What a jerk move. I mean, Tim. Thank you, whoever said that. Thank you. That was Zozo. Thank you, Zozo. You know what? Friendship ended with Van Bradley. Now Zozo is my best friend. And also, don't forget, I think a lot of us have incentives. If you want to name a city or a capital, you can for donations, right, guys? Something like that. What she said. Oh, a six food three production. That feels good, man. Way to turn for feudalism. I have so much land, dude. <laughs> the Giga Empire is coming. And so am I. No, don't make that joke. It's a family friendly stream. Foibles. Oh, never mind. You're using your units to <laughs> teach Kumasi a lesson. Die, city states. Is Spiff playing in this? No, unfortunately, uh, unfortunately not. Spiff is, I think, during the... He's uh, sick right now, I think. I don't think he was invited to this. I never invited him. I probably could get him to play. It's just that it kind of clashes with the Jingle Jam uh, for Spiff, and Spiff does a lot of stuff during the Jingle Jam. So, uh, you know...
So I have my first bean boozle that I need to eat, and it's either peach or barf. It's nice, nice, nice. Good luck. That sounds fun. disgusting. Oh, that's the worst. For your sake, I hope it's barf. Oh wait, I meant for my sake. It's peach. The good I omen. was hoping for barf. Clondal. So we have feudalism now. We can take out urban planning. As much as I love urban planning, uh, we're going to do serfdom. Which means, boom, five charge builder, pasture, straight away. Monuments up. Let's come back for recorded history to get that extra governor title. We do a little scouting. There's so much land, dude. Uh, how do I subscribe to Prime? You have to link your stuff. Ahoy there. Did I just meet you? Uh, how nerd and um, white and nerd are you doing? Yeah, they're doing really, really well, but I don't think they're they're running away with the game yet. I need to build wonders. What could I build? I'm gonna get hanging gardens for era score, I think. Wow, Flopple Blop has rejected your deal. Oof. Uh oh. Five dollars and zero cents. I didn't mean to. I opened it right before the turn ended, and then it rejected automatically. <laughs> I'm sorry. Flopple Blopled, right? Why is the game so slow? It's uh, because we're it floopled, bloopled, wobbledy, blobble doop. Dop, we're we're playing you know? over the internet to a land center, so it's like a little bit scuffed. But it means a really stable actual game. I need to think about my next district in here. Um, it's a plus four campus. I should get it immediately. That'll be some error score. Get that iron up. That'll be some era score. Um, should think about getting... Where's my warrior? Bring him back to upgrade him to a swordsman. Need to buy or build a horseman too. Yes. Bang. Just pop a commercial hub there. That's fine. Bane, this is a very small little peninsula. There's nothing to see. I would suggest if I could get another golden age, that would be huge. Um, there's another really good campus right there. I should get that placed. Don't know if I should build it yet. I might. You don't love trade cities. That's why I didn't feed them. Ooh, getting a galley. And Sassy, yeah. just to warn you that if Spain doesn't turn around, um, I'm going to declare war on them. So they, I am giving them a turn. Turn around. Uh, yes, and uh, Boestrus, I will uh, take your settler if you don't accept the deal. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Boestrus. Hey, somebody's wow, taking out a city state south of me, so. And just to show you that I'm serious, you have two games. 10 seconds, Boestrus. Improving a strategic doesn't give error score? Oh, shit. I thought the first time you improved a strategic, you got error score. Thank you. Sorry, that was, was answer. Did you want anything in return? Uh, yeah, I asked you some diamonds. Okay. Yes, absolutely. Oh, no problem. Mm. Did it go through? Any of my tiles get volcanoed? I got I like the. Last I could buy turn. this volcano tile and improve it, which I will. That's some error score there. Recruiting a great person is fantastic. Um, which luxury? You have a look at the continent map mode. Anything far away? I can go get spices, I think. Oh. 
Let's get chopping. I don't want to use my gold on builders. I want to save that for galleys. Let's keep good vision of our borders. Um, you trade with the capital city. Can I get an envoy anywhere? Get an envoy of theology. That'll get me suzerainty of Rapa Nui. Um, trade with the capital, six foot three production. That seems like an obvious trade, but I'm going to actually move it to this city to get this one up running. Um, I still need to get a meek wap, but I can get that with any of these builders that I have coming. Boom. Um, I think I'll meek wap right here. It's a good meek wap spot. Also, probably want harbors in these coastal cities. TBH. Uh, you need to come back to become a swordsman. I need to get a horseman. Hanging Gardens gets me to 50. I think I can very I easily get a golden age here. I was serious. War? Yeah, we're at war. War? Why did war? you get a war with him? What he moved there? his unit. He didn't yeah, remove it. I think it. we've got this. Very <laughs> friendly by this guy. But I, I was like, I was already in the diplomacy stream declaring war. And, uh, like... But I did warn him to not go any further. I didn't care. They're fine. They gave me the experience, I guess. I can only build one Meekwap here. And if I remember correctly, you want Meekwaps to be adjacent to both bonus and luxury resources. I think that city state like heard my horses coming and was like, oh God, I need to put up a wall. Smart, mm, smart. Maybe it's better to move it down a tile. Can they be built on hills? I don't remember. Yeah, they can. I'll move it down and buy it there. Um, Galley is nice, to be honest. Oh, okay. Bit of land there. Let's get that granary up. So the city can grow and get its second district. Take control of Rapa Nui. First Suze. Could also theoretically levy and send that against someone. Um, let me see. So with Hanging Gardens, I think I get my Golden Age. So I could delay finishing the campus. Wait. No, I need to do both of these. Because Hanging Gardens is a previous era wonder, which means it's only worth three era score. So we'll get that done. Um, let's see, did I send my ally? Hey, One Leaf, are you to the right of me there? I sure hope not, because if she. No, is... I'm invisible. I'm invisible. You're imagining things. Her, her teammate <laughs> may have I'm pretty caused sure her I freedom. saw a scout. No, nothing. It's nothing. It's just a measly little dog. Please don't hurt it. <sighs> All right. Who are we going for next? <laughs> well, I, uh, you know, Spain uh, called my not bluff. Uh, we're at war with that team, so maybe that we should we should be able to get this. Oh, the there we go. Gardens. Horse is changing focus. <clears throat> I think this is where my uh... diplomatic quarter is going to go, right here. <laughs> I begged for peace. It's true. I, I did promise to build Venetian arsenals, so I'll do it here. We don't, I will never, uh, I never leave myself, um. One. We're gonna go this way. Three. He did not three, delete three, it. Three, He's yeah, still scouting. There. But, like, oh. he just ran into, like, one of my many armies. Okay, let's get rid of that. Settler and Tenter is above our campus first. We need more builders, too. Uh, two turns, we're going to get that. I think we have enough horse units. We're just going to go so to right. We're going to leave VB alone for now. You're, at this you're point... hot mic, Sassy. What? Thanks for the info, Sassy. Thank you. This is leave VB alone. What? He 
I'm How am I hot, Mike? Happy, happy VB alone day. I like. I have to press a button to be ha like hot mic'd. What? So if you if you press your push to talk key and then go back to the parsec game while you're talking, it'll stick you on open mic. So it's it's kind of annoying. Oh, sending chocolate. I feel embarrassed. Dino. It's like standing there with your pants down. Uh, thanks for that. Uh, Ify says, uh, please heckle Nerdy. Uh, so, Nerdy, your preserves aren't actually great. Sorry. Ha 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 ha. They will be, I swear. I'm building one now. I'm going to finish the gardens now, just in case someone else is building it for Aeroscore, I can deny it to them. But I'm going to stop the campus. Yeah, I need a lot of builders. I need a lot of builders, I need a lot of settlers. 88... Leash had to have taken. Did you take free inquiry, Leash? Yes. <laughs> this is I ridiculous. Do. Get your fake science out of here. <laughs> uh, all of it. Huge cash boost from Kahoki. That was like 11 GPT. Get those dies up. Um, need to harvest masonry. Wait a turn. Horses. We need to get chopping, especially in our capital. He got autocratic legacy. Alta four one. <gasps> oh shit! I meant to get republican legacy. Rip. So many amenities lost. Japan monka s. Just give me a little time, okay? Have faith. Like, you need all those extra amenities? Did someone get a hanging gardens? No one got Colosseum yet. I might go for it. No, I'm going for Diplo Quarter, my capital, after I harvest at the market. I got a couple of big donations in. NorCal Mark with 100. Basket case with 50 bucks. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Does it have to be owned by the same city? Like, what's going on here? Maybe I need better resources or something. Oh, what was this? Nice. Um, universities and banks is like a good direction to go, I think. Plus one new pop, Askers. His military strength is a little high. I wonder if Leisha's going to Caraval kill people. That's why I'm settling very little on the coast. Um, I'm taking the opportunity to settle off coast wherever possible. What's the game plan, if I may ask? Out sim people. Like, just go super hardcore on sim my sim is already insane um i need to just keep it going i 
Dido's definitely going to get Carvel killed. But it's exactly why my coastal cities are one tiled. Two tiled. This is going to be a one tiled. No tiles, because I'm not settling coastally here. Uh, what win condition do you hope to achieve? Uh, we're probably not going to reach a win condition here. Like, we're not going to get an actual game over. Um, but we might get close. God, his culture. His culture is the thing that is, like, blowing my mind right now. I'm not sure where he's getting that culture. I think my... I feel like my food and production must be bigger than him, though. What's his GPT? It's got to be something insane. Holy shit. Is, oh, they they spawned near each other. They're trading externally. No religion for Japan. <clears throat> He's trading externally over water with his ally, most likely. They're both trade sieves. Japan and England, so they're both, like, just popping off on gold. Oh, I need to research cartography for the gold boost. Ah! Right, so that'll be part of our plans, is to get to cartography. If only we had spies, no spying. Um... I want the consulate, but I don't know if I'm willing to hard build it when I could be making settlers. I think this might be a Stonehenge game. Quick religion. Tithe or something. Plus it's era score for the next era. We're not allowed to spy on other people. Don't go to other people's streams and spy. Shout out to Lordy Games for a $300 massive donation. Thank you so much, Lordy. Holy crap. Nice. That's awesome. And that's officially $25,000 total. Woo! Woohoo! Really quick Good round job, everybody. Now. Let's go. Thank you so much, by the way. Don't know why that gal is oh, not counterattacking me. Did you really? You yeah, literally did, was... yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. That's probably a mistake. He's going to camp me for the rest of the game. <laughs> All right, guys. Hey, city names are available. City names are available. I'm going to give one to my mother because she made a big donation. Oh, that's so sweet. Huh? Oh, no. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> no, that's Wait, a sweet minute. sentiment though. So nice to be white. You can maybe outscale them on cities. I think I can outscale them on cities if I go builders and settlers continuously. But I need to get my tile improvements up, so I'm getting a couple of extra builders. And then we'll go back to settlers in a moment. I feel like I'm in a really, really good... I, I think my food... And, I'd be really interested to know what, what level my food and production was compared to the other saves, but I have, like, a really, really disgusting empire, and I can expand it pretty much continuously in the next few turns. Blue might kill Dido and get those cities. Yeah. He scouted them.
Hey, what's up, Paul? All right. Settle this city. Move the trader over there. I don't need more tea, but I may as well improve the tea because it is golden food. Uh, monument commercial hub. This light will not stand. Going for the trade build. Harvest this. Delay Stonehenge. Oh, just so uh, you know, by the way, Spain at uh, TGM. Uh, you, there's a barb camp there. A barb camp to the west. Uh, southwest of your unit that's moving on the Sea of Marbara. There's a barb camp. Jebba Barkal plus Stonehenge plus Wonder Religion plus Giga Monumentality could be the play. How fast can I get? It's a 15 turn Jebel. With chopping. Let me look. I already have Divine Inspiration. Nah, I don't think that's the play. What does culture even do other than policies? Um, <laughs> it's like its own tech tree. I would like it to I, be what do you mean? that Crusade went as fifth religion this game. I, I saw that. I could have got it. I was like, nah, everyone's so far away. And we all let Sassy get it too. And Bro, that's that some guy. bullshit. I wasn't getting it. What? I hate no. it when no. it does that shit. Delay Stonehenge for error score? I don't think it's worth it. If someone else does it at the last minute to get error score, I should have I should have never switched away from it in my opinion actually. Basically what happened is sometimes when you when you try to put a wonder, wonder to the top of the queue, it like bugs out. Um, that's what happened there. I'm going to delay what I'm doing here because I want to put a commercial up on this tile, but I don't want to unchop it. It's our second district, campuses. We don't need campuses. We need things like theater squares. Leisure's culture. I don't know where he's getting his culture from. It's insane. Oh, hi, boy boys. Yes, we've met before. Oh, yeah, no, but I saw the settler this time. The one right next to my warrior? Yeah. Yeah, the one right next to my scout? Yeah, no, I'm just saying hi. That's it. You're fine, though. Don't worry. You want to wait to finish this. No, TGM has it. Yeah, TGM just took it, and Leisha's culture just went down. That makes sense.
No, he has got a craftsman. Are you playing with diplomacy? Wing? I think all win conditions are on. Diplomacy is very hard to do in multiplayer, though. It's one of the slowest wins without mods. This is a game with, like, the S tier... Things. Do I have double card plugged in? I do. What do I want to fight for? Yeah, that. I think fighting for Antana Revo could be good. It's less contested. Zen Meditation plus Tithes, that's probably what I'll do. Okay, I'll finish these campuses now. The big thing that hurt me is that I had to give my ally gold. That's what really kind of screwed me this game. Um, the fact that I had to feed him gold to keep him alive. Um, if I hadn't had to do that, I would have been able to snowball much better. Um, but that's life. I can see I play Civ 6 very differently. I've never done any chopping. Chopping is literally, if you want to become a better player, if you do no chopping, chop every single tile. Was Tithe taken? It might have been. Yeah, Tithe was taken. We'll figure out a religion. Can Potato see Van Bradley's uh, page? Well, Van Bradley kind of has to call it out to me. I'll return to the campaign. Hang on, let me have a look. Can Potato please name a city Tato Tots for the kids? Sure thing. You can have my capital city. There you go, potato. Tots. There you go. Hey, Zozo? Yes? Someone donated for you to sing a song, so you have to sing a song about science. About science? Do, do they have a theme they're looking for? Uh, it just looks like uh, uh, something don't know much about biology song. Don't know much about biology. All right. I, mean, I guess I could be tile checking too, but I'm just playing it's like a, a casual game. Song, right? That's a, yeah, is it is it a specific? Because otherwise, I'll I will sing a science song about not knowing about biology, and that's what I'm going <laughs> to do right now. Here we go. I don't know much about biology. Japan's Japan's is popping off, but he's really small. I think his empire is compared to mine. To the knee. How was that? Was I, was I, supposed I mean, to I'm into longer? it. I I, I thought it was good. Said I, I like... don't know much. Is that? I mean, is that technically the... like? Biology, because that feels like oh, forensics or something, right? I, I think there is an actual song that's uh, by a guy about not knowing much about history. You could like karaoke it, maybe. If they're not satisfied with that, I can. I can. No, I don't know the song either. So they like... said it was beautiful. Oh, oh there you go. Keep giving them to the sass. I got. I got dad jokes here. Got more songs. No, I won't do a silly one today. I'll just do snack. Zen meditation. Uh, sacred places, I think. Right. Yeah, I was gonna say, Bo. It's like that's interesting. You have an encampment right there. I mean, I thought we, I thought we we're supposed to be friends, and now a wall. I'm hurt. 
Who, me? Shoot, I should have waited a turn. No, no, no. I, can just, let, I can just let the timer run okay, out. Okay, cool, because I never said we were friends. Oh. <laughs> Damn. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. You got that corgi outfit on. We're, we're definitely friends. I will once we have a break. I will be putting the corgi outfit on. <laughs> Alright. Forgive me, I'm gonna eat one of these while I continue to play and stream. It's the best I can do with my broken throat. I'm definitely kind of bonkers right now. Not feeling so great. Alright, so he's going that direction, so... Sorry he's about that. He's trying to get that celestial navigation. Or world navigation. Let me go, you're hot, mic'd. Oh, sorry about that. Wow. All good. I feel like I'm like the hot mic police now. Totally. You totally are. It is appreciated. Judge, jury, and executioner. Open mic? I think not. Your mic has been left open and wanting. You and your mic will be prosecuted to the full extent of the law. I, uh, I made you an offer for peace, Spain, that I think you'll find most reasonable. Most reasonable. Is that a land bridge? Oh shit, it might be. Utter silence. <laughs> it, it's silent, but I'm also like, oh, there's Scythia. Oh, that's a lot of horses. Apparently, they're not into it. <clears throat> oh no, my scout. No, rip scout. I forget why I was building the granary here, but it's probably an okay move. But yeah, I need to keep spamming cities. I'm building too much infrastructure. I've got a $25 donation from Sam, a $100 donation from Rockhopper, who uh, is hoping Potato could name a city Potato Tots for the kids. Or maybe just Potato Tots, I don't know. And then another anonymous 50. Good work, everyone. I actually saw that donation, and I have already renamed my city, so thank you. I do have eyes, and I have been watching. Heck yeah. Dick burn. Was it, oh wait, a burn? <laughs> I, I, I lied about having eyes. They, uh, my chat screamed at me to name the city. <laughs> I am uh, to inform you all, World Congress is next turn, and we don't want to vote right away. I think there might be things. Spain, honor has been satisfied. I would entertain peace. Okay, uh, snacky boys. Zen meditation and sacred places. I think that's my best move. Let that passive spread happen. Uh, Liang in active group. You need a holy site? I'll get one when this potato tots gets to 10 pop. Boom, campus complete. 
quick library. Potentially I'm ahead on... Our military alliance is disabled, oh. probably. Oh. Hello! There's Everybody. More Hold grievances? Who, who gets the grievances? Nobody vote. Nobody vote. Nobody vote. Right. Anything. Timer's still on, though. I'm gonna, I'm gonna increase it. It won't happen this turn. So what's the yeah. plan? You gotta pause, I think. Oh, no, it worked. Oh, no, there it goes. No, timer's what? good. It's 16 minutes. You're good. Yep. Greetings, participants. I will be the speaker for this World Congress. This is going to be the same as we did last year. We're going to go around for the uh, uh, the rules that we're going to play, and you're going to all have your piece. You can choose not to say anything, and then we're all going to vote. Okay? I do have some rules. Okay, You're only going to speak when I ask you to, okay? and uh, uh, after that, you cannot speak after that. If you do, then I will kick you from the Congress. Okay, so we will start with the first one, and... Well, you're gonna have to change it a little bit. I can't see both of the uh, both of the things. Uh, public relations grievances. Yeah. Hey, the chosen player A generates 100% more grievances, and the other players generate 100% more grievances towards the player. Or B, the chosen player generates 50% fewer grievances, and the other players generate 50% fewer grievances towards that player. And we're gonna start with Zoe. What? That, that's like the word. Okay, fine. I guess that means I go last for the last one, right? Do you have anything to say or do you okay. want to just pass yeah. there, buddy? No, no, no. Okay. So, uh, I do. I do. I, uh, I, I have a grievance. I, I offered Spain to turn around. They ignored me completely, violating our territory. And it was a, an atrocity. As such, we believe that it is only fair that Spain generate more free. And does your partner, Sassy, have anything to add? We're just speaking to public relations right now, right? Not the other one? Yes. Yes. Okay, what am I supposed to be adding? Like, I, I think if... Oh, public relations? I think, like, anyone, like, even, like, steps remotely, like, a million feet within my presence that that's a declaration of war in my opinion we're, we're just we're very we're skittish about people coming into our territory and you know just pay attention okay hey is that everything yes hey moving on tgm do you have anything you'd like to say uh yeah i stepped on zoe's lawn and he through a tantrum so uh probably extra grievances towards them okay and one leaf leaf is uh deafened muted? i think yeah completely deafened and muted rip moving on all right moving on then uh, bose I'm going to say 100% uh, towards uh, Sassy for immediately declaring war on Van Bradley and then constantly antagonizing myself and uh, foibles over land that is clearly not hers. Hey, foibles. Good point, foibles. Foibles, we don't hear you. Push talk. I, I always forget. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> I, do, I do too. Hey, yep. So 100% more grievances hey. towards Sassy. Um, <laughs> mostly just because she's Hi. been a general bully around. Hi. And uh, I think that would be fair. I love you so much. You're my favorite little fluffy ever. I love you. Hey, good points. Uh, on spot. Oh, I think uh, less grievances for Sassy. Here, here. Hey, does white and nerdy concur? 
I think if we look at the evidence that is everyone's uh, Dipple favor on the screen, uh, you can see there's very striking evidence that both Zoe and Sassy uh, have been naughty. So let's vote for Sassy for 100% grievances. Oh, we got a little bit of a uh, uh, split there between the allies. It How about the one like... who's been the most wrong this game so far, Van Bradley? What do you say? I'm going grievances for Sassy. I am so shocked. Pikachu shocked face. <laughs> uh, <laughs> hey, uh, how about Potato McWhiskey? Uh, as a player who has been watching international developments with some interest over the last few turns, I recognize that while Sassy Gamer Lady does pose an immediate threat to world peace, there is a beast in the East growing, a threat no one has considered because no one borders this man. Liege is currently building <laughs> a giga fleet of, of proportions unknown that you could not possibly imagine. Okay, his combat score has gone up hundreds of points in the last few turns. We need to target him with extra grievances. He's about to build caravels, upgrade. He, he's building galleys. He's about to upgrade them into caravels and completely take over the coastline of this entire map. Please, I beseech you, <laughs> stop him in his tracks. Never heard of this Liege. <laughs> But speaking of that, we get to hear from Liege Rebuttal. Can I answer to, 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 to this, to this griefing by Potato McWhiskey? <laughs> <laughs> Can do. I answer now? Yes. I just want to say one thing about this Congress. If someone vote against me or Lembago during this Congress, I will attack him. So wow. do what you want, ooh, ooh, ooh. do what you want, but don't vote against us and Lemongo uh, and, and I. Look at him. He laughs in the face of our diplomacy, in the face of our <laughs> Congress. Uh, I uh, beseech Denounce you, the rules, him. Do, not, do not speak unless I ask you to speak. <laughs> As in the great words of King Arthur, don't test me, bro. <laughs> 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 Very factually correct. Mm. Last oh, word respect. goes to Lumbago. Um, yeah, well, you heard what my boy said right there. So, <laughs> um, uh, I also, you know, I'm a little concerned about my neighbor, my unfriendly neighbor, Sassy Gamer Lady. So, just have to say that, you know, the horse lady might deserve some votes against her, uh, like a hundred percent more grievances. Um, if you're so inclined. Excellent. So we move on to the next policy. Okay, and we're going to go in the same order. Hopefully uh, they have something prepared to this one. This one is regarding trade routes. Oh, this is a big one. So A, I can barely read it, but I'll try. <laughs> trade, it is trade policy. Yeah, I'm, yeah I'm trade policy. Sorry. Uh, trade routes. It was good last time, Roy, and you ruined it. <laughs> well, it's, it's lower. I, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Here, there we go. Okay. I mean, patience is a virtue. That's what they say, right? There you go. Okay. We're getting there. Hey, who says you can't be perfect on the same no, You need both showing. Well, I need you showing, okay? Why don't you can wow, it, sir? That's really nice. All right. There you go. Trade policy. Order. <laughs> uh, policy A, trade routes sent to the chosen player gain plus four gold to the sender. The chosen player receives plus one trade route capacity or b cancels any international trade routes between other civilizations and the chosen player and embargoes any new ones from starting so we have an embargoed uh, trade policy starting same order as before zo take the stand i really i know spain loves trade and it would be so unfortunate if they could not move on from this. Honor has been served Spain. The scout that offended us has been destroyed. I think you should move on, because you would hate to have all of your international treaties canceled, because you need that beautiful, lovely trade to flow. So Spain, turn away from war. Let us have peace. Hear out our diplomats. Hey, moving on to Sassy Gamer Lady. I would have to say that uh, foibles, regardless of uh, what he said and how everyone is ganging up on poor old me because I'm completely innocent and I am just playing to the horse lady's beautifulness. But moving on from that, 
Um, Foibles has great trade routes, and I think we can all benefit from uh, giving him a thumbs up on uh, helping him out with four trade routes. I don't, I don't see a problem with that. It's working out for me. Yeah, it's good stuff. All right, moving on. TGM. I mean, I have one of the worst starts I've ever seen, and also I've now been declared on for no reason, so I would like the extra trade route, please. Help me catch up. Help me help you. Short and sweet. Let's move on. One leaf. Are you ready for this round as well? Yes, yeah, sorry. Um, hi. I like trading. I like friends. Um, I like sharing my things with you. Please give us a trade route. Okay. Bye. Yeah, both see us. I mean, Cleo is waifu, and waifu is laifu, so we should all give Cleopatra the extra trade route. Hey, and foibles, Cleopatra. I should have thought of that a long time ago. A lot's been said, and to be honest, I think it goes without saying that everybody benefits when they trade with Egypt. So, yeah, let's put it on Egypt. Hey. On spot. I think I have a very good working relationship here with uh, Spain, and he has been all but nice. Uh, all, I'm sorry, everything nice to me. So uh, let's uh, go for a trade out for him. Oh, come on! The Bargo! Can't hear us, it's fine. Oh, oh they can't hear us? No. Okay, okay. Hey, oh white and nerdy. <gasps> I will also remind the other casters, I can hear you though, so. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's hard for me to focus. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Let's get some heckling I, I, I heard in the crowd. Good. What's going on? I feel very good making friends and giving the trade route to either Foibles or to Spain. Uh, I think I favor Foibles because he's my neighbor and uh, could be a friend sometime. Maybe. We'll see. Van Bradley? I sit in my chair two years past the date where Peppermint Butler destroyed us all. And I recall that game where early on we sat in a Congress kind of like this and we all knew what would happen if we just let PB get ahead. And no one did anything and he nuked us all in the end. I think there's a lot of people that deserve trade routes and gold. My estimation of the game state currently is that if we do not cancel international trade for liege he will eventually win it is it's probably in the hundreds of gold per turn and I'll i would like to say he is to over killed. 250 gold per turn <laughs> it'll be the first one to get killed will be me but eventually he will come for you too and that's just my warning to all about how how much these international routes are doing for liege and the nukes may be flying your way sooner than you think hey does uh Tim McWhiskey have anything to add? Absolutely. We all sit here with high-minded ideals about diplomacy and trade and friendship. And again, I remind you, there is one among our number who does not share these ideals. One person here who has come here with threats, with violence, who builds armies on our borders. I beseech you, embargo Liege. Okay, embargo him. We must embargo him. Myself and Van Bradley are the shield that will protect this world against Liege. We are building a counter fleet. I am making gold. Please give gold to Van Bradley. Embargo Liege. It's the only way we can stop him. If you do not embargo Liege, it is over. That's all I have to say. I love how the order goes because then we get to hear immediately from Liege. Yeah, I understand and I hear everything there. I, uh, I listen to a lot of things and I am more for gathering people than divide communities. So I am plus for uh, Spain trader. Uh, it's a good friend. I will never attack him. So, but uh, I can't say that for potato mac whiskey, even Bradley. So I am plus for Spain and... Uh, my fleet uh, can uh, go everywhere where you put my news on me on that Congress. Just to want to say that. And the final uh, word. 
Goes to Lumbago. Uh, I'm just gonna follow my teammate's lead here. Hey, so that concludes the first Congress. Please cast your votes. Hey, I know that everyone here has different levels of science, culture, armies, cities, but here we sit around the, law, uh, the round table of King Arthur wielding Excalibur. Cast your votes and we'll know the results. See you next Congress. Bye. 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 So wait, I can do whatever I want now? You can, yes. you can totally do whatever you want. You all know what the correct choice is, okay? <laughs> you know what the right choice is. <laughs> yeah, and there you is know, only I one can... choice for us all. Yeah, I can check every standing of you. <laughs> Care about the Congress. Look at him. He threatens legitimate voters. There he is no the Congress. He threatens legitimate governance. <laughs> he's, he's interfering with the election. Get him out of here. He's, he's threatening voters. Count. Uh, Liege, do you do you want to be friends? You sound like my type of friend. Of course. If oh, you don't no, deny me, <laughs> of course. If you don't deny me the Congress, if you put minus on trading on me, that's not gonna be good. No, I didn't do that. Not only did I not do that, I encouraged less grievances towards you because I feel like you and I are just like you know the same teammates. <laughs> yes, but I am more in the sea. You are more in the land. Don't worry. I got you, Liege. I totally got your back. Oh, quick question. Quick answer. Uh, do I have enough time to change into my corgi outfit real quick? Because people are asking for it because I hit that milestone. Well, I would do it right now. Okay. Uh, we're waiting for Lumbago and Floople Bloople. Wait, what are you waiting for? No, you have to cast your vote. at this point. Okay. Yeah, I am. Um, I didn't know I was supposed to hold my votes. I'm sorry. I was deafened. That's okay. No worries. <laughs> I got to donate. I have to compliment another player from a donation. So, uh, Liege, I just want to say I'm sure that your boats are very large and beautiful. And I'm sure you have very many beautiful boats. Yes. Is it large true? boats. And I will yeah. check now who voted against me. You fools! And Oh, you goddamn fool! You voted against me. Oh, I saw Come something and get very. Me. I saw something very interesting. There is Cree. Cree voted for Moisos. Potato. Wait, what? <laughs> Potato, you voted for Moisos. Wait, how? how? Whoa, whoa, whoa! I don't know. No, that's that's a bug with the. Wait, what? Uh oh. Because I clicked on Japan. Just to what? let you guys know, sorry to interrupt you. Um, we just got a five thousand dollar donation from Twitch. Yo! Oh, 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 oh my God! Thank you, Twitch. Amazing. Congratulations, team! Thanks, Twitch. Uh, thank you so much. Wow! That is fantastic. Thank you. That's amazing. Let's go, Twitch! Jeez. They see us. What the hell? I definitely put the votes incorrectly. I think the World Congress is bugged. I will just say this. Congratulations on the dono. <laughs> Liege, I would like you to know that I, I voted against you not out of animosity, mm -hmm. but out of desperation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I check out every vote. Don't worry. No, 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 I'm not saying I'm acknowledging that I voted against you, but not out of animosity, just out of desperation. No problem for me. I can bring you desperation. 
Liege, or, or, or Van Bradley, have no fear. We can, we, <laughs> Van Bradley, have no fear. We can defeat him. We have the gold. We have the boats. Um, I know I'm not meant to have fear, but I'm scared. Too. Listen, you'll be fine. You, we're, we, we got this. I, I hope so. I know Sassy is changing into her outfit, uh, but uh, that's fine. Uh, we can... Hopefully she's fast. It, is she at war? If she's at war, maybe extend the turret or pause. I don't think she's at war. Well, except for like... What happened? Did you do your costume thing? Yeah, 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 I changed super fast. I, like, oh, okay. ran downstairs. <laughs> That's, like, impressively fat fast. I'm proud of you. Me too. We uh, offered Spain peace, and uh, they rejected it. Noting, Spain, we did not vote to embargo you, for the record. So I'm supposed to forgive the eight other dick moves? Uh, there was one move, and it was to kill the scout. That's it. That's all we did. You scouted, the scout got killed. That's justice. Not dickery, justice. Hey, potato, are we kicking ass today? We're doing okay. We're doing okay. We're, we're struggling a little bit, I'd say. Just because Liege got such an insane uh, leap into the game. Now, I don't think he can really get to me, so I feel fairly safe. <clears throat> Is building a, sp a military specialized city with encampment of future aerodrome a good strat and multi? Probably not really, to be honest with you. Most of the meta in multiplayer revolves around building early tech units and then upgrading them. Hey, One Leaf. Do you happen to have a friend yet? Sorry, did I get asked a question? Oh, no. Uh, she's deafened. Oops, I should have looked. Hey, foibles. <laughs> oh, I'm the next best one? Okay, sure. But I asked you first, and you ignored me. Oh, sorry about that. Um, yeah, I guess so. I gotta go, it's getting late. Uh, I'll catch you later once. Thank you so much for the gift. All right, Spain, let's try this, maybe. A token of our forgiveness. If you play the game so fast in your vids, does this feel like a large departure from your norm? Yeah, definitely. Hey, Bose, what's going on with that settler there? Are you going south with that? Yes. Absolutely. I'm so glad that we could come to terms. May the errors of the past not daunt the future. I'm going for mass settlers here. I've got two out, more to come. I've got so much land, I just got to keep settling. Um. So I think it's time. I think it's time they do to have a little conversation. Pardon me? I'm assuming I'm the, at the other end of this conversation. Mm -hmm. uh, do you accept uh, to be a vassal? 
Oh. This is a question now. If you, if you're gonna kill me, you're you're gonna have to do it. <laughs> I, I acknowledge my almost certain defeat, but I want you to I want you to do it. Okay, Van Bradley, I sent you gold. It's time to research carvels. <laughs> <laughs> they are just research this turn. Bows, that was a lie. I'm sorry. I had to declare declare war on right. you. You are. <laughs> I didn't consult you last time. I suppose it's only fair. I sent you more gold. Say say good night, Sassy. Good night, fair prince. You said you were going south, and you went north with your settler. Sorry, I have vertigo. Yeah, I'm sure you do. And my horses just have minds of their own. Whoa. Oh, sentient horses. Terrifying. Hey, Sassy, if you ever wanted a, uh, a real nice redemption arc in this story of the Civ Give, sending some of them sentient horses towards the liege might be nice. I just lost my, I, was, I have the hotkey bug right now. I'm so upset. No, it's, yes. it, this is the thing. Um, what happened was I made a deal with Bose to not f go north with the settler, and he decided to fall back on that deal, and so all bets are off, and now I have something to do. Yay! Horses! <clears throat> oh my god, this... Hot key bug. The one where you can't use your hockey keys anymore? Like, pretty detrimental. Yeah, it's infuriating. I I remember I got it. I got I fixed it once by like spamming escape and then like clicking on city renames and typing stuff and I like I, I just it's so inconsistent. Anytime it happens as a single player, I just reload the save. But sometimes I know people can fix it by changing the hotkey, but it didn't work. <clears throat> Someone says alt tabbing a lot can help. I don't know. Well, that wasn't very nice, Liege. It's called last move. I'm not gonna lie, uh, Caravel fleet and uh, Great Admiral is, is is a good strat. Yeah, that's why I'm quite upset that no, like people haven't recognized the threat of Liege right now because he's like he's easily one of the best players in the world on J vanilla Japan. <laughs> oh God, this is this is technically what the Civ Show is renowned for. I, I did try to warn the world against Peppermint <laughs> Butler in year one, and no one listens to me. In fact, but I think I, I got declared war on because of it. But he can be vassal of me. There is a rule, no? I, I we would rather uh, die than serve. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Van Bradley's an adult. He can make his own decisions. Anyway, my conquest will not uh, go further these two cities. Uh, it was too close to me, Van Bradley. I agree with your assessment, but I, I think I think I, I think I know you as a reasonable and very high quality Civ player. I think you would have looked at my yields per turn and thought, ah, he's probably not a threat. I feel like I feel like you could you could just leave me here with my thirty science per turn, and I I would never be able to be inconvenient for you. Is it true? If it's true, there is no problem. I can leave you there. I I just pillage your harbor, and I I come back uh, on uh, and I go on uh, on other people with my uh, little fleet. Is this basically if he accepts he's your vassal? <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> speaking as someone who's two continents away, <laughs> we would rather no, die. I don't, I don't particularly <laughs> want to be a vassal. I, I'm just saying that the game state is such that I couldn't even possibly inconvenience Leech if I wanted to. Like, I'm essentially a vassal just by existing with my yields at the moment, is what I would argue. Yeah, you got kind of screwed. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty big. Although, speaking as someone who is several continents away and under no threat, I think we should fight to the death. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I'm ready to fight to the death. <laughs> I'm just trying to convince Leech that he doesn't even need to fight me to achieve the exact same outcome. Yeah, but you voted against me on the Congress. <laughs> I said something and you still voted against me. What the fuck? <laughs> I know I did, but again, like, it's not your out fault. Of malice, it's your fault if you are in this situation right now. It's not my fault. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. Just someone made you. Someone made you click the declare war button. Maybe, but uh, <laughs> that's another, another story. My chat is pointing out to me that the, oh, please don't hurt me, I'm just a tiny little empire, is a pretty weak defense, but I, I stand by it. I agree to leave you alone if you let me pillage your harbor. It's kind of uh, grief, yes. It's ki kind of vassal, yes, but it's not. You, you just gonna repair your harbor for turn. Is I it mean, okay for you? I mean, yeah, I, I can't okay. stop you from pillaging the harbor. So if, if you're going to pillage the harbor and then leave me alone and leave me to repair it, that's about yes. the best I could ask for. Yes, let's go. Just move your uh, your fleet. Yeah. <coughs> Thank you, Van Bradley. Very cooperative. I don't think a Huey here is going to be the move, guys. Cowards, <laughs> allowing the barbarians in to pillage their lands. Cowards, I say. White Nerdy, could you move your scout from my cities, please? Oh, uh, maybe. Yeah, I think so. He's moving, I swear. Sassy, I'm gonna offer one chance to become my vassal. Or Foible's vassal. What say you? That will never happen. I would rather have you burn my cities to the ground and nuke me before I become someone's vassal. I am like Noted. so Based. far away from you, Sassy. Thank you. Based, Sassy. Thank you Based. for uh, your cities. <sighs> Make them bleed for every inch of territory. Could you expand north and use foreign continent boosts? Uh I could, but I think I think I just I just make cities, dude. I I've got what one, two, three more cities on the go. And I could make a lot more if I really dedicated myself to it. I might dedicate this after Jabal. I really need a theater square and a holy site in the city. Maybe. Get the theater square. Inca science going up? It is going up. I might not get another golden age. That's one worry I have.
Um, so I have banks now. That's good. Let's get cartography that gold. He needs like 60 gold. I'll buy my traders. Get me another builder. Um, can't afford a trader this turn. I will okay. say this playing with this lag and wars is absolutely terrible. Yeah, that's a good, good couple second latency there. Like my screen freezes for a second and then units move in and then just appear in random tiles. Oof. Is that what I want to do? No, I really need builders, like crazy, crazy amounts of builders. What's what's going on over here, VV? You attacking me too? Everyone's attacking me? I cannot let the beginning of the game go unaccounted for. My people demand it. Also, I think that five, I think we're we're at thirty one thousand dollars right now. By the way, which is crazy, honestly. <laughs> That's awesome. That's brilliant. Good work, everyone. That's great. Uh, how many friendships can we have, by the way? Uh, Each one, player guess, right? can have one friendship. Oh, I'm sorry about that. All right, then. Well, now I have no friends. So, um, Liege, would you like to be my friend? Of course. Of course, I'm friends with everybody. Except uh, two people. <clears throat> Do your worst. <laughs> <laughs> Look how soft and sweet he speaks <laughs> as he sim simultaneously conquers us. <clears throat> the tongue of a snake <laughs> yeah, on that man. Sometimes. Okay, <clears throat> just really quickly, I just want to thank someone named 3.14159, um, <clears throat> who came in with a hundred dollar donation, and my reward for that is that I would pie, I would get a pie in the face. Now my friend who was here helping me out had to run, so I'm doing it to myself. Um, but I, the donation happened a little bit ago, and I didn't notice it right away. So if you are there, tune into the channel, and you're about to see a pie to the face, or anybody else That's here who just wants to see that. <laughs> Let's do it. All right. I hate to, to point this out, but I do notice that I think I see players that have more than one friendship. I think when you friend, does it friend both players? I could be wrong. No, yeah, it does, I think. Does it? No, these it are does not. different teams. It does not. Then I'm a liar, a charlatan, a fraud. I have no friends. Someone would go on the internet and tell lies? Yes, and it's me with all of my I, thumbnails. I actually, I have actually, I'm actually <laughs> cheating. I, I admit it, I, all of my runs are fake. How okay? dare you? <laughs> Use my own words against me. <laughs> that was so fast. So, so what, what we'll do, it, the player that has two friendships, <clears throat> Their team has two friendships, so just their other teammate do not make any friendships, and then when those friendships expire, just make sure you're picking them up, okay? Does that make sense? Okay. Yes, I'm Uncle sorry. Zozo. Uh. Hey, Fluffy. 
You're very round. You've been eating a lot. You're going on the diet, you fat rabbit. I still love you, though. Anyone else talk to their pets? Just like, in the chill in their house? It's like, hey. I'm sorry, I'm body shaming you, Eve. You're, you're beautiful. I feel sorry for that horse when I accidentally misclicked on and just sent to its death. Your <laughs> sacrifice is not in vain. You're like, you're going to run into that wall and you're going to like it. Should I cram cities? I think I can cram in this game. But I have so much city potential. Spain is going ham, dude. <clears throat> I'll give him. Oh, I have to give him some gold. I would really like to be spending my gold and making spite, more builders. So sassy. <laughs> but my ally needs Maybe. to do well. <laughs> We need a rabbit cam. Honestly, she would just sit there. Um, God damn it, he's settling fast. I'm tied to an anchor. Sh fettered to a corpse, as they say. Good meek up. Any meek waps in the chat? Yes. Um, two bonus resources. I'm gonna harvest these crabs. The problem is, he's eating up all my production that should be used to make traders. He's using up all my gold that should be used to make traders, so I'm gonna have to build hard build them, which is really infuriating. Um, but it's not his fault. I need to help him. It's an obviously better use of my gold than making more traders. Um, but it doesn't mean I have to waste uh, turns on that instead of gold. It's a really good mash for a meek up right there. <clears throat> Why cram when you have basically infinite room? Um, so that you can maximize the total number of cities in the land? Two dollars and zero cents Nuzlocke win. Ah, raising Zozo has a lot of stuff. Hope you're doing good, Sassy. I'm staying Zozo. alive, staying alive, ah, 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 staying alive. This is Van Bradley's war, Zozo. I have no qualm at you. No, no, no fight. Yeah, I, I, I don't, I don't really have a beef really with you either. I suppose I don't have to fire at you with my archer. <laughs> We can, yeah, but Just, like, uh, don't cross the river. How about that? Just don't cross the river. The river's contested. It's our border. Sure. We can, we can share that river. It's going to... All right. Now... Well, technically we're at war, so we, we claim that the river is ours, but you claim it's yours, so this is our skirmish. Sure. We're, we're locked in a stalemate perpetually, forever. Awesome. Deal. Oh, I, um... I have a compliment of player, and so I'm going to go ahead and do that. 
really quickly. I just want to go ahead and make sure. Wait, I got to do this really quickly. I would like to compliment Sassy Gamer Lady on being the cutest damn corgi I've ever seen. Oh, thank you. Even cuter than another cor corgi. <laughs> An actual corgi. Since you a deal potato. No, I sent him a deal. Oh no. Let me tell you, there's Man, enough tea for so everyone. There's enough tea for everyone. <laughs> Luge. <laughs> for the kids. <clears throat> potato is oh sorry I hot mic there <clears throat> uh is potato is this going to be a YouTube video uh yes it already is it's a YouTube VOD already you can go to YouTube and like watch this from the start if you want right now it's possible what is an NFT uh, you know it's complicated, you know. I, you know, I, I run many businesses off NFTs. When's the next Midnight Suns video? Soon, TM. I just got back from Jingle Jam. I had this today. Uh, real work starts tomorrow. I got a lot of admin to catch up on. I got a lot of emails to check. A lot of deals to do. A lot of records to do. I gotta let my bunny out. She's like, you know, I got a lot of stuff to take care of. I have enough tea. NFT? Enough tea. I think we forward settle this guy to try and block him out and we keep going north ourselves. How many cities is he on? He's on a lot. He's doing well. Dude, Leash is insane. It's taking care of a rabbit heart. I only had a goldfish as a kid. It's not difficult, but it is time consuming in some respects. Really easy in some ways, quite challenging in others. Um, I would say it's less work than a dog. Um, like in time invested per day, but it's more work than like a smaller pet, like a hamster or something. Um, I really want this amphitheater for culture, so we're going to get that. We could also get our third district in here. Shocked no one went for Coliseum. Might go for it in the capital here. I am going to go for it in the capital. Yeah, right there. No. I'll go for the... I'll, I will go for Coliseum, I think, this game. Okay, we're spreading our religion effectively. Your job is to chop here. Your job is to get to here. Quarry, very little production in here. Uh, do they chew on everything because their teeth don't stop growing? If you get them stuff to chew on, they should be fine. Hey. Okay. Um, yeah, I, they need 
I'd say it's about, having a rabbit is about as much work as having a dog, I think, because rabbits need to be exercised, they need to be cared for, they need to be checked on, they need to be interacted with, they need love, they need care, they need affection. Um, they have special needs, you have to pay attention to them, you have to check their, you know, you have to clean them out. I, I, yeah, I'd say it's about as much work as a dog. Michael, can you accept? A bit less. I did, thank you. Say it correctly, Coliseum. Coliseum. Coliseum, Coliseum. Did she stop eating the carpet? She eats the carpet when she's angry. They need to be exercised? Yeah. <clears throat> they, they need ex ex exercise. They need to be... They need to run around and spread their little bunny legs so they can, you know, jump around and do things. Sheesh. Yeah, his culture is insane. Sane. It's... Uh... Kind of scary. Scary. I've been thinking. <clears throat> I've been. I've been thinking about practicing, uh, not lisping, lisping again. I think I might do it. It'll make my voice voice less less grating. Uh, uh, I have some DM. To be honest with you, Boestius. And uh, they are saying to me this uh, private message that uh, you are attacking someone. And she's soon my friend. I don't think it's hmm. a good plan. Well, she did declare war on me. Uh, yeah, but it's enough now. No more griefing. No more griefing? <laughs> she stole my settler. <laughs> yes, but she's kind. She's a horse lady. I think I think I'll take my city back that has the 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 settler and then we'll call it good. Okay. I mean, to be fair, you promised not to forward settle, so I was only taking what was obviously mine to begin with. Uh, I told you I had vertigo. I couldn't tell which north or south. It was confusing. My, my my sim is going to get a lot worse now. Yeah, I know I need more traders. The problem I have is I have to give all of my gold to my ally. If I was able to keep my gold, I would have all of my traders. But I'm hard building traders out of a city right now. Um, <clears throat> that's just the life I have to live. Nothing I can do about it. Liege is pretty far gone now. Yeah, you can, you can just see the difference in his understanding of the game compared to ours. In multiplayer, specifically. Is your sim going to get worse? Uh, it's because my golden age is ending. I wasn't diligent about getting a golden age. <clears throat> Why do you have to give money to your allies? Um, so that he doesn't die. He was dying. Basically. Um, honestly, I should, like, if this was a competitive game, I would just abandon him. Um, but this isn't a competitive game. So in order to give him a chance, right? And it's also, the longer I keep him alive, the longer I keep him in the game, the better chance we have. Um, because if you look at his stats, while he is bad in terms of his stats, he's better than a lot of people in the game. Like, he's better than Flupel. He's better than Sassy and Raising. Um, on par with Foibles and stuff. So keep him in the game... 
does have some relevance. Rip Cahokia. Hmm, that's concerning. <sighs> he got Killa. Uh, it's just a little conversation with you two. Uh, yes. Can you stop to contest my city state? If you stop to contest my city state, there is no problem. Uh, no, no war. <laughs> okay. That's okay. Fair. Okay. Good. I'll bye. Bye. <laughs> Nobody else seems to even have like 75 culture and Leisure's at 200. I, I just want to say that at the last Congress, I feel like we foresaw Hello, this. Hello, this happen. is my surprise face. When the world is burning, remember that I warned you. Not a very scary military from Michael. I mean, it's scary. Um, but I should be able to keep tabs on it. Hey, Leash, do you uh, mind not moving the era so fast? Thank you. Uh, no problem. <laughs> yeah, Leash, have you ever considered being worse at this video game? <laughs> I, I practiced a lot, you know. Mm. Just a little then bit. 10,000 hours is a lot. That is, that is a lot. Thankfully, Liege is no match for the greatest enemy in this game. The turn timer. Eventually, his empire will become <laughs> so big that he can't manage it. That kind of seems like a reverse killbot <laughs> strategy. I think it will be. I, I'm sorry, but I think it will not be a problem. We are playing in multi multiplayer in uh, turn timer very, very low. So don't worry, potato. I'm not afraid of you. Okay? I'm not afraid of you. <laughs> <clears throat> Your soft French accent strikes fear in the heart of many, but not me.
<laughs> I've yet to find a single natural wonder this entire game. What? Yeah, me neither. <laughs> what? I... Wait, no, I did find one. I did find one. That's what you get for ripping candy out of my hands, dude. When did Taking you have candy? candy? From the I didn't have it, but I was going to. But that's not the same. <laughs> Liege, I have proposed to, to you, Liege, I proposed to you a piece that will hinder my ability to uh, commit the same crime and vote against you in the next Congress. Nickel, <coughs> comme on dit en français. Uh, nickel, as we say in French. Let's go. I agree with you. <laughs> That's some great French there. <coughs> I'm learning so much today. French and civilization. So good. Yeah, I should start building an army. I'm building walls, which is not much. You know, my last name is French, so maybe we should be friends. Uh, I, uh, there is a problem. I can't be friends with everybody. That's okay. I, I, I hope I, I, I could, but not possible. The rules. Wonder card. Oh, you're right. Oh, no. I think I don't need to change my cards. Maybe military cards. Units. I could go for a nighter unit, yeah. Uh, oh no, sorry. You're hot, Mike. Has the Auckland Sues leash? Come on, man. Mm, yes, I heard there was Bologna, Geneva in the game, Zanzibar, the most powerful game uh, city state in the game. I want you to remember that I warned you. <laughs> I. <laughs> My it oracle did. spoke <clears throat> at length. I don't know if anyone else is. I'm not getting sick, but I'm starting to get a headache from all the artifacting when I'm moving back and forth so fast. Yes. Yeah, that's fair. That too. Do we know um, when the break is? I think we are no longer taking one because we took that other break, as far as I understand. Uh. <laughs> I think, yeah. We might be able to squeeze one in. I'll see what. what uh... I mean, perhaps our overlord Moy might like, let us take a break. I don't know. We'll have to ask him, plead with him. I'm getting invaded. Evan Bradley, are you... Are you griefing, uh, Orsedi? I'm not griefing you or Victoria. And Ors Lady. <sighs> Bollocks. Yes, he's trying to take my my Napoleon well, city. I am I'm griefing surrounded. Ors Lady, but only as an equal recompense for her grief of me earlier. Mm hmm. Yeah, but I never took your cities. Yeah, because I put walls up, not because you wouldn't. <laughs> Ors 
And uh, and and fo 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 boys is still coming after me, Liege. No mercy. Five boys, five two. Ah, okay. So two two against one. That's, that's Actually, okay. it's three against one right now. Three against one. Yeah, foibles, bows, and VV are, are attacking me. I took the city I said I would take, and then I stopped. I hope so, boys. Oh, until you declare peace. Until you declare peace, you're 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 still attacking me. I mean, you are you are the aggressor here, so. I don't know. Liege and I coexisted peacefully at war for a couple of turns. VB not Before? only took my city, he raised it to the ground. <laughs> Just to yeah, really oh, shove it in my face. Keep it with loyalty. So I mean. I am looking at the uh, ground and I can't see evidence the city ever existed. There's just a road between one of your cities and one of mine. And I see no evidence there was ever a city there. Wait, you're kidding me? It didn't lock in. How infuriating. Thank you, Michael. Ah, uh, Lumbago, can, uh, can you accept the deal of uh, Alliance, please? Michael, <laughs> I hope those knights aren't yes. going to say hi. I accepted. They Thank had you. to say hi to Kahokia, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, but they're not going to keep coming, are they? Kind of heading no. yeah, a little bit close. Yeah, I was boxed in by the city state. I had to, it had to go. Okay, no, that's fine. That's fine. A few turns now when you attack me with those knights. Okay, I want everyone to remember that he told me it wasn't going to happen. Well, I know Liege is on my side now, so that's all that really matters. <laughs> I'll just sit back and watch his... Uh, Army unfolds and get the popcorn out. Uh, you know, I am on your side. Yes, it is. It is true. I am on your side, uh, horse lady. But uh, I can't uh, do a lot of things right now. I, I That's okay. I'll, I'll. I I'll have keep... a project. I have. To you have a project the... you're on. Okay. You just let me know if you need help with anything. I got you. I can send you gold if you want. I have eight hundred gold for you. If you oh, want that would to, be but... lovely. I'd really appreciate yeah. that. Thank okay. you. Okay, go, 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 go. That's fine for me. Okay. I'm building the Venetian arsenal as as was requested by the dono. I'm going to spread out these envoys. I can't fight for suzerainty, so I just get stat efficiency. I sent you deal, uh, RCD. Thank you, that was most generous. He got that as well. The timing on that feels... Yeah, I guess it was the right time to get them. Okay, he blocked me on both those, that's painful. I wasn't committed to them, I was just trying to like steal them. It's not the end of the world. Timing on that's very frustrating. Um, 
Let's choose to trust Michael in the name of Sim. Sim Myers. Dark Age? Yeah, we're going into a Dark Age here. I don't think we can get out of it. You got the lowest mill potato? That's fine. I have I have stuff pre-built. I'm starting to get crossbows and I'm going to put them in these cities. That'll start to bump up my military score. Problem is, because I had to feed gold to uh, Van Bradley, I, um, I didn't leap out the gate like I needed to. It's, a, it's so valuable to have international trade with an ally. So valuable. My internal trade is insane, but I just can't compete. I'm so frustrated on the timing on both of those wonders, though. I felt like I was like on the verge of claiming them. Um, three envoys is pretty good. God, I hate that. That's annoying. Okay, we have a good spread. Um, let's do Hitusa. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's fine. We'll just. Put it there. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Um, two, three. Yeah. We can do a farm triangle here. No problem. It'll be okay. Trade route. Pikeman. Second thought. Let's finish that pikeman. So that's probably thing you can imagine a player doing Civ 6 multiplayer besides picking Babylon. I'm not sure. Um, that's hard to say, actually. There's a few really good trolls you could do. So what happened, Bose? Because it looks like you're still attacking me. I thought you were just going to get that city and stop. You have the coursers on my land. What am I supposed to do? You mean, correction, my land. Uh, my land. Because uh, I put the settler down. I don't know about that. The sass. I don't know how sassy is alive. Every, she attacked, she almost killed Van Bradley. And if she had, it would have been a very different game. <clears throat> it's not Van Bradley's fault that I have to give him gold. Like, he just spawned in a bad spot. Um, but now I need to, um, keep it a buck fifty. How's Liege more than double the science to potato? Because he spawned next to his ally, he could do international trade Why are you so uh, over the Zanzibar? ocean, and he has like a million a gold trade. per turn. I'm fine with it. It's like an insane. Watch his gold, right? He has two gold right now. The turn's about to end. Watch his gold. Ally was uh, feeding him too with trade routes, I think. He's also just a really good player. 400 gold per turn. It's insane. Um, so he's just a really good player. That's all it comes down to. He he has like thousands of hours in multiplayer. I don't know the multiplayer meta so well. I can beat Deity AI like with my eyes closed. But multiplayer meta, that's a different beast. 
Um, and he just has us outclassed in uh, gameplay quality. He's like three times as many hours in the game as me, so he's just like... He's on a different level, dude. He's a, he actually has a Twitch channel, although I think he streams in French, so most you guys um, probably wouldn't get a huge amount out of watching him. Need that granary to... Well... Yeah, I need to get the seven pop in here, but we'll prioritize. Really upset about the Kumasi kill. That was going to be huge for me this game. And the fact that they took it away from me kind of left me in a bad spot too. I mean, I was never going to be able to rely on a city-state that's on a different continent. Like, that far away from me. Um, but I can't help but feel... There's a feeling... That I was targeted for, you know, anti-player anti, anti -player action. Um, in that sense, they they blocked my Kumasi, right? But we're not really stopping Liege. Every opportunity we've had. Haven't stopped them. Oh. oh everybody disconnect? Yeah, the server, the whatever we're connected oh. to just died. Oh, we're back. We're back. Oh. Raise the parsec. This is, um... Filthy Raise Robot used the parsec! To Filthy Robbie used to talk about this a lot, actually, when he was playing Civ V, is that um, you'd have a lobby full of players who would... Um, they, were, they were even good players of the game, but they would not do the thing that was required to stop someone from winning. Raise the bones! What did you do? I ended up doing my thing. Nice one. Easy clap. Potato, you got to tell people to team up against Liege. The problem is the players won't uh, act upon that information. I've already said that multiple times and they won't. Um, and now it's too late. Liege has already won. So we're just having fun. Um... Unfortunately, it is too late. Uh, as very win. Uh, so it's actually a very interesting mechanic in the board game called Twilight Imperium. Wind slaying and wind making are a huge part of the diplomacy in the game. Wind slaying and wind making. Wind slaying. What do you mean by? So wind I heard slaying? someone donated five thousand dollars. When did that happen? Twitch. Holy. Oh, crap. Twitch donated. Okay. I was away when that happened. I had all my mods say, they donated. Uh, you basically got to freeze him on huge land. How did you not catch up to Liege? Because um, he's just a way better player than me. Pretty simple. Um, and he got international trade and I didn't. I think international trade beats internal trade. I don't know, because, like, you, if you want, I would sincerely appreciate someone going back and, like, showing me, like, where I went wrong and what I should have done differently. But I think I've made, like, reasonable decisions this entire game. It's been a good game so far, everybody, but I have a feeling that my, my time is running out. <laughs> Unfortunately, l someone, I assume Liege, built the Venetian Arsenal, so I can't build it for the donation incentive. I was, like, halfway through it, so. Rip. Oh, no. I let him know. Oh, right. no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I am so sorry. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Charity ruined. Oh no. It's okay. Not this year, kids. <laughs> yeah, you disappointed the kids. <laughs> Find whatever way we can to make you feel guilty. It's all good. Just build something else. Yeah. Uh, I'll try to get the lighthouse. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta try and build the lighthouse unless Liege is gonna take it. So, let's go back. Uh. 
Where do we go next? I have trade routes coming from every city. I need to get up into here. God, I'm getting so screwed. Oh. Why did Liege free him better than me? Because I, I had to send all my gold to Van Bradley. Big I could just blame my teammate. Not only I could just stream, blame Van Bradley. Thank you. Oh my god. I got a free, I got a free out. Nice. Oh, I like Liege? your mother-in-law. Would she like to buy me His ally too? didn't need help. Just kidding. They free him uh, the entire well, game. I had to send all of my gold <laughs> to Van Bradley. <laughs> Fair enough. Purchase settlers. Dude, there's no way I can afford settlers. They're like insane, like 900 Honestly, gold each. Honestly, decent reason to move to Arizona. No, oh my god, dude. It. I can't believe Check Van Bradley out. simultaneously hot there. Uh, made my game really hard, but also gave me an excuse for why I'm bad. <laughs> I got a couple Take decent later. donations coming in. Zealous for $25, Anonymous for $50, and Anonymous for $250. Thank you so much. All that money's going to Gamers Outreach. They are wonderful. Thank you, thank you. Shit, I need to get through my turns faster. Honestly, all that land became a burden having to spend a lot of production on settlers. Kind of. But I think my, my late game is like Uber if I can continue to settle. Which I would like to do after I get Coliseum. If I can get Coliseum. Yeah. The problem is Liege... Do you know what, do you know what it was? Do you know what killed me? I'm going to say it right now. It was these campuses. I should have only built one of them. The rest of my production should have gone towards getting culture. Um, well, I just, I, I didn't focus on how important culture is. Why the arena? Hey, four balls, I sent you a deal. Dude, the Colosseum's gone now too. Fuck, he's just getting them right ahead of me. He's, you see, his temple is just that high that he can get them ahead of me. Fuck. Sorry, but I was conquering a city. Uh, what's your deal? Uh, I sent it to you. Got it. Thanks. Uh, do, 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 do. I think this is okay. I could have chopped a lot more too. Yeah, I'm getting triangular trade now. Sassy, what do you I'm think all... about peace deal? No, go ahead. Keep going. I, I, I never give up. I never surrender. Even if you take my capital, I will keep fighting. Till the bitter I end. We're allowed to kill com someone completely, right? Yeah, we can't take you completely. That sounds like a... That sounds like pity. I mean... No, I mean, like, I think that was the... Yeah, talk to Moe about it. It's his rule. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm only 425 away from hitting my ultimate milestone. And if we get that, that means we're all going to play. Whoever uh, the content creators here want to play, we're going to play an Among Us stream. Yay, save Among Us. Sus. Yes. Just think of all the backstabbing. Delicious. Oh, it's this time again. Moi, where are you? It's that time of the year, yeah. <laughs> Moi, hello. Moi, oh, there he is. We will liberate your more? cities one day. 
Welcome to the next Congress, everybody. Is everyone having fun? Yes. Indeed. Define fun for some. I'm just We're doing great. I think we could use a, a, a short, short break at some point. I'm in for a break. Okay, well, I'll talk with the... Uh, I'll talk with the casters. Same rules as before, right? I'll let you know when the talk. Welcome to the next era, everybody. So the first one we have here, I'm just waiting for Moy to kind of fix up the uh, uh, the thing so I can see the policies because I can't see them on the screen right now. Lots happened since the last Congress. Here's uh, Potato McWhiskey, Potato McProfit. Yes. Okay, so the first one we have here is if you select A, the units of the chosen promotion class gain plus five combat strength, or B, units of the chosen promotion class lose five combat strength. And we will start with raising Zozo. Why do I have to start again? Because I said so. So rigged. Full systems rigged. All right. One sec. I just had my Tiltify opened in the background, so I heard like echo, echo. Not a problem, there's so so. All right, all right. Like, I think Vengeance has been satisfied. You know, we have to acknowledge that Bosius did say he was not going to forward settle and then he began to forward settle. That's an act of war. So like having that war was declared on him, in my opinion, like that, that's like England declaring war on, you know, the, the, the Germans, okay? Because they, they broke their treaty and stormed Poland, okay? So this is not right. And we need that acknowledge that, that, that Bose has gone too far and he is still not, He's relinquished the cities as he promised even to Lege that he would. How can we trust this guy? Uh, that said, um, it, it would appear that it's in everyone's best interest if, um, let's go with anti-cavalry, everyone's best interest. And this is coming from me. I got a huge cavalry army. We need to defend against cavalry. I think that we should give plus five combat strength anti-cavalry. Okay, and uh, Sassy, Gamer Lady. I thought you were my teammate. Why are you Why are you making them buffer <laughs> against me? Well, I'm like, I'm, I'm cornered into my in capital battle. now with my horses. They need, to, they need to ride free and be brave and strong. And I think because of that, since I have three people attacking poor little defenseless me that is innocent of all these things that you say, so untrue, I was just... Letting my horses roam free. <laughs> that we should, we should, map. we should make the horses stronger so they can ride free to victory. I mean, to horse time, fun time. Well said. I will remind everybody: do not talk unless I give you the floor. Uh, so we will go on with TGM. I don't recognize your authority. <laughs> is TGM away? He oh, is. Sorry, he can you hear me now? Yeah, we can hear you. Floor is yours. Okay. Uh, I say let's give five combat strength to melee units because we need to hasten this game along. Okay, and the floor moves to one leaf. Sounds good. Let's do melee. Hey, so pretty strong for Team Melee here. Bosius. You know, I'm okay with uh, with with Melee. I'm also okay with anti-cavalry because even though uh, Zoe said some pretty disparaging words about me, uh, I did agree with his anti-plus five combat strength to anti-cavs because I do like killing horses. And the floor moves to foibles. I did owe my uh, associates claims to uh, increasing combat strength for anti-cav. 
Oh, we got, seems like a trend is forming here. Let's see if it can keep on going. On spot. I have to say my recon units have been bullied from the beginning of the game. I would Our gladly give them an extra plus five combo strength. And moving on to white and nerdy. Well, you see, uh, I think we need to kill some city states, guys. <laughs> so, <laughs> I think anything that does that is good. Um, I'm, I don't know, I'm, I'm good with the, uh, I'm good with melee. I'm good with siege. I'm good with uh, recon units, cause, um, cause me, cause Inca, Inca boy. Um, but up to you. Uh, yeah, that's it. Moving on to the next team, Van Bradley. I will also be advocating for the anti-cav or melee, whichever people would like to vote for. I would just like to take this moment to call out sassy gamer lady for doing the whole poor old little old me defenseless thing. I will be running back the tape to when my capital had one health left from, I don't know, two hours ago. Hey, and Potato McWhiskey. <laughs> The Kree Empire no longer recognizes the authority of this World Congress and will be withdrawing all of our delegates. Oh my gosh. <laughs> After this shameful display <laughs> of letting the Japanese Empire grow so strong and so powerful to be an unchecked power in this world. I will point out, the chair will say, that it is not uh, the Congress's prerogative on who is the hegemonic power of this world. So uh, uh, you may continue. <clears throat> I reject your diplomacy and cede by time. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on, Liege, the floor is yours. Uh, yeah, I, I listened. I heard a lot of good things about this game and about this Congress. Uh, but I will follow uh, Horse Lady for what she thinks, what she wants for the military council. And uh, care about the city state. I, I heard something that will. I'm not uh, very happy about uh, killing city-state, uh, white and nerdy. I, I have uh, you in my visor. Uh, All right, so okay, I'm far away. <laughs> I'm so sorry about the last thing. There, there's no, there's nowhere that <laughs> it's spicy. Far away. Okay, order everybody. Uh, it's not your turn to talk. It's Lumbago's turn to talk. I would like to vote for plus five melee, please. Or suggested, or whatever I'm doing right now in this conversation. <laughs> Where am I? Excellent. So we all kind of set our piece. Moving on to the second policy. <sighs> Is that me? Uh, no, well... no, it's Moy. Uh, but uh, I was going to say them out. So A is new districts built by this player act as culture bombs. And B, this player's borders will not grow via culture. Raising Zozo floor is yours. You know, it appear, it occurs to me that in a lot of these conflicts, really, I'm neutral to a lot of it now. You know, I, I obviously want Sassy to be restored, and that's now one of my main goals. And to that end, I think Culture Bombs would help me help Sassy. So a vote for Culture Bombs for Saladin is a vote to save, save the Corgis. That's what I want to do. I want to save the cute little corgis. You don't want to, you don't want to vote against corgis, do you? So uh, vote for me, Arabia, to gain new districts build at Culture Bomb. Okay, sassy. Hello, sassy. Sorry, I had to. I have a corgi in my hand, so everyone can see how cute he is. Um, I think that would be great. The new district's built by, you know, for me to get that. However, I am such a fan of Liege, and I really want to see his empire explode everywhere on everyone. So I really want to vote for him to have culture bombs, because Liege is my friend. Thank you, Liege. Moving on to TGM. 
uh, vote for me for culture bombs because culture bombing is fun and I'm a nice person. Excellent. One leaf. Hello. Uh, hi. I. Why does my brain empty when it's my turn? Um, I think Spanish and Greek culture are super dope. And I hope you do too, which means you should probably vote for one of us. Uh, yeah, okay. Yay, hey. uh, eat gyros, bye. Hey, Bosius. I do like Greek food. I like, uh, I like culture bombs for TGM, because he's nice and he deserves them. All right, and we went on the foibles. Let's just say uh, nobody expects the Spanish culture bomb. So, yeah, let's give it to him. We'll see some support coalescing around Spain here. Uh, one on spot. I will advocate for the same thing. Let's give the culture bombs to the man himself, DGM. Is this Congress going to have a consensus on something here? Why do nerdy? Uh, yeah, actually, no, you know what? Really? I've been I've been moved so far. I uh, I thought we wouldn't be able to all coalesce on the same idea, but it sounds like we're all coalescing on the idea that TGM is a good person and he wants culture bombs. So if everyone does it, we can do it together. Hey, okay, and moving on to the next team, Van Bradley. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna vote that TGM's borders will not grow via culture. Oh my god! I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Give him the culture bombs. <laughs> oh wow, it's it almost turned one way there. Uh, okay, Potato McWhiskey. <laughs> this Congress is ineffective and useless. You already said you're ashamed of yourself. Of oh, true. <laughs> uh, he still gets a say. <laughs> this Congress is okay. shameful and ineffective. You should all be <laughs> disturbed <laughs> at the lack of power that this body holds. The lack of impact it has on the world. <laughs> I see my time. Hey, moving on to Liege. League of Nations. Uh, yeah, I agree with uh, everybody in the Congress except Potato <laughs> Mac Whiskey. Uh, I am plus for uh, giving uh, culture bomb to Spain. Thank you, everybody. Right and last nice Lumbago. I too will vote for the same. Here, here. All right, so everyone submit their votes and uh, see you next Congress. I'm pro. I'm I'm protest voting down. It's all smack arm, boom arms too. The game mechanic. Where is he? There we go. One down vote. Uh. Can we get that 10 minute break? I think we could really use it. I think the energy is pretty low right now. Should have asked it from when, when, when Moy was in here. Mm, yes, we, after the vote, we'll uh, pause for 10 minutes. We could type yeah, it in thank chat. you. It's been, what, five hours? Hey, hey, Saladin is here for you, okay? Thank you. The most effective member on the sit show. Actually, that's a good question. Uh, <laughs> oh, how, how much longer do we go? Because, you know, it's getting close to my bedtime. I just want to know how late I'm staying up. I think the the plan is to go to nine o'clock Eastern Standard Time, so two and a half, two hours, twenty more minutes, I believe. Is the game. Okay, that's perfect. As long, just as long as I know, so I can plan my tomorrow. Okay, ten minutes, everybody. Wait, the Congress didn't finish though. Yeah, finish the vote, then then ten minutes. Waiting on VB. Thank you. Well, shit, I got nothing to do with my time. What are you guys up to? Ten minute ask me anything. Go for it. Go. 
I would like the floor to know that I voted down this proposal in protest. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm going to go eat my sandwich now. I'll be yeah, right back. Yeah, we'll be back soon. <laughs> More great people quiz. If everyone teamed up, could they beat Liege as he is now? Yes. We could make the game nearly impossible for him. <clears throat> I'm playing Path of Exile. Have you heard of it? Yes, it's quite good. Here's the ultimate problem, right? We could all team up and beat Liege. However, it is in everyone's best interest to only pretend to team up. Because if, if I team up, let's say we all team up on Liege, right? And we all put 100% into stopping him. Okay, we stop Liege, but we overkill him, okay? We don't need to put 100% in. And let's say I'm the guy, I'm, I'm we're all evenly footed, and I'm the guy, and I put 80% in, and that other 20%, I go to build my own empire. Well, now, we killed Liege, and I've been putting 20% of my empire in. So, that is the problem, right? Everyone needs to deal with the bad guy, but it comes at the price of their own empire. So, everyone is trying to contribute just enough to where we de defeat Liege. However, that requires everyone to have a perfect assessment of Liege's power and capabilities, which we will not have in this game. Um, or it requires one player to completely sacrifice themselves to ruin to end to ruin Liege's game, and then someone else wins. So it's a it's a it's a very it's 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 one of those what do you call them? Potato being entertaining is the only reason this game is still fun to watch. <laughs> um, potato soup. So basically, the the point I'm trying to make there is it's actually it's in everyone's best interest for someone else to deal with Liege, which makes it nobody's problem, and that's the problem that we have here, the classic diplomacy problem. There's like a there seems to be a bad vibe on most streamers. What went wrong? What's the bad vibe? Nobody seems to be having fun. Um, I think the energy is just quite low. It's been a... We've been going for like five hours already. And it's been a stressful game of save. The kind of game is safe where you could like just alt F4 and, and leave in a normal game. Um. Hey Fluffy. You alright, babe? Good girl. Uh how long does this last? I think it's another two and a half hours. So there's a good bit of content left. If you could make three small changes to save six, what would you change? I think I would make it so that city centers always had two production. Um it's kind of annoying that there's an optimal place to put your city center. It doesn't really feel like you've learned anything. It just feels like you know a very basic obscure mechanic and it reduces the total amount of options available to a player for where a city placement is good. Um, so yeah, I would make it so that city centers... I'm practicing my S's, by the way. My S's. My S's. My S's. Um, yeah, I would say that give every city center plus two production. Slithering snakes. Yeah, I'm, I'm still working on not lisping. Talking out your S. Because this is, this is, this is what my S sounds like. This is what it should sound like. City centers. City centers. Is this something you can actually learn? Yes. You can actually train yourself to change your tongue position on how you talk. Um, it's it's how it's how children are treated for lisped. Lisped. Um, I don't think my lisp 
really affects me in my life. So it's not it's not really a big deal, but it would probably be better if I didn't lisp. Just to confirm, you're supposed to settle on a tile with plus plus two production, aka a hill. You're supposed to settle on a plains, a plains. Z, a plains, 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 z, plains hill. Um, Sandy sure is standing in the center. Center. Once, once you do it for a while, it becomes much easier. Um, right now, I have to kind of think about think about potato, please. Please say Irish wrist watch. Irish wrist watch. Um, do you still think I'm that back. strategic resources are not plentiful enough in Civ 6? You used to talk about that. I still do to the point where one of the multiplayer mods in Better Balanced Game actually deals with that problem. Um, by getting strategic resources, Jesus, um, strategic resources from uh, things, encampments. You're getting better. Keep it up, but speech brain stuff is weird. Sing talking can help stutters. I've heard stuff stuff like that before. Uh, I wonder if it's a balancing issue or a game mechanic issue that a player can run away in multiplayer games like this. Skill plays a role, like Potato said. Leisure is super skilled, but there should be ways. Um, so, there's a lot of factors that goes into it, but like most... Mo I'm going to stop trying to anti-list right now. Most games are games where accumulating small amounts of advantages can lead to big amounts of advantages later on. Um, so, Liege spawned next to his ally with naval coastal trade as a naval sieve um, which allows him to generate way more gold than me i have probably better food and production than him like i would say my cities are probably bigger on average than his cities and i have more cities and um, but he just got more stuff faster that's all it is he he got to a strong point faster than i could is simply all it was um he got control of key city-states that I wasn't able to get control of. He's in control of Nan Madol. Um, realistically, um, game mechanic should kill this. That's what should happen. Um, so, so, yes, that's the big problem. The big problem is, uh, Liege is a really, really good player. There's a lot of counter strategies available to everyone in this game to stop Liege. We have done none of them. That is the problem. We didn't vote against him in the World Congress. We haven't killed the key city-states that are feeding his culture. Um, you know, there's so many areas. People people who are suzerain of city-states other than the ones that he uh, is suzerain of haven't declared war on him to deny their bonuses, right? There's so many things we could do to stop Liege. Um, Liege would stop Nan Madol from dying. Liege can't. Liege isn't in a position to. Properly attacked, he could kill this in two, three turns, and then raise it, and boom. Dead. Nothing he can do about it. All that culture is burnt. Now, Nan Madol should have died 60 to 50 turns ago. Uh, this is the sort of stuff you're going to be doing. He can kill Spain in two to three turns, though. He couldn't, though, a long time ago. Do you think Rapa Nui can fix culture? See, the problem is, Rapa Nui, here's the thing, Nan Madol gives you culture just for being suzerain. Rapa Nui requires you to spend build charge and crucially actually work those tiles. So, you know. Nice. So, early game we get a lot of time and late game we get less time. Yeah, that sounds, that sounds good. <laughs> True. Based. Let's go down to one minute turns. Let's do it. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Speed save. Everybody's sweating after like 30 minutes. 
I'll be sweating here in a few minutes if we do a one minute turn timer. I did five second turn timer, so I'm ready for everything. <laughs> yeah, I was like, watching that pose was like torture and I didn't have to do it. Uh, how much longer do we have left of the break? Like, we're, we're trying to get it uh, restarted. Uh, technically, we have negative one minute. I called it at 40. May the world be at peace as we move into atomic weapons. Yeah. The second somebody discovered that Auckland was in the game, it should have been raised off the map and obliterated. If Japan... Look at all these naval civs. Uh, naval civ. Naval civ. Naval civ. Three naval civs with Auckland in the game. That city-state should have been obliterated off the map. Oh, like I see we uh, passed ago. also 32,000. 32, Amazing. All Amazing. right. But again, that's not what this game is so about. What's it going to take for us to get to our goal? <laughs> this game is about what, charity. More than half. No, we're not even halfway, are we? Which is what I'm going to tell you to right now. Type exclamation like, mark, I, I, tiltify, and check. In fact, I will do it for you. one dollar past what we were last year. Um, what was it last through. year? For, 42,000 around without yeah. the aid from... Uh, Click that link. From 2K. And go without donate. The, okay, 5, yeah, gotcha. 10, 15, 20, 50, 100. However much you've got spare. Instead of donating it to me, donate it to charity. Remind me, how much is Please. one of those carts? $1,000. So already... We've had 32 carts. You know, that's 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 awesome. awesome. I think we should make all of us should make a cart emoji and use it. Oh, that'd be cute. That would be cool. I, I probably should have done that before we started today, but yeah. Well, no, we didn't want to be pretentious, right? We're the rabbit is getting it, upset. It'll be like the cart and then the number that we bought. So if it's like 42, no, we'll do, hey, that'd be perfect. 42. No, that number is so old. Don't do that. Don't act excited when you get attention. To, like, Stop it. Yeah. You can't come out tonight. You can come exactly. out tomorrow. Can't come out. I'm working. Papa is working. Don't look at me with that anger. Don't give me side eye. Don't give me side ear either. Don't give me front ear. No, you're not allowed to get out. You're in there because you chewed my duvet. You chewed my duvet. You're a prisoner. It's also the fact that most of these players play single player games. Yeah, that's also it too. But again, it's this, this see this game isn't really about like I've been kind of like talking about it like it is, but um what city states are in your opinion are insta kill? Um well Is anyone not plussed yet? I have not plus because I'm in the. Oh, never mind. I didn't realize I was I was stuck in the World Congress screen, so I thought I couldn't. Uh, I would like to commence if everyone's okay. I I don't hear any Looks paramount like objections, so hopefully everyone's at their keyboard, yeah. and I see lots of plus. I mean, at some point we just gotta start, regardless. Yeah. I, yeah. Um. Going. Uh. Yeah, but what city states are insta kill? That's hard to say. Uh, I just got a seventy-five dollar donation. Woohoo! From a, a fantastic Armicus, a, uh, a, a someone who might be my identical twin brother, maybe. Wait, is it your identical twin brother? Maybe. I cannot <sighs> confirm nor, nor deny. A lot of my trade routes are finishing this era. Um do do Realistically I should build an army and go try to kill like game mechanic. I think I could beat him. I'm a little bit ahead on science, a little bit ahead on culture. So I could take him. It would be a scrappy war and he would probably see it coming, which would be a problem for me. Just so everyone knows, I'm $50 away from my next milestone, which is to do my very first one city challenge, because I've never done that somehow. 
but Shaq at his oh, side. Oh, Angie which Jimmy, thank you so I much do. for the gifted subs. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You don't need to give me so subs. They could be nice um, today. Could today be is about charity, so please <laughs> donate to the Tiltify. Oh, no. Um, no. I don't care what China, charity you give to, China or you do it in your own time. <laughs> you give to my charity. This event please, I, doesn't bother me. Please, I just want to thank um, you very much for sending your your folks over to say hi to me when we were on that break. Uh, they're wonderful, and thank you so much for doing that. I really appreciate it. No problem. It's a very uh, uh, cool to play with you guys mm -hmm. and uh, with you, Lumango. What's Moy doing? Somebody came to visit me because I had a bunch of follows there for yeah, a bit. <laughs> yeah, now you are called and you are known as Horse Lady, Sassy. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Sassy's here, yeah? Yeah, I'm here getting owned. He, he How are you? you? No, Moy was blaming you. It's fine, it's for the kids, and I'm never gonna surrender, so take my capital, if you can, from my hands! I think the capital is the only thing you can't take. We're not doing domination. Right, yeah. Well, Moy said, he said, if they don't surrender, then it's it's free game. Moy I, did say that. I don't know who Moy is. Because that's where the casting right thing came up. Because I brought that up, and then I said, ah! Uh, it just means I guess you have to go cast, and then one was like, "Yeah, exactly." But no, thank you so much, Angie Shimmy. Uh, thank you so just much. Just looking at the battlefield, three. If, if you already donated, that's super generous. You're like in the top one percent of people to do that, so I super appreciate you. I'm just like generally trying to discourage giving me Are money. Are you not today. entertained? I don't like the idea of be making this is money what the people came for. while Give I'm promoting blood. a charity. Does that make sense? I think that's not what it's about today. Similarly, during the Jingle Jam, um, I'm not interested in making money while I was over there. Um, it was all about charity. But I, I did make money off my YouTube during the Jingle Jam, which I think is fair because I did all that work before I went to the Jingle Jam and I made it and I made a donation. So I think that's that feels fairly fair to me, I think. I think that's cool. Um, I have a tiny little bunny wiggling at me. She really wants to come out. my god she is like thundering around dude i've never seen you so excited i wish i could let you out i wish i could let you out so bad i love you so much i can't let you out right now i promise i'll let you out tomorrow i promise i'm gonna go i gotta go pet her she's being too cute i want to encourage this behavior this like come play with me papa The kind of energy I need in my life. Oh, is she excited? Is she exciting? Oh my god, no. I'll be back in a minute. I gotta take my turn. Are those rabbit noises or potato? Rabbits don't make noise. Uh, well, they do make some noises. They go like, uh, 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 uh. make like little pig noises. Um, or they scream when they're in danger. Anyone else experiencing internet connectivity problems and an extremely long end turn? A little bit. Uh, the interns, well, I don't know. I was getting a lot of uh, compression and buffering. Uh, 
Now flight might change things. Can someone stop trying to steal money from the Amish Paradise? I know, like, it's a fun name, but they don't have money. <laughs> Just need to level up my spies, good sir. I don't think they heard me on that. Oh, no. Oh, they do. Oh, hi. Hello. Hi. I hear you. I hear you. Yep. Amish Paradise is flush with cash, you say? Please, no. I, I shall be sending my spies that, over uh, there post haste. furniture they're making. You know, that Amish woodwork. Mm -hmm. They are quite good at that. Hey, I live in Amish uh, Amish country, I know. Okay, minute timer left. I'm gonna pet the bunny. I'm gonna pet the bunny. Hey, hey, who's the baby? It's such a pity that rabbits don't like to be picked up and held. Because I reckon I could play safe with her on my lap. And if she was like a cat or a dog, she would love it too. Just sit there on my lap and get I just wanted to say that our stream reached our milestone, which means I'm going to be putting on a holiday concert soon, if anyone Yay! would like to stop Yay! by in the future. Hey, congratulations. Hey, that's that's awesome. Awesome. Thank you, thank you. Fantastic. And everybody Congrats. should show up. She is incredibly talented. Of course. She is. When will that be? Aren't, uh, aren't you talented too? You could do a guitar with her. Yeah, we had planned a thing, but it didn't happen this year. Maybe next year. We'll see. It is very close. Yes, maybe next year. I got a little tiny crocheted uh, Christmas hat for the rabbit. I should make a picture and uh, put it up on the old socials. Uh, setting up a new game to mess around. Tonight, anyone got a recommendation for a game mode? I just got a fifty dollar donation to from a barbarian clan. With a very, very, very nice message to literally everyone. Uh, yes, and another fifty dollars from Chesy. Hey, Ray. That's awesome. Hooray! We hit that one city challenge milestone. Oh my goodness. Congratulations. Oh my goodness. Um, a good combination with Barbarian Clans is um, Secret Societies. Really, really, really decent. Um, it'll, uh, it'll blow your socks off, as they say. It's quite good. It's quite good. Right, Amphitheater's coming up. Art Museum's coming up. Universities coming up. Banks coming up. Let's place this encampment. There we go, that's our late game build. Um, I'm not a complete slouch. I am getting into an interesting and powerful place with my sieve. This has taken me a very long time. Uh, yeah, so my recommendation, if you were building a set of game modes, it would be Barbarian Clans, Secret Societies, and Barbarian Clans, Secret Societies, and yeah, those two together. Go Elves and Minerva, Barb Clans. It's a good time. Yeah, Barbarian Clans plus Elves and Minerva is insane. Potato, what's your opinion on the zombies mode? I think it's... It was a fun extra little thing they put into the game, but it's just not... It's not very well executed, I would say. Would be my opinion on it. Um, could have been done a lot better. Oof. I... am having... a good time. 
We're making builders, we're making settlers, we're doing everything we need to do. Maybe monopolies. Nah, I don't think that really... F- you can, I guess, put it in, but you don't have to. Um, you could never be deity even after watching your videos. Get good, kid. Sounds like a skill issue. Start an emperor and try to move up difficulty until you can be deity or pick an OP save. I mean, you can do that. I don't. I don't think you should play with zombies. I think it's pretty bad. Hey, sassy! I just want to double check that you actually don't care that this capital gets beaten up. No, I'm never gonna surrender. So continue. All right. I care. I'm angry about it. You should stop. Look at him. He's a madman. He's never going to listen to protest anyway. I'm his teammate. I hope people understand that I'm joking. There's a little bit of a... multi-pronged battle going on over there. Multi-prong. Multi-prong. Get that theta square down. Um. Stop. Take this marsh tile. One thing I should have been a lot more diligent about was placing my districts, but again, that required gold. Um, so it wasn't really viable for me. For the majority of this game. Um. Need to keep buying builders to keep the tile improvement train going. I could have played a lot more efficiently, but I wasn't. Um, that's life. I brought my military power up a little bit. I can't get past them. No more so, settlers. Um, my next milestone. They're coming. Hundred fifty dollars away. It's a cocktail night with Sassy and raising Zozo. The Woo! coveted. The the and the, not uh, Whitney. <laughs> yeah, the, not Whitney. The. <laughs> The super coveted, everyone's jealous about type of uh, cocktail party. That's what it is. Everyone wants to be invited, but it's too exclusive. Are we? Okay. Oh, maybe that should have been a thing. Oh well. Um, there's civil engineering. So we need to change this. Triangular trade is better for me now. We're up to 200 gold per turn. Let's get an extra builder out. Just passed $4,000 raised. Thank you, community. Congrats. Whee! That's all right. amazing. Nice. Congrats.
Huge news. Congratulations, TGM. Just trying to get my tiles up. I think I can make some work happen here. Chop. I need to buy more builders. I will get more builders eventually. Is this a meek map? That's a meek map. Right. Send some of these builders to the south. You're going north. Oh, TGM had the same idea as me. I just, I just couldn't get enough settlers out quick enough. I guess I, I could have dedicated... I, maybe I should have dedicated more of my sieve to settling. Maybe I should have just literally built nothing but settlers. Like, if I had really dedicated my sieve to building settlers, maybe I could have, like, just swamped up so much land that it was, like, literally impossible to stop me. Maybe. It's hard to know. It's all very hindsighty. Is Japan getting? There's no way I can contest. Look at these numbers. It's just insane. Nothing I can do about it. It's too big. Too too big. Those city states should have been killed. That's the problem. But I, you know, and again, I'm not saying I'm all salty about this. But I like my cultural city state that I took control of. It was killed pretty much instantly. But again, that's because like, uh, Foibles is a you know pretty decent player. Um, but like Liege has sat on Nan Madal for like nearly a hundred turns. And Tanariva, I can understand not being dead, but you know, should be dead, in my opinion. But again, this game isn't about that sort of stuff. This game is about just like uh, charity and having fun. So I'm honestly not too fussed about it. That's why I've just been like playing my own game, having a chill time, talking to chat, uh, encouraging you to donate. Uh, go donate. Go do the thing. Jingle jang, jingle jam, save give. I don't mind. Give to either. Just give the charity. Right? Let's. It's the season of giving. It's all tax deductible. Make sure you report it. Get those deductions. It's the most important part of giving generously. Is making sure you're also looked after. Never a good idea to give so generously that you won't be able the to runaway. give again. The runaway settler. I see it. I have no idea what you're looking for. That's not the settler you're looking for. Go about your business. <laughs> condemn. Condemn these action. Kilwa? Yes, it's Kilwa. I should have chopped out Kilwa. I should have I should have I should have focused on getting rid of this thing, the mausoleum, the Kilwa. I should have focused on like countering his build instead of playing my own game. Um, but the problem is it wasn't my job to counter. Well, Liege, I just want you to know that here. they took my capital. I have one tiny little city left, so show no mercy. Okay. I will show no mercy for them. But before I uh, I read some book. Also, I got like no great works this game. Um, 38 great rider points per turn. That's absurd. Yeah, he just... <clears throat> just goes to show you like a little bit. He was a little bit ahead of me. And that translates into being a lot ahead of you very quickly. Um, what type of charity is the stream supporting today? So it's basically gamers outreach. Um, like pe people, I think especially kids in hospital. Um, they basically build these like gaming carts that they can wheel around the hospital. So children in hospital have something to do. 
Can't you kill Rapa to the north? Uh, he's not in control of Rapa Nui, and Rapa Nui is not worth killing. Oh, he is? He's Suzerain now. Ah, uh, yes. An excellent point. I will be fighting and or killing Rapa Nui here in a moment. Problem is, I've teched top half of tech tree. Um, so I don't have units that can do this. I'll have to go to metal casting. Two bombards shooting the city. That should do it, I think. So I'll try to fight for it with colonialism, and if that doesn't work, I will kill it. It's quite hard to play with how, like, blurry this is. Can I... Look, my internal trade is insane. Insane. Um, but it just is not enough. TGM, I've just watched you spread across this continent like a plague. Like, just so many cities. It's insane. <laughs> well, you know. At some point, I have to find land. Yeah, true, true. Spoken like a true coupe. Except with dignity? Oh, my God. I need to start thinking about my tank timing. Conscience. Because Liege is definitely thinking about his tank timing. What? There's no suit sayer this game, sadly, so we can't suit sayer. Six or five hundred and seventy culture, dude. He's probably at the end of the tech tree. Yeah, he's he's gonna get the fascism like in a few turns. <clears throat> Get those theater squares, they're worth six culture each. Um, banks, while good, are not as important as other stuff, so we'll get those campuses. Um, might be good to get archaeological museums because I'm late to the party. Just become something for him to pillage. That took about a hundred culture off him. Mm -hmm. I suppose it's safe to go exploring with a caravel now.
Is this PPG? No. I watch a lot of McWhiskey's videos and I really like them. I don't mean to promote anyone else, it's just a question. Uh, what other creators would anyone in the comment section recommend for getting better at Civ? Uh, actually, I don't know. I know people better than me, but I don't know who you would watch to get better than me. Does that make sense? This microcontrol is insane. Uh, nah, like, my, insane microcontrol would be going in here and making sure that I'm working all the best tiles in every single city and swapping tiles, but I'm being lazy. Like, oh, does this city really, does that not need this mine? Like, oh, I need to check my empire map mode. Like, mm -hmm. you know, I would do all that sort of stuff when I would have this government plaza would be fully surrounded in districts instead of only being half surrounded in districts. You know, there's a lot I could have done here. Um to be like way more efficient that I didn't do. Yeah, I guess I sh I guess at the end of my next turn I'm going to go through and just start like exchanging luxuries. That's pearls and turtles. Don't need whales. Don't need those. Big problem for me is my ally got crushed um, and he has no luxuries to give me because like I'm suffering negative amenities everywhere. Um, big, 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 big problem for me. Someone just donated a thousand bucks. Oh my gosh. What? Hey, hey, nice. That's awesome. Let's go. That's not his fault though. He didn't get crushed because he was bad. He just got horse rushed. What is he going to do? Uh, which put me that in a bad spot. Anonymous is so awesome. Always helping out. Early war makes for an interesting, like, visual experience for the viewer, but it makes for quite a bad game play experience. Um, especially in a free-for-all like this. Um, because what happens is, if it was a, like, if it was, like, two teams and two players, like, knock each other out, that means, that, oh, there's still six players on each team. Um, but this one, it means now two teams are playing with one player, essentially. Which means we're half now the power level of the other teams, which is a problem. He gave me turtles, but he should be giving me four amenities from this whole continent. He should be able to give me incense. He doesn't even have it improved. Tobacco. Turtles. That's three. Um, he should have been able to get the jade. Should have been able to get that. That's four. And diamonds, five. He should have been able to give me five amenities. That's 20 amenities across my entire empire. I got a I'm do giving a him. donation to heckle another player, and they want me to heckle Liege. Uh, so, uh, Liege, your culture is too big, you know? and I don't like it. Uh, oh. There's two amenities. That's okay. good. That's really helpful. But again, now like, again, again the, spice. The, uh, the goal here isn't winning it's charity we're money for charity um i guess it's just, it's interesting to talk about the game though so it's fun um it's campus i will say this i think my sim is getting better
Get you in the right direction, you're in the right direction. Everyone in my chat's gonna be so upset that I didn't get Petra. It's been going forever. <laughs> Who got it? Mall wins, eh? Zozo, oh no. Of course it was Zo. Uh, of course it was Michael that took Coliseum. The poor rabbit is sitting over there, neglected and dejected, not being petted. Uh, right. he's just so hard White for head. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. I think you might have avoided getting your uh, preserves nuked. Oh, the night is still young. It might happen. <laughs> if it does, I'm just sad that I will not be the one to do it. Maybe someday. A big messy war would be fun for charity. That's true. First time catching a live stream. Love your content. Who's your favorite nation to play as? I don't have a favorite nation. Dato, do you have a friend? I have no friends in this whole wide world. Would you like one? Yes, please. Very much so. But shall we be friends? I think we'd make good friends. I gotta be honest with you, I like, spawned on my own over here, so I've just been like making cities the whole game. I have like a massive empire, um, and yet somehow I don't have leisure, science, and culture. I don't know. Hmm. Yeah. I think the international trade really helped them out there. Hacks? It's just, it's just so much gold. <clears throat> you are no, I'm being told that um, we're actually supposed to declare amigos, not friendship. Ooh. I, I've always wanted to be Amigos. I heard the food is better when you're Amigos versus just friends. I sent you a, a, a Amigo ship. I'm going to... I have to heckle someone else again. Uh, nerdy. I really don't like your preserves. I can't believe you've what done preserves? this. Wait, what was that? I can't believe you've done this. <laughs> what? <laughs> How many of you hotkeyed? He had potato hotkeyed earlier too. Yeah, I um, uh, I might have literally everyone, um, with sound bites. That might, yeah. Ooh, do me, do me. Did somebody say white and thirsty? Oh, yeah. Yes. I'll dominate your waves. <laughs> That's incredible. This is the best thing yes. ever. That is incredible. I love that clip. <laughs> it's, a, it's a little bit harder to do because I have to use multiple fingers to like push a talk and also click Discord and all that stuff. But True. you know, I got it. I got a few people. It's my favorite. Right. I like the horse the, uh, lady. Talk nerdy to me. You got one. You That's got one when Mike was born. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coughing. Any coffers? Do you have one for me? Those guys are gonna hand it to me. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Act. Facts. Jesus. How's everyone's science? <clears throat> Terrible. I, I I kept promising. I don't want to talk about it. Vials, man. You need beakers, vials, and math. <laughs> That's pretty great. That's a good one.
Do the potato one. Well, uh, oh, sorry. That clip is slander and lies. And and lies. And and lies. Actually, I gotta give I gotta give uh, Van Bradley credit here. He has clawed his way back into the game really effectively, um, considering the position he was in. Excuse me, it's turn ninety four. The era's gonna end already. Yeah, yeah. Great. You don't have your golden head. He's such a troll. I don't. I don't. Do. I played so many practice games, and the Renaissance lasted to like 1:30. <laughs> Did you set them to uh, liege difficulty? <laughs> Apparently not. <laughs> well, that's your problem right there. Yeah, you're not wrong. It's like it goes like what a mortal deity, and then liege, like <laughs> grandmaster level. <laughs> it would like. Things that sound like a you problem for two hundred dollars. Yep. I propose an international giga alliance where we just kill everyone that's not in it. I, I think the oh a giga alliance. You, like I think if you're you're gonna do anything, you someone has to just go away and they're not even <laughs> I would like to say that the time to do something was sixty turns ago when we could have banned his trade. Not salty about that. Definitely not. You're, you're, it is every Like I said, when the nukes fly, they won't just be for me and Potato. It's every every Civ game. Every Civ game. No one will listen. If if this if this was a serious game though, um in the sense that, like, oh, you know, I had, like, ego writing on it, where it's not right, it's just for charity, so it's just for fun. It's okay. You know. The people of the Kree Empire consulted our oracles, we saw the future, and we've been proven right. It's just, we'll have to be, you know, emperors of a, of an ash, empire, an empire of ashes. Um... Yes, if this was like a, like, this is like, you know when you're playing like Dota or something? And you're like, okay guys, uh, hey, uh, we should like, like, get back, you're about to get ganked. And then like, they stay and like, keep pushing and it's like, and then they get ganked and you're like, dude, maybe if you'd like walked back like five seconds ago when I told you to, maybe you would have survived that gank. Or even more frustrating is when you're like, okay guys, let's just go bottom and end the game. I'm no longer having fun. We have, we have won. Let's. Finish off the enemy team. And your team like runs off in I five directions farming jungle flying. and gets themselves killed. And now the enemy team actually it's has a chance to win. Because one of your dudes is dead and he doesn't have buyback. Um, incredibly, Signs incredibly frustrating. When like you make like an exact away. perfect correct call. Um, and people don't agree, and people don't follow it. Obviously it doesn't apply to this game. Because... Uh, this is for charity. Speaking of charity, make sure you go to exclamation mark tiltify in chat. Type that in chat and you will be able to uh, donate to the gamers outreach, which as far as I'm aware, I am not prepared for this because I was away up until yesterday. Um, as far as I'm aware, they produce uh, carts for like children in hospital so that they can have something to do. They can have a little bit of enjoyment, peace, love. All that stuff in their life from video games. I do not want peace, Van Bradley. I want vengeance. Vengeance, Barsooch. Uh, okay. Are, 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 you, are you sure about this? Yes. Uh, 
Uh, what game is he talking about? Just any multiplayer game where you like make a 100% correct call and your teammates ignore it. It's a, a very uh, frustrating experience. Like if, you, if you're playing CSGO and you're like, oh, he's in long, watch out. And your teammate just runs past long with their like eyes closed. You're like, you know what, man? He was where I said he was. And you should you should have done something about it. Oh, poor. Now, occasionally, I'm going to make a wrong call. That's fair. But I usually don't call stuff out if I'm wrong. Or, like, if I'm not, a, if I don't feel really certain. Like when you say to a kid, yo, kid, don't step there, you will fall. Oh my god, dude. The kids are actually the most annoying people in the world. Because you'll, like, I'll explain. Like, we were in Finland, and my nephew was like, there was like an open fire. And uh, he just would not stop leaning over it. And it's like, why would you put your center of gravity over a thing that can kill you? Just don't lean over a fire. Just don't lean over a fire. It's that simple. I'm not going to be mad that you're near a fire if you don't lean over it. And no matter how many times I told him, it's like, hey, walk slowly. Be careful. Don't lean over the fire. Don't lean over the fire. Lean away from the fire. That way, if you slip and fall, you fall away from the fire. You can literally, if you are leaning away from a fire, you literally cannot fall in it. To, uh, literally can't happen. From and yet, no matter how many times, nice. I'm like, listen, dude, nice. if you're leaning over that fire and you fall, I'm not going to catch you. Nice, nice. Uh, you were too far away from me. You should exercise. Like, I'm, exp like, it's just, yeah. Kids are infuriating. Um, people in general are infuriating. Because, like, I'm very much so about, like, there's a right way to do things. And I'm like, I'm very happy to like sit there and like argue back and forth. Like, okay, what do you think is the right way to do things? You think this? Okay, I think this. How do you feel about that? And then they they, they either don't have an answer or ignore my thing. And I'm like, well, this was a it's useful conversation. Because you're still fucking up and doing the wrong thing. Where's Michael um, at? And then I have to be like, now I wasted my time. And where do you at? Oh, you're way over there. I see. Okay. Uh, oh, I should have put a meek wrap there. Slight mistake. It's okay. How does Japan have so many envoys? He just he built all he built Apadana. We got past the medieval era. It didn't uh, give me that's the true. option for the engineer. What? I didn't desync this year. You didn't. And oh yeah, as a as a player. But yeah, now now I try I not to give. This could be I only I only try to give. Like, this is oh my, this is incredibly amazing. Incredibly better. Not unsolicited advice. If I think the thi if the person if I feel like, had, like this person needs stuff. my advice, yeah, like the if they're doing something so incredibly yeah, dumb. They resolve. Um, which is surprisingly yeah, often actually that, that I run into that problem. Yeah, I'm gonna give this a, a great. Um, it's either if I think somebody's doing something like incredibly dumb and they need my advice, or if somebody's like, in a bad emotional state. Biggest and they need my advice, bro. Like, hey, listen. <laughs> Only bad. for fifty. Don't take it to heart. But kids, this, sometimes it's prettier. They. Have it's prettier because they learn. Usually, the learn from mistakes. Old people don't. Yeah, I feel culture. that in my bones. Too. I don't know if there's something evil about nice. that, but. Oh, <laughs> Mark of the beast. Well, we don't have to kill Rapa Nui because I'm Susan of it. This is like if Mike Tyson fought an infant. <laughs> Rick that beat. How, how many infants would it take to beat Mike Tyson? Because it's not 11. Um. <laughs> uh, I gotta eat, eat another bean boozle. Oh no. Oh boy. This is one of the, is either blueberry or toothpaste. All right, like, go toothpaste. Um, Ooh. Freshen up. Yeah, especially like people I care about doing dumb shit like actually really bothers me i'm like dude i care about you and you're you're being an idiot stop being a moron okay i care about you the reason i'm saying this to you is because i care about you hey blueberry nice stop like i don't know like smoking is a good example uh you are getting too lucky here it's like bro hey, well, the next maybe one's we, uh, keep getting i am also a smoker uh, i'm a previous <laughs> addict to this substance it is possible to stop you should stop you are killing yourself 
you're, you're going to make... You're, you're stealing years from your own life and the people around you. Those are trade rats. Mm. It's literally the only thing that matters in life is how much time you get to spend with the people you love. And you're doing something that takes away from that. That's not even that fun. It's not even that fun. I will say this, though. Don't ever start smoking because it is really, really fun and quite hard to stop. How did he get a ton of culture like that? He just snowballed. That's, that's what it comes down to, I think. It's so weird having the announcers right behind me. Like, I don't know what they're talking about, but I see, I hear like, uh-oh, and I'm like, what's going on? Hey, I, I am overhearing, okay? Uh, this is a pota classic potato late game churn rant. Yeah, true. We're churning butter. It's going to make all the settlers ever. I like how, I'm pretty sure, did that auto-recruit that great scientist me? I did not want that one. I also, I really think that every great scientist in the game should have a generic action because some I of the actions are just really is terrible just or, depending yeah. on the era that they're recruited, are completely useless. Um, which is really annoying. Oh, Liege, are you going to make me listen to the rock band jingle? I don't mind the rock bands or the culture or any of that. The tourism, but the jingle, man. Oh, no. Nice. It's some French music for you. It's very good. French very music. Good I always wondered guy. why they only filmed one rock band riff. Like, they're like, is there no one who yeah. can do like multiple rock band riffs just to spice <laughs> it up? Yeah, Carl, why? Uh, you have a garrison amenity card, but you have no garrison units. That's true. That is a mistake. I should get more. Um, this is like, my cities are all busy. And what else would I put in there? I don't really have an army that would. I don't really wow. have anything that would go so in here. Cold with is the thing. Name. So free amenity, it's fine. Japan is also. Super I mean, busted. to yeah, be Japan's fair, I, I, his health, his city was one health, and I instead of throwing my horses at him, my plaza right there. I wanted to let them live, and Horse that cost me the most. Hundred percent. Oh, this is called being trolled by the AI. Okay. How did you keep getting my voice? Did you play that white nerdy? <laughs> you <have my> <laughs> uh, to be fair, we can't even see the difference between them. All right, guys, it's time. Oh, somebody's finally killing Namadol, finally. I see what you're doing, TGM, and I appreciate it. I, I see too, TGM. I'm trying. I see a lot. Oops. I keep clicking farm. Why does it you recommend the farm over the stupid thing? You don't see anything, Leash. Turn your eyes away. Look away from there. I, I see the Inca. I see the Spain. Two, two, two people gonna die in the late game. Don't worry, TGM. I've got your back, okay? All my money oh, is Oh, wait. Money. What did you say? Oh, no. Oh, no. I didn't hear that. Oh, uh, I would have stopped killing Aqua oh, if wow. you just told me. Oh, no. I didn't know you wanted them. Finally, the yeah. international community Can't stands up to the bully. Yeah. Can't hurt you directly. Kill your city state. Pretty useless, but it's era score. Six turns. We're not suzerain of anybody to levy. We wasted all of our envoys in this city state that we're killing. 
Yeah, he's got like planes and stuff. And you're Can hot, you just, like, just want to give up? Like it's not fun. It it's like it. Uh, you're hot, Mike. I mean, none of this has really been fun. <laughs> Your suffering has been fun to watch. <laughs> hey, TGM, it could be worse. You could be me, running away, trying, desperately running across the ocean, trying to find a place to put horses down. Didn't mean to complain to you guys. My bad. No, it's okay. Oh, You're allowed. You're allowed to not have fun. You can. It's for the kids. We have to have fun for the kids. Well, I mean, if suffering raises the same amount of money, is it not equally effective? Well, like, it's True, just a matter. True, everyone donate to TGM suffering right Fair now. Question. It's just a matter I mean, that... Stop it. I already had a pity congress. I don't need this. I don't need <laughs> any of this. <laughs> like, <coughs> just act. That's what it is. Sometimes it just takes one domino. God damn, that's him. Take it off the map. It's probably too late to take it off the map. Like, I I think I could have snowballed really hard this game if these two city-states weren't as defensible cannot, as they are. I'm sorry. Um, that kind of screwed me too, because I went for a build that's like, oh, we can kill city-states. And then the two city-states that I could have killed were surrounded by mountains, which made it, like, literally impossible to kill them. And they were surrounded by warriors too. Very, very... Um, it was very frustrating in the other game. Because when you invest in something, it's at the expense of investing in other things. I've had fun playing this game, though, with all this land. I should I should have gone for a huge expansion wave earlier. I don't know why I'm so late to get all these settlers. They're not even going to get anywhere. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah. Should have killed Rapa Nui a long time ago. Should have killed Buenos Aires a long time ago. Ooh. Maybe I should have attacked Michael, although he's like, yeah, he's popping off now. University's down. <clears throat> he probably got a couple of good, great people too. The peace deal has been made. Sorry, Sassy was out of. It's only turn 100 choice. now on online speed. Like it's Zoe like turn it 200. You. Look at Japan's stats. What? 500. 700. Zoe! Never give up. Never surrender. What's wrong with you? This is like That's turn 200. You don't in have a... to give up. You don't have to surrender. But this is I'm like turn two... executive of this alliance. Turn 200 in a <laughs> Excuse standard Excuse me? Game. <laughs> God, I would, I would normally be in Leisha's position in a, in a standard speed control. game. I'd be like getting up to this point. Oh, why I'm so can I break off from my teammate? Is that allowed? You can declare yourself a vassal. That's of the like the people I made peace with. That's Excuse okay. me, no. Yeah, you don't want to do that. So I'm offering them a way to have peace. Hey, exclamation mark tiltify. Go donate. Get those donos in. Oh, I just realized I... Oh, wait, never mind. Watch your mic. No, I know. I know what I was saying. I, I, I uh, accidentally pulled up the special session of the World Congress, and I did not mean to. Oh, so shall we You're vote on this? <laughs> telling me... Oh? 80 turns later, I can vote on Kumasi? Oh, my God. <laughs> also, just to inject a bit of salt in the chat, I just want to say... I held Kumasi <laughs> for about eight turns and Foibles killed it. 
Liege has held on to Nan Madal for like 80, and it's oh, only just that. Oh, Nan Madal. Okay, that explains so much. <laughs> I was okay. fighting for them for a while. He has not had them for 80 turns. No, yeah, but you know what I mean. Just you should have killed that city state a long time ago. Um, well, I guess you were you were kind of in a rough spot. I can't give you too much crap. You're the only one nearby. I yeah no it's you you were in a rough spot yeah. Just, God damn it! Just like Foibos was so quick to the jump on Kumasi, and Kumasi was so good for me too. Yeah, I needed it. There, I there's was my salt. It. it was my first. It was my first CS I met, and then when you snagged, I was like, okay, well, I might as well just take it. I just, I, I just wanted a couple early good trade routes. You could have taken it. I wouldn't have fought you for it. <laughs> See, I could have benefited from those too, but uh, you know, I guess we all lose. Did you hear the evil in his voice as he talks about crushing my city state? <laughs> Should have done this a long time ago. I hate that telling a boat to go to sleep. Like, boat, wait. And then it's like, okay, I end my turn. I'm like, wait, that's not what I said. That's not what I told you to do. I said, wait. The boat's like, wait, I'll wait the whole turn then. And I'm like, nope, that's not what I wanted you to do. <clears throat> I usually play without. Oh, foibles, I think you I think you have a hot mic. Do I? Oh sorry. Yeah, you no know worries, buddy. Uh what are we doing? Are we are we having a council or all right, we just want to hear what's going on. We just want to hear what's going on. So but we don't see the emergency. We're here. Uh, there are easy. currently three, four emergencies for people killing city states. <laughs> and, one, and one and one for me taking Stasi's capital. <laughs> Which I, I, I would like, before anyone votes, I would like to say was completely warranted based on her early uh, almost taking of mine own. By one if point. I should have threw that game horse. Is game is going. Yeah, so yeah. You, vote yeah, how you want. Possible. We're just here to listen. Vote how you want. Free for all. I would like to announce that I am voting no emergencies anywhere. Leash, you tell me what you think we should do. Do what you want. If you want to kill the guy, I am with you. <laughs> this is a good friend right here. <laughs> I I think you should not want to kill anyone near about Stalish. No, no, I, I will kill you a bit, uh, Van Brandley. A bit, <laughs> just a bit. Perfect. <laughs> you specifically you can't cancel orders with boats. Another when you, minute to vote. Who hasn't a, voted it's, yet? It's an old bug. I I don't think I I can vote. It doesn't affect me. The only way I win is if Leisure nukes himself. I think I'm cutting my hair in about four minutes. Whoa. Wow. Oh, oh my damn. god. Pause. Are, are you like fully fully bald or like gonna snip snip it and have like a Oliver Tree bowl cut for a little bit? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, awesome. hey man, thanks for being a trooper and doing that for the for the kids, buddy. For the You're kids. Awesome. For the kids. You think do you think you'll have to get that tattoo? Six hundred dollars away, so we'll see. What? Whoa. Oh, Get your money in. If you got any five dollars, <laughs> head over to Bose. Throw him 6, 000, your money. Sorry, three thousand dollars reaches a civ tattoo of uh, Chat's choice. Ooh, Who has not voted? Big deal. What, what is it going? I have. No, I cannot interact with the World C Congress, so I'm just sitting here. I'm not interested in this Congress anymore. Potato, yeah. I am a rebel, it, and uh, that's the way I roll. All right, we're going back in the Castle Channel. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. 
So I got a, a $20 donation, which activates a random voice mod. So if you guys hear me uh, speak in the next few minutes with a different voice, don't be scared. It's still me. It's not you. He's been replaced with an imposter. He's just preparing us for the inevitable. That's what a sussy amogus imposter would say. That's got a five hundred dollar donation to save. Yeah, you're working. Get him that tattoo. I. It is neck and neck right now. It's eleven hundred ninety nine dollars for cut the hair and twelve forty two for save the hair, and it's a hundred dollars away Easy. from getting a tattoo. Oh boy. <laughs> Get a save tattoo. Get a save tattoo. Thank you very much, Mythrock, for the five hundred dollar donation. That was very very kind. Oh, that's a big one, yeah. That's a very Ooh. large Shout out to Mythrock in general. Awesome. I don't know, that's wild. Yeah, member. thanks on behalf of Two minutes of left us. if you want. <sighs> Two minutes left to I'm um, cutting it off or saving it. I don't know if this information is helpful, but my timer's gone and it just says we're waiting for potato for whatever reason. Same here. Uh there's nothing I can do. Bye. Keep done there. Keep done there. There we go. Oh, that, that actually worked. Michael, yes, of genius. Course. Looks like it worked. Oh, you know, it's a little trick. When you play in multiplayer, it, 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 there is a, a lot of bug. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The, <laughs> no joke, man. Jesus. <laughs> They're crawling everywhere. Multiplayer is to start to do, you know? Where am I being attacked? So I just wanted to check in. How's everybody doing? <laughs> wow. Oh, what is that? <laughs> See, random are you using the pick? Redeemed for 20 bucks. Failed, is, uh... failed, failed. Wow, there's a lot of votes. That's a lot of failed votes. Failed, failed, failed. Foibles is a genius. Nice. I should have done this so long ago. The hair has been saved. Wow. Oh, oh, I cannot watch. believe it. Best friend. The hair. Best friend. I can't believe it. God, I swear to God. Mythrock with another $100 donation to cement the hair saving. That's very kind, Mythrock, for your donations. I appreciate it. And hitting me of my goals for $3,000. Thank you. Woohoo! Nice! And now, on my next stream, I'm going to have people submit suggestions for Civ Tattoo ideas. Oh, God. <laughs> so brave. Okay, finally, Nanmadal is dead. That hurt his culture. We're killing Rapa Nui. Honestly, I don't even think online speeds, like, actually speeds the game up that much. Um, I think it just gives you less unit actions. That's really all it comes down to, in my opinion. Another $100 uh, in honest donation. You guys are really too kind. Keep bringing in the donations for the kids. I think the sip shows like I think we're. Do you have donation goals? Uh, because I was in the jingle jam, I didn't want to have two fundraisers this year, um, so I decided to have my fundraiser be the jingle jam, and um, that way I wasn't like splitting my community among two. And I think I. Uh, but I still wanted to participate in the Civ give to lend like my voice, my ear, my time to it. I don't know. Maybe I'm fucking up. Also, I need to work harder to get my jingle jam. Oh boy, here up. we go again. 
Are we doing yeah, just, just vote, World no, just Congress? Vote. Just vote. Oh, just vote. Okay. Oh, really? Okay. A vote for minus 50% production is a vote for chaos. Chaos! I'm we voting vote for chaos. <laughs> Oh, I'm getting tired. It's bedtime. Eve, are you sleepy too? Oh. So are we waiting for nystagmus or? No, no. I said, uh, you guys just go ahead and vote. Oh. Just, in the uh, in the interest of time. Hey, Lee, just a quick question. Why don't you build like twenty thermo nukes and then let us get to the Congress where we can vote to all get the same amount of nuclear weapons? That sounds fun. <laughs> oh, if you want, guys, uh, there is no problem. But uh, I was uh, on the path very much, much uh, peacefully. I was uh, doing rock bands. What music. time zone are you it's in? Good. I'm in um, Ireland. And I am Ireland going time to space zone. too. Space but rock, you... nice. Yeah, but I'm in if Ireland. If you want some nukes, there is no problem for you then. I'm in Ireland, little old Ireland, the best place in the world. I gotta be honest with you guys, I'm starting to get to that place that TGM is in. <clears throat> that place where I'm just like, not having fun. I think there's a couple of things I would have changed about this. The three minute turns early in the game, I think that was a bit mad. Don't know about that one. I don't know how I feel about, like the World Congress debates are fun. I don't think we need to debate each issue individually. Everyone should just get like 30 seconds to a minute to speak on an issue. And that should be it. And like, you could just talk about the World Congress in general. What did he vote for? I just voted for cheaper units. Just a reminder, everyone, if there's still block people wanting to donate, I am growth. 425 away from my my ultimate goal of a awesome Among Us stream with all of us. Because you better believe Horse Lady is going to be coming back. She's going to be coming back in the form of Among Us. Amogus. Uh, yay. The Civ show is like, we're $200 away from our goal. If I'm reading this right. Oh, wait. No, I'm not reading it right. Why is it saying that? I don't know. For some reason. One says 98. The other one says 88. Look, I should have settled Maybe this. Maybe there's a thousand that hasn't registered. A long ass time ago. I don't know why I didn't. I just, I, I guess I fucked up this game really hard. And that's kind of also eating into the amount of fun I'm having. Oh, there's my first great work. That's nice. As soon as you Fassy, are you positive you don't want peace? It's 1 a.m. right now. If you're wondering what time it is. We don't styles, TGM. We may be friends, but I still want my luxuries. Did, did England and Japan start side by side? That's the letter. Oh yeah, yeah, pretty close. They got those. They got those harbor trade routes. I'm sure online very soon. Big multiplayer online games are always slow. Like, take is there like a secret to getting to change the name of your city? Because it's like bugging out on me. Take Magic the Gathering, a multiplayer. You have to make sure your turn hasn't player. ended. Because I always have this to be where you click next turn. It'll take and you're 20 to 40 minutes, and online it takes work. two hours. Yeah. 
Very resource drive was gold to Phoenicia. What could have been cut to get more early settlers, early science wonders? I guess, like, because, like, here's the thing. If I, I just completely say, committed I to settling. I do mountain tiles with double stack preserves um, and terrace farms, so. I knew I was completely isolated. I knew I was completely There, I, there's my answer in the name of the city. Sorry, McWhiskey. That All guy right. Was right in the way of my, like, only way of moving. Oh, sure. I, I just moved him there towards the end of the turn. I thought you'd already moved, so I was going to scoot my way through. Oh, apologies. I had I have news! I have news! I hit it! We hit that 3,000 milestone, had a $500 oh, congrats, donation, congrats. and then had a $100 All right. uh, from Basket, said, Horse Ladies Unite! That's right, never give up, never surrender! <laughs> See you guys at Among Us! That'll be fun. Yeah. So who's backstabbing who first in Among Us? I'm gonna I believe there will be lots of mutual backstabbing. I'm innocent. I would never harm a fly. That's the least believable thing I heard all day. Boy. Oh, no. Oh, hot mic. Every time. Oh, silly white. And nerdy. I'm a dingus. I'm in danger. Oh, my gosh. That's me. That was really good, though. <laughs> <laughs> It didn't take you long to find a lot of these clips, huh? He just jumped right into my Twitch clips, huh? Uh, that's what I did for most most people. I went to Twitch clips first, and then, then other people I have like specific things I needed to get for sure. Like that sounds like a you problem. Is is that the TGM? That sounds like a you problem one. That is uh, these. Oh, oops. Oh, sorry. Hang on. The human race is a monotonous. Uh, that's the Sif show one. Whenever, whenever you want to complain about something, they say, that sounds like a you problem. Sounds an awful lot like a you problem. Now I gotta wait for these dumbass units to walk over here real slow, like. Oh man, he got zocked. It said he wouldn't get zocked. Game lied. Normally you can walk up onto the ocean and settle on the same turn. Game zocked me, dude. Nice meme. So long, and thanks for all the zock. Well, that was a good little bit of technology we learned there. What, what, what do I change, though? Like, what do I change my policies? There's... I don't think there's much I could have done. Um, aside from settling more. I should have just settled more. Culture was necessary. My theater squ squares were just slow. That's all it comes down to. My theater squares were slow. <laughs> Leash has launched the Earth satellite. Nice. Jesus. Nice. It is time. How does he have so much fucking science and so few cities? He's so far ahead, he hasn't even bothered with walls anywhere near me. <coughs> oh, now he's just got steel or something. But yeah, for a while, there was just no walls. Leash, how many cities do you have? Nine. What the fuck? <laughs> I have like 20. <laughs> Non-Madal. May we be Leash. the first spark that lights the, the fire. Leash, I just want to say I appreciate you, and you've been an excellent friend. Thank you. Fantastic. Fantastic play. Does Thank anyone you. feel like speeding up the turn timer to two minutes? 
From hell's heart, I stab at you. I'm gonna absorb all the nukes, and uh, that's fine, everybody. You you sit back and let someone win. That's fine. Remember Oblivion. Or join me. I think next sim give though, large map, not huge. Too far away. Or I just got a two hundred and fifty dollar yes. donation. That's awesome! Congrats for the kids! Woohoo! Thank you to, cr to Cranky. <laughs> and then it hits the goal for the cocktail party. Let's go! <laughs> yay! Guess who's oh, not invited? Yay. Yeah, Phoebe! The cocktail party. Woo! The thing that everyone I'm is super so excited, excited about. For the cocktail yay! Party. I'm excited. I already know what cocktail I'm making. I'm making Mai Tais. I didn't I didn't notice a bunch of declarations of war. What, what's going on? Oh, are we going to war, but Leash? I I declared war on Leash. That was my little from Hell's Heart I stab at you. Yeah. Oh, I will I will, oh, okay. I will join you. Hold ne next on. time can we do the Hell's Heart Wait, I stab at you I... at turn 4? Wait a minute. Leash is my friend. Why are you going to war with him? Yeah, you're independent now. I I can't do anything. <laughs> that you're you're going on your own, so no, you said you were going to start making executive decisions without my without my input. I, I, yeah, I just, I just I just did. I, I just did. I was waiting for someone else to do it, but you know, here I am. I've declared war. Uh, let's see. Anyone else want to jump in? Oh, no! I was like, this galley's going to wreak havoc on your trade. I was not about to let that happen. I was waiting for you to start plundering. Like, I just took a pot shot at a horseman in the water and like, I did nothing to it. <laughs> city, just a bunch of city-states declaring war on me. I think I'm at war with most of them. I have also denounced Liege. We'll soon go to war. I used my Golden Age. I was just waiting for the Golden Age so that, because I got a heroic age. So. <laughs> I've been moving my units though for like 20 turns. Yeah, it takes a long time to get around the map on a, oh, God. On a high huge, speed. Huge map, huge map is really big. A little too big. I think it's the perfect size for the game. Like, a lot of people are quite close to each other. You just can't be close to everybody. That wouldn't be yeah. that fun. But I wouldn't say, like, on our side of the map, everyone was Yeah, close so we were to each sandwiched other. together. I was like, I had three people yeah, surrounding me. I, I started yeah, on my own, my own little corner. Where like yeah, we people, even uh, even the closest were very far, about eight tiles away from each other. I guess that is the <laughs> advantage of actually doing the map draft. It's just it was it would have been so difficult to organize getting everybody there getting. So the other thing too to consider is because we're using better spectator, but without mm -hmm. better balance start that the mm -hmm. map spawns in a spot for the spectator, which is probably where Potato is, 
right? But it doesn't actually place the spectator there. Yes. And so yes. no matter what you do, there's always mm -hmm. going to be a whole chunk of the map where the spectator has been placed. But yes, yes. It doesn't yes, get and, and it's it's the and again, this is the advantage of like do a reseed, 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 remap until like okay, this looks good. Uh, or these three look good. It would just take so long, and everybody would need to be able. To... Hey, Liege, with all these people declaring war on you and mm -hmm. yelling at you and whatever, did, did mm -hmm. you ever really have to steal my settler? <laughs> it's I, not I, going I anywhere near you. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> Hey, I, hey, do you, do you guys I, want I to steal your now? settler and I will. Oh, have I, will I been take tricked? Your, your have I been bamboozled? Yes. Free my cities, Liege. Free them back to me so I can ride at your side since everyone's betrayed me, including my teammates. Remember 70 turns ago when I said we shouldn't trust okay. Liege? Remember that? No, dude. I was not in a position to, <laughs> to do anything, unfortunately. I can't my, read. My, my ally was like. Are, are you in a position elite. now, though? Like, who's the, in a position the only, now? Let's go, let's go, let's go, the only him, thing I can do is hope. Get him, everyone. Hope that everybody jumped on board, and then we just see what happens. Kill him, my god! Kill him! Go on it! My units are being killed so quick. The bells are like confusing my brain. Ba -ba 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 that sounds like a problem for 200, please. <laughs> True. Any truers? Excellent. Excellent. That's not frustrating want... at all. I'm researching like castles to scientific I theory. <laughs> I hope that I can snake this away from 43. Per turn, can I help you, Japan? 43 scientists per turn. Oh, oh yes, but uh, 70, uh, 70 artists. Don't trust them, Liege. They're the first ones that betrayed me. Bessie, they're, they're... no one betrayed you. You declared war on me, almost killed my entire empire, and then I fought back. That's not betrayal. Also, I didn't settle. He was just standing there. The settler was just standing there. Okay, I, now I you're claiming that there. when you, like, then you were saying vertigo? I don't think so. Leech, take them all out. Take them all out. Take no prisoners. Burn it all down. Whoa. Watch out, Leech. I'm upgrading this scout to a skirmisher. You better skedaddle. No! Skedaddle. He somehow was able to destroy my unit from far away. What did he do? <laughs> there it was a big metal what? bird. It was a big metal bird, yeah. <laughs> Invisible gods. Throw in rock at big metal bird. <laughs> it's our only defense. It's our only defense. We're rolling around like a slug. Women logic. Superior drummer. What do you mean by women logic? You've got 45 seconds to answer me. Like, yeah, 20 turns ago, I started moving my forces to start crossing the ocean, and not easy. Thirty seconds. Um, Tato, guys, do you want to have peace, or is this out of honor for Sassy that you, you want to stay at war? Uh... <laughs> Sorry, but I'm I happy either way. I, I was not the one who declared war. Hold on, I need to hear what the the great god is saying. Superior drummer, yes, god, I'm such a flying nice birds. Guy. What, I'm going gonna on, give you. Metal bird? You're out of time. But I'm going to give you another thirty seconds to Ooh, answer. That one's shaped like a tube. What do you mean by that? Throwing like gunpowder units at him. The siege tower can't use his boat or his uh, bombers on the siege tower. Okay, time's up. Your band. What did you say, Liege? You were talking, and then I didn't get to hear what you were saying. You had I plenty of time. Saying, Don't worry, I will liberate your cities. I am coming. 
false idol. Thank Gaspy. you, Leash. He's a false idol. Don't look at him. He, I even, even gave you a chance to make up a lie. The destruction. <laughs> I even gave you a chance to make up a lie. But you're such a dumb motherfucker that you couldn't. Listen. Can't help but notice that Onspot hasn't joined the fray yet. I'm the only one allowed to do misogyny in this channel. Speak for him, right, nerdy. <laughs> no, Speak I'm for just, him. I'm joking. Onspot will declare war if literally everyone declares war this turn. Okay, we have an official... The leaderboard? Uh, what do you mean? No. Oh, oh, sorry, your ally uh, committed you to it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't See you later, know how Zach. these things work? No. See you later, buddy. See, what happens is that your ally goes and attacks somebody, and then warmongers, and everyone gets mad at them, and then they get mad at you indirectly. But I'm not why are you projecting, bro? Why, why are you projecting? Yeah, bro? why are you projecting? <laughs> You're dragging all of us there. What, what, is, this? what is this? You're right. You're right. I'm, I, honestly, at this point, I'm expanding just to get a bigger score. I was quite curious if uh, Leech can pull off the culture victory. And it's quite a feat to actually get there with uh, the base mechanics. I came in. Yeah, uh, trade, right? When Potato was going off of the guy. Uh, some dude. I, know yeah. I can't remember. Well, I don't, don't know have what an, a, someone like said. Someone said faith because you got like three hundred fifty in the bank. I don't know how much you're making. Okay, I am. Uh, I am doing your decides. Okay. Um, He's one well, of the okay. women in the. Uh, <laughs> okay. One of the women in the Discord call said something. I don't know what it was. So, I think it was sassy. Just like she's having fun, right? Talking crap. Leash is on her side. And, uh, no, 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 merci with you, uh, Van Bradley. Some dude posted you, women you logic can be both of, uh, in the chat. Time in and I asked game. him what he meant by that. <laughs> it's over for you. I gave, him, <laughs> I gave him about two minutes to answer. <laughs> I scammed you. When did I scam you? <laughs> you scammed me. Um, you remember in my channel. So. And he didn't have a good answer. Away. He didn't give an answer, so we got banned. The game ends for you. It was also his first message in the lady, chat. Can I come back? Like, talk about failing to read the room. <laughs> oh, all right, if it, if it must happen. Read the fucking room, dude. You fucking dumbass motherfucker. Boom. Fuck, I just got that builder captured because I wasn't paying attention. I'm like an autopilot because I'm tired. Um... I potato, please tell up your cities instead of training settlers. Dude, the game is over. <laughs> I'm gonna be real with you. <clears throat> I know you mean well. But this game is fucking over. You aim for second place? I do aim for second place. That's why my score is quite high, but I need to keep settling cities to keep my score up. Paint the map green, that's the plan. Sending archers. I still have some archers. Surely. His killbot ratio will get so high that he won't be able to kill any more of my units. My god, did I just hear copium? You might have. <laughs>
Hey, I just want to say, um, VB, you have the best city names. I am very amused. <laughs> it's pretty funny. I won't take credit for all of them. The this is the skin of a killer was Rachel's idea. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh my gosh. I saw the here horsey horsey one like a hundred or like fifty turns ago, and I thought it was the greatest thing I've ever seen. I don't know. I think I'm liking that skin one more. I already have a. Yeah, I already Rachel have a just randomly popped into my chat after I took that one. It's just like name it. This is the skin of a killer. Rachel needs. Uh... Lasia's twelve turds from Culture Victory. We're wearing his blue jeans. Honestly, I, I could. I, I I prefer the blue jeans and rock music over what's currently happening to me. You don't like you, nuclear fallout? You choose Vandradli. A lot of time you choose in this game. <laughs> I would like you I choose. would like the receipt from your chat about when I scammed you. <laughs> I felt like you and I had an agreement. Ghastly you would pillage you would pillage the harbors and I would leave you alone. I've left you alone and you pillage the harbors. Yes. And, that I, is true. and then I haven't talked to you until this. That is true, but you killed the horse lady. And nobody wanted to kill the horse lady in my channel. So, so sorry. You you chose uh, wrong your enemies. That that's totally fair. I just want to say that I didn't scam you. I just didn't <laughs> do the thing you wanted me to do. But I never said I would. Leech, I have to say, my sacrifice doesn't feel like it was in vain. And thanks so much to your chat. Lots of hugs and hearts to them all. <laughs> Liege, my chat is accusing you of committing war crimes. <laughs> <laughs> I love to push to talk for a good giggle. Are, are there like nukes flying? Uh, my teammate yet. is getting You'll know when it wrecked. Shrek is love. Shrek is life. He might as well do it. Have fun. And obviously, those of us that are bold will be spared the nukes because respect, right? R right? Mm. Yes. <laughs> There's one barbarian caravel that's like. Oh no, what's that? Oh, that was so uh, anticlimactic without my... the explosion at the end. There is a joke in there, I'm sure. <laughs> There's a misclick in there. Don't worry about it. It's okay. That, that's what she I was said. looking for, uh, uh, so there is a, a clip that I almost made, uh, of, uh, Moy saying, you forget, you forget, Zo, though, that no one in this community respects you, and I thought it was, like, like too much, <laughs> but it would have worked good there. <laughs> it would have worked perfect. I, I've come to, uh, terms with that. <laughs> is there an argument that the too much resources went into settlers? <laughs> no. Funny to hear boy out of the, the only way. argument is that too few resources went into settlers. When I had this much land, I should have pumped settlers literally from turn one. Well, you know. But instead, uh, I played it safe, and that's why I lost. The boy. Many things. Should not have played it safe. I should have just cranked Boy's settlers. Got what's called the spin. Also, this great should have been placing my districts way earlier. Should have been cranking settlers out of every city. <clears throat> down on it. That would be hey, question. Uh, where is the Matterhorn? I don't know. I got the. It's here. You just haven't been able to find it. I put one. Uh, I put nearly a hundred percent of my production into like Sim City, and, and I'm still way behind. That's a good question. It's just it's just the That's power of the a much better question. international trade routes in base the Bermuda Guys, Triangle. Guys, has launched the Earth satellite. He knows. <laughs> no, he knows where it is. <laughs> he's, not, he's not telling us. How do you think he launched it? He used the triangle. Oh. 
there should be something like there's like a five percent chance that when you go through it it like kills your unit but you get like some sort of future tech it doesn't do anything just gives you future tech which is like you know extra health or something <laughs> As it is magic. I hear so many declarations of war going on. Uh oh, are we being targeted? I think that's the city states getting flipped. Yeah, probably city states. Oh, I got you. I see it now. Nope, it's just I, the same old enemies we had before. I remember when city-states were relevant. Hey, you know, with, like, Leash being my friend, too, I'd have to say you're my friend as well, Lavego. You've been wonderful. We are BFFs. That's Don't right. Worry. I thought about what I could do here, but then I was like, you know what? This is a vassal city, you know, not ready to destroy anybody yet. <laughs> okay, thank you. Did you like my cor did you see me in my corgi outfit though? I did, I did. I checked it out. You look you looked awesome. It's great. I don't even know where you get something like that. That's fantastic. Thank you. I don't know, getting... is are, are you talking raising? Because all I hear is I'm a traitor to my friend Zozo. I you know what? I attack in, in your name. You are the one that you instigate the wars. And I was like, I need to What are you talking about? I said Liege was my friend. Fucking mystic. Well, God like, damn it. Not really, though. It's like, yeah, he is. Because he's the only one that's actually sticking up for me. But he would have declared friendship. I'm so ready for this fight to, like, carry on through the cocktail party. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's forever now. I was hoping that it was going to be like letting He's a match, ready. throwing it into, but no, it's more like a <clears throat> match into a whimpering fire. Bomb. Come on, chat. You guys got to be more interesting. Come on. Give me material. Let's go. <clears throat> Give me something to respond to. We sat here for seven hours. I love the idea that Liege is on the moon and my people are like, ooh, a Ferris wheel. <laughs> <laughs> There's not much left in the game to talk about. So I need like, I need chat. Give me some, give me some material. God damn it. At least the misogynist guy was like, we're talking about. <laughs> Some of you fuckers are just sitting there. Hottest game for Civ 7? What? Is the rabbit going to sleep? She spends most of her time asleep. Um, she's very sleepy, but her eyes are open. She usually likes to be running around the room at this time of night. No, and she's Usually I oblige her somehow. up until about half an hour ago. Um, can you win? No. In fact, we great, lost great, this great, game great. at the first so World Congress. Um, which is a little bit frustrating because I, I explained to everyone what the problem was. I even role played it like, hey guys, blah, blah, blah. And I feel like I made a very convincing argument. And then Leash just goes, I will attack you if yes, you vote be, against me. Um, Yay, Leash! Make sure to change that name to like, I love horses. And then like no one, <laughs> I guess I guess everyone turned Salt, off their brain. meat, wound. For that, for that one World Congress. <laughs> and that was it. Game over. It literally like, is like... The Such a different game if that passes. The world at war. It's perfect. <clears throat> Instead, it's a very demoralizing game for me in TGM. And, uh. M -m my boy, Van Bradley. It's not that big of a deal, though, because it's not a serious game, it's a charity game. So it's like, eh. Who cares that much, anyway? Like, about the outcome. Like, I care about the process of playing the game. The game is fun, I'm enjoying it. Um, but I don't, I don't care, like, who wins. That doesn't matter. Um, it's not the outcome that... Yeah, it's not the outcome of the decision that that uh, is demoralizing. It's the, the fact that the bad decision was made, if that makes sense. 
interesting story. Our partner here at Invictus Games has uh, very interested if we do end up wanting to do like a CivCon where we get everybody together for like an in-person event where he would host it. And uh, that'd be great. It, it may even be like you know I'm who not would host it? Free, but where we are, so the land center that we're playing in right now in Toronto, Invictus Games. Uh, he really... Okay, biggest question, Sozo. Yeah, yeah. Do they have an open bar? They have a bar. Nice. I heard Zo uh, has tons of money and will pay for all of our booze. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm the, probably the richest. That's what I heard. Here. In spirit, I'm rich at least. And merriment, I'm rich. I'll buy around. Angst. I'm rich in angst. There are lots of angst. You can, you can cash that. The important win is the money for charity. True. Everyone voted for Spain to give them bonuses to trade. Teddy wanted to cut off Leisha's ability to trade internationally since he has, was there next was to England that was making bank. Yes. In like a while ago, that was whiskey correct. was cheaper than water. I don't even know how that makes sense. But yeah, I think you're onto something. We'll see, guys. Like, if it was free to run the event, and if we could get, like, I don't know, an Airbnb instead of everybody getting hotels, just like rent a house for a couple of days. There you go. Just uh, it's getting here, and then even getting here, we could probably fundraise that. We could probably. Make it you happen. don't have to convince me twice to fly out to Toronto and say hi again. That was so much fun. Uh oh. Stop defending yourself. Just let me attack. You. No. <laughs> the only part of this invasion that's made it over because of getting destroyed by barbarians on the way over. They have no navy. I see Onspot's got a navy. My empire is being sullied by boats and I can't see, even see. Very good. I require assist. Okay. Boom, 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 beep, beep. I'm sending help. <laughs> Thanks, <I'm>... boats. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll, send you, uh, I'll send you a, a video message next time. I can't read, so I don't know what that means. It's all West Coast gang until you need to read, and then it's like, no, your empire's screwed. Sucks to be you. I am illiterate. Now, one, I think one little thing we did last year that we didn't do this year that we should have done is having that moment where everybody can have a private conversation with everyone else. We definitely should have done. We're all the alliance. Well, I mean, Bose and I did for a moment. What did we do? We went and met that, privately, we, remember? Yeah, everybody met oh, privately yeah. to, to establish the alliances. Like, if somebody was to do the pitch of, okay, let's all right now, we're going to declare war and, and see what happens. We did, and then Sassy declared war on us. So. <clears throat> yeah, that, yep. that, sounds, that sounds right. Me declare war? No, never. We going to declare war on you. Oh, my see, goodness. Sassy declaring war on you is, it. by definition, I'm a you problem. absolutely losing it. Unless you do. Rose, I'm really sorry, but you tempted me with the lemon cheesecake, so I had to take it. Because that's what nice. I refer to a settler as. I loved finding that out, that that's what you call it. It's like perfect. It's like, yeah, you're I right, it is lemon cheesecake. Oh, it's so late. I'm so tired. I just want to go to bed. <laughs> I'm so tired, dude. <laughs> um, <clears throat> what was the other fundraiser you were on about? <clears throat> the Jingle Jam, the Oxcast Jingle Jam. Uh, they raise money for a whole bunch of different charities. And uh, if you go over there and you pay £35, Ooh, more people have joined you get the like fray. Yes. an insane amount of games. I, uh, I happily like, literally like a thousand pounds and worth. will be vassaled if he's willing. <laughs> Did he attack you? No, I, I am attacking only the, what I add in the game in early. I, I, mean, I just need you to know. Oh, sorry. I interrupted. I just, I thought it was no, very funny. No, no, it's, no, 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 no. it says, I have 
Declaration of War, and the number is 30. <laughs> like, pretty declaration of war. Wow. Wow. Well, mine's 35, but that's that's normal for me. <laughs> Even in a three-player game. You <laughs> fuckers. It, that red coat? Like, that's it. That red coat. I, I'm not getting past that. Somebody made a mistake. <laughs> this invasion's going terribly. I don't understand where his science is coming from. Uh, on nine cities, I guess it makes kind of sense. <sighs> the Jingle Jad has Link some awesome twice, events. I really like the rusting. Uh, rusting is awesome. And you have a new There's a lot of really cool parts of it. I Bro. think I didn't <laughs> do very well. I think I could have done a lot better. I could have raised. I could have raised a lot more money almost for charity. Maybe. Just kidding. I need to. What like, I love, he has this horseman that's like in my reassess. narrow waters. That's like causing so much grief just by existing. Can I finish this? So park my priorities here, park on here, the old park here, park here thing. Oh, fuck me, I'm just I'm having a tr uh. bit of trouble. Uh. Park everywhere, yeah. Staying yeah. engaged in this game. The Japanese battleship over here. I guess he liberated Lam Namadol. Hey, Leash, I just want to say that's another fantastic name. Pony Pony Run Run. Wonderful. <laughs> thank you, thank you. We got from City without both. You're more than safe. <laughs> I'm sorry. Definitely hot mic. We need to have a hot mic counter. This, this game, and it would have been so high. It's I think it's accidentally been one of the best parts of this Civ game. Yeah. Like, I've, I, like, it, like, it's only been a couple hours, and in retrospect, I already loved the amount of hot mics. Like, it seemed like a huge problem early on, but it's just been hilarious. Like, oh, I don't know. Just, I'm just so tired, I can't really stay engaged. I did hear uh, Nystagmus had to do the cinnamon challenge, because he made a bet that I wouldn't build a preserve this game. That's like you wanted to do it. That's a bad bet. Oh yeah. Oy, 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 oy. <laughs> I do get. I, I I do have some uh, mountains that are double stacked with preserves and with a terrace farm. Lee's, if you're gonna take out my entire empire, can you at least keep the uh, nuke nerdy? Hashtag alive. He has some preserves that need destro <laughs> destroying. <laughs> Someone needs to nuke me by the end of the night, apparently. Ah, you are Inca. Yes, you are on my list. Uh, about the clone. The least what? Ah, you are on the list. The oh, naughty on list. list. You're on the yeah, list. Yeah, yeah. list. The Guys, list. That's what I He's made the list. The short list. Made it. He's making mm, a list. It's a very short list. He's checking of two it people. twice. He's gonna nuke you if you're naughty or nice. It's the giving spirit of the holidays. Like, give people nukes and destroy their cities and civ. Nukes, the gift that keeps on giving. Radiation. Ooh, radiation. Oh, remember, if there is a pretty lake to nuke it, it... Oh, and just like that, Zozo, look at that. We're not at war with Liege anymore. Lame. <laughs> oh, I was just about to kill your bombard. Nope. <laughs> It's okay. We can admit that you got so scared you stopped trying. I wasn't scared. I, 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 I started the fire. It was burning while the world was turning. The fire rises.
I can't believe no one got that reference. I'm a, I'm a zoomer, man. I'm a zoomer. In a boomer's world. And the fire rises. The fire. It would be extremely painful. For you. You know your game is going super well when you don't have enough cities for your governors anymore. Oh, let me get my violin out. Ooh. <laughs> please, please. <clears throat> please do. I gave up trying to actually develop my Force empire. Lives matter. I've just been mass making settlers. Just making settlers. I'm, just, I'm, I'm playing Splatoon now. I'm just painting the map. Uh, yeah, I see uh, <laughs> you starting to settle the islands there. You better not kill my little weak scout that was just on a world journey. <sighs> it's scared. What is Splatoon? It's like a Nintendo shooter game where you have to paint the map. Or like when you when you shoot your gun, it changes the color of the ground. And then you can like interact with that and like do things if it's your color and not the enemy color. It's cool. It's a fun game. I will say this, the absolutely banging Cree soundtrack has kind of kept me sane through all this. Just like your mom gets me through cold nights. Oh yeah, we got him. Oh, we yawning. We do a little yawning. You need to stop making builders just because that's too much fucking micro for me now. Oh, can we kill Rapa Nui now? Oh, no, maybe next turn. Boys, I'm running out of steam. I'm steam power. I'm almost out of steam. No one cared who I was before I put on the mask. Wait. Wait, that's a different movie. Is it? Potato, please, I'm trying to give you things to talk about. You mother... What do you think about Vicky 3? Vicky 3 is a really, really fun game with a kind of shallow gameplay loop. Reason, nobody's winning diplomacy. Um, 
I think okay, the these latest names are brilliant. Horses, lives failure. matter, and My Little Pony. Uh, the no. biggest failure of Thank Victoria you, Three. Thank you. Is it's all a French uh, viewers. I don't have time to think about it. Uh, the biggest failure of Victoria Three is they fail to capitalize on the idea of it being an ant colony that you observe, and instead they try to make it more like a god game um, where you have like total control over the entire economy through the building system which by itself is actually quite a fun system to integrate with and like interact with however it's not fun enough on its own um, there needed to be uh, you know <laughs> I accomplished my only goal the problem is that was sniping Einstein that's all I cared about nice the problem is that the economy in Victoria Game 3 one, we did is it. a solved problem, Moral and it's a very easily solved problem. Um, I built Golden Gate Bridge, so I'm happy about that. <laughs> waging war I I isn't the, fun. Uh, Here's the thing that I will say. The war system in oh, and Victoria Petra 3 kind of sucks. Oh, yeah. Not because the part. system itself is bad or whatever. It's just because, like... It fails to give the player something to do. That was the one really nice thing I about the Victoria Petra, 2 like, war system. <laughs> is that you always kind of had something to do. To do. So I, like, okay. <laughs> I hate that uh, because this bar barbarian unit is inside my territory. I can't coastally raid for him, even though that is technically Listen, a valid thing for me to do to this unit. If everyone in your chat told you to jump off a cliff, would you do it? Yes. A certain level of uncontrollability. <laughs> no, the entire yes. point of Victoria <laughs> 3. Wait, did chat say we're supposed to jump somewhere? I'm in. Or Victoria 2 was like watching an ant colony okay. develop oh. and go oh, through so human in. history. Um, whereas Victoria 3 kind of just Double feels like a watered-down god game. Where there's like a very... Well, yeah. There's very little room for Cuddles creativity and experimentation. And for you! Because it's very solved. It's just an optimization problem rather than a sandbox. Does that make sense? Um, somehow the game... Oh, here's here, here, this would sum up exactly oh, my feelings in Victoria bike. Three. <laughs> this is what it is, dude. It's my reaction now, just to look at Discord and just to check if I'm like talking out loud. Um, the game simultaneously gives you a lot more control over the experience, like direct control, and yet makes it feel like everything you I do really is useless. I did love the horses and difficult and unfun. <laughs> this is my um, last home. <laughs> Which is a very frustrating experience to I'm trying my to best through. to build a sympathy. I really like the game. It's a lot of fun. I love the game. Kind of um, but I'm more than willing to criticize it for where I think it has failed. Or just one, not lived up to expectations. Burn. What about a Timothy? Yeah, um, anything that will... Uh, when are you going to play Upload More Terror Invicta? When I get time. When I get time and motivation. That's it. I, th I think someone... They managed to fix the micro war in Pops versus Vicky, but they also... But that was also what gave you a lot to do during most of the game. Yeah. It kind of just became a sit and watch simulator, but in like a bad way. Um, fuck. I mean, I really like the idea of not having to micromanage armies, but the current implementation of the war system is pretty crap. I just got a $250 donation from Cinnamon. Woohoo! Well, heck yeah. Do they, I thought we didn't like the cinnamon challenge. Uh, when do we get Squid Meyer Civilization? I don't know. Talk to the Aqua people. I like uh, Patina, what's the longest you ever played a game in one sitting? Probably like <laughs> ten to twelve hours. I'm not really a giga gamer. Who sits there and like games? I game a lot, but I tend to game like. Nah, you know what? I've probably gamed an unhealthy amount, like twelve, fourteen, maybe sixteen hours in a row. Yeah, I I probably have. <laughs> yeah, no. Great profit in the ocean. <laughs> There's been times in my life where He's I get exploring up, the world, learning about the world around him. At like 10 a.m. Spreading some good messages. Water, and basically all I that did until 2 a.m. was game. Yeah, no, for sure. I, I've definitely <laughs> gained like 16 <laughs> hours in a row. <laughs> in fact, I did that a lot. At like turn 100 or something. Oh like god, that. yeah. I'm like looking like, back on my life. I've done that a lot. I got a religion, by the way. <laughs> I'm obsessed. I love games. They motivate me in a way that nothing else does. They make my brain feel crunchy. Which I very much so enjoy. Will you try Dwarf Fortress or Aurora 4X? I'm not very good at forward planning. Uh, maybe. Q 
Can we kill Rapa Nui? It's kind of pointless considering his current culture pattern. What did that unmet city state ever do to you, to whoever killed that? You know, honestly, at this point, I'm just. It, I, it's impotent rage. I just. I can't kill any of the city <laughs> states that matter, so I'm just killing the ones I can. That's very fair. If anyone was waiting on an answer if uh, killing Auckland would slow Liege down, um, I think a conclusive <laughs> no at this point. The problem is we needed to kill it like <laughs> 80 turns ago. <laughs> That's on me. It took, like literally people were telling me like, hey, you should kill Auckland earlier. I was like, I think I know. You know what? You know what's, you know what's more delicious than your own victory is watching someone going back and doing a victory lap and in, in, in your defense and, and just watching this unfold is just chef's kiss. We got I'm glad rock somebody's enjoying Hear the rock this. music. Liege was was naming a city Liege is the best, Liege. not a good strategy. I felt like that would do it. Liege, I'm just giving you a heads up that there's like a 900% chance that Zozo is trying to go to war with me again. Yeah. Yeah, I'm waiting I, I, for it. I'm pregnant? I have I'm 6,000 gold for you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry that I did that too. Can I have some, please? <laughs> I will step up and try to be the no, best father I can, though. for uh, horse lady and number go. Wow. <laughs> because <laughs> every, nicely. every other people betrayed me at a point in the game. Playing favorites, are we? Actually, Zozo, you should go to war with me because that way I can kill all of your units and take all the arrows. I don't care. He, um, he can have my it in order to get to the next level, right? So you should, because I promise yeah. you, you don't have a chance. Like you think more. I don't have so many units, but I have a lot of units and they're very powerful. It's more that those units ha were just on auto travel over there. Now they're showing up. <laughs> okay, I believe you. No, I don't. <laughs> Liege, if you want to send gold my way, feel free because uh, apparently VB's trying to uh, get our run away by the way. on my other island that I ran away to myself. Interesting turn of events here. Yes, absolutely. I am doing no such thing. There is no super secret hideout anywhere near you, Sassy. We have raised 50% of our goal, everybody. We we broke it. Woo. Woo. Nice one, guys. Congratulations. Good job. Amazing. Woo. 38,000. Good deal. Sometimes in the game, it's hard to like really like internalize just how crazy raising $38,000 is for it, charity. That's wild. Congratulations, it's everyone. It's an absurd amount well, of money. Wild, wildly well successful day today. Thank, thank you, everyone. I do gotta Thank say, so much, am, uh, eighty dollars away from a all game modes chaos game, all random shuffle everything. Nice. That sounds like so much fun. Thank you, Liege, for that money and um, the other special thing. <laughs> a what? Uranomos. You don't know. I'm very behind on tech, but I'll do my best. I'm really excited to watch back the caster's analysis of what's happening right now. I'm also very really curious what happened there the on the screen. I, I've been able to hear them. They're, they're, they're very excited about everything. That's... Have you heard them uh, speaking with some of our guests too? Yes, they're, they've been, as always, a fantastic cast team. Boy. I love where this event has gone over the last few years and to your point Zo, I think inevitably the evolution of this would be to be able to meet in person and do an event in, you know live in person yeah it'd be pretty cool obviously it would take a lot of logistics they're getting here <laughs> yes um, but I think like once we're here especially if the event itself we have the menu secured and uh, free go look up the Civ give 
Twitch. Civic Give Twitch. The even Civ if you even Civ if show? you got halfway there, even if like the most of the Twitch? people or some of the people could go to a land center and then the others just did what we're doing right now. Yeah, yeah exactly. I, I don't yeah, think it has yeah, to be an yeah. all or nothing thing. I think it can just be what like. What do you a, think of Portugal's abilities? I think Portugal is busted. For sure. That's kind of why I picked them because I thought it would be fun to like make a bunch of money and give it to other players and let them shine. I was giving Ben tons of money. I was giving Duncan tons of money. Yeah, tweet Manscaped every day. It's like super good. Yeah, yeah. They'll have to listen eventually. That was the goal. Was just to like, I I sit in the back and I spawn to the place that let me do that, and I just try to make a bunch of money and let other people shine. Success is counted. That's why I picked him. It's what he's really good at. It's really fun. Stop. Hey, who sent the profit back? <laughs> okay, I, I see your super secret hideout over here, buddy. VB, and it's not it's not wanted. That's hilarious. <laughs> You're on the same island. There is no super secret hideout. <laughs> it's not a real thing. It's a visual bug. Yeah, I see the tank. So I'm making, so I'm making planes. Oh fuck, Jesus, what was that? Thank you for that lovely gift. Thank you for paying me back with interest leave for the gold that I donated to you <laughs> at the beginning of the game. <laughs> like hundreds of years later with interest. <laughs> you know, it'd sure be he amazing. gives you the inflation as well. And inflation. Plus gratuity. What would be amazing is if we did the Civ Con, if the many of you coming from the states had like a road trip where the, How the, the fuck mission the was survive that that's one, insane one, one as you went <laughs> i guess we, transport strength is based like that would be a stuff. long journey because you guys are all over the place i love to travel in the uh, us i am a big fan of uh, nba so it's it's something i want to to do <laughs> to be honest with Go you to a game and then travel you again. that would be amazing yeah, yeah, yeah. There were a I lot know, of um, gaming communities at TwitchCon this year that did their own, like, the Sims community is the one that did it the best. But, like, I would walk into these bars at TwitchCon and there'd be, like, a hundred Sims streamers, like, doing their own, like, SimsCon, and it was super cool. That's awesome. Were they Potato, simming? you're now top yog. What do you mean? No, they were just, they were just <clears> all together, but everyone has their badge and everything. And you can just hear what they were talking about. And they, I recognize some of them, so they were all Civ streamers. But it'd be cool to do, because it's all the streamers and then all the community members who watch them. And so it'd be cool to do like a CivCon off TwitchCon. Most communities did it on like the Friday or Saturday night and it was pretty cool. Uh, Just want to say shout out to my community. We've passed excited. our $5,000 goal. Awesome. Yay! Yay! Well, Congrats. Congratulations. Congrats. Yay. Awesome. Ooh. Okay, I feel like I should share this with the world. I have some insider information on Liege. Oh, okay. What is this? Oh? <laughs> I see a certain project being worked on in this capital. Ah, uh, that's is it cool. like, uh, like the ivory project. Oh yes. But if you check my uranium, you will see it's not possible to me to do anything. I don't have uh, strategic resources. So don't worry, guys. There is no nuke in this game. Yeah, yeah, I, I won't worry, worry about, about the nuke. and I are the last ones holding back the culture victory. I mean, to be fair, we're not holding it back that hard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I guess I could have defended right, the culture. I gotta victory. tell you, I like laughed so hard when you said that that I like physically snorted, but, like <laughs> like a big old. <laughs> ah. 
Oh crap, I messed that up. Oh. Oh, hot mic. Yay. Messed up. Yay. You did it. I knew you could do it. So when are we? It's nine o'clock. So when are we calling it? On what turn? I think at the end of the era we'll call it. I wonder who is winning this game. At the end of the era, and how many turns? Four turns. Oh, I definitely, I definitely <laughs> won for sure. We are we are very close to a victory screen, and it would be fantastic to end to give twenty twenty two with a victory. No problem. <laughs> no problem. It's like just starts dropping nukes all over the map. No, I'm just kidding. Well done, Liz. We needed you to come and give us a victory screen. You've done. Hey, that. I'm I'm loving it right now. Thank you, Liz. You've just made my night. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Do you know what? This is fucking bollocks. Why doesn't Liz's chat like oh, me? Oh, this is fucking bollocks. I'm just so tired. No. I need to wake up. No. Eve, please give me your energy. <laughs> no. <laughs> right, lads. Give me, give me some chat. Give me, chat me. Hey, Liege, what's your tourism per turn right now? It's not a lot. It's five, uh, five or six, five. Hey, I've officially eclipsed his tourism per turn. Yay. Uh, but yeah. If you could change three <laughs> things in Civ 6 or add three things, what would they be? Um, they have some so I answered this a little bit earlier. So the first thing that I would change is that I would rather city centers. I'm going to mute. I would rather if city centers... Uh, all city centers should come with two food, two production, rather than um, city centers being better if you settle on a plains hill tile. I don't think that's a good gameplay mechanic. It's fine, it's whatever, um, but I think the game would be better if the yields on the city center were standardized up by one production. Um, what else would I remove from the game? There's very little I would change about Civ because I think it's actually a very, like, I don't want to say the word perfect, but it's incredibly well designed and incredibly refined and incredibly well balanced in a general sense. Like there are specific things that are problematic for sure. Um, but like, I don't want, I don't like a, a conversation about, oh, here's this very specific thing that we would change. Um, isn't particularly interesting compared to like, oh, here's like a general thing that like actually affects the gameplay in like a very wide reaching and interesting way. Um, do you have any travel plans for next year? I think I'm going to Vancouver or somewhere, maybe Seattle. I'm going to, West Coast America. Uh, I'll probably go back to Bristol as long as I'm still welcome there. Didn't do any crazy shit, so I should be fine. Um, and then I'm also going to go to. I don't know, maybe a few places. You know. Well, let us know this, where uh, the nuke is so that uh, the second thing I changed the game I'm thinking about not one nuke no well, where is smart materials that's what we need to know um I would give a way to get production that isn't reliant ent entirely on mines. Mines are just way too dominant in game. Honestly, I would just remove production from the game. Now, you know what? You kind of need production in these games. As much as I bitch and I moan that production is a problematic resource, it kind of is part of what defines these games in a really big way. So you kind of have to have production. Yeah, I don't think you can really take it away. The problem is production is just like, from a game design standpoint, production is a dog shit resource to try and like actually design a game around. Um, they kind of managed to do it in this game. I'd like to see, I wish I think they did an okay job of making alternatives to production more viable, like faith and gold. But I don't think they did enough. I think they could do more to make that even more relevant. Um, that would be my but take. But if I'm so amusing, BB, it looks like you and I are going to be stuck on an island again together. <laughs> We're stuck together no matter what.
What if I feed VB a bunch of gold? Assuming we just he vote, could be yeah. his island. No, no, no. I wish I could have colonies be able to spawn new sieves, like two or three hat. It's not really a small thing. I Should I Sinn Féin win the next age. Ireland election? I don't oh. think so. I don't yeah. think Sinn Féin is an effective <laughs> or useful political Remember, party. Remember, if you knew a lake, it represents one. Um, Sinn Féin is a very dangerous political please, party to allow please to win. Please, somebody name a city Moy so we can nuke it. Anything. <laughs> I don't uh, think anyone has nuked. I think that's the chief problem. Yeah. That's the problem is that there's not really any good alternatives either, I, so they probably will win. I am still discovering airstrip. Green stuff, party, so I'm yeah, green party. I've guy. almost got flight. What's an airstrip? Good question. Yeah, I'll I'll know I'm actually at uranium right now. How like, do you think they can make naval and air combat oh, man. more integrated into the game? I think naval and air is integrated into the game pretty well. Do you think that a focus on production is a major flaw in humankind? Yes. It is the central flaw of humankind, is how the structure of things are priced. The central flaw of every single one of Amplitude's 4x games is how production works. Um, they just don't seem to be able to make a satisfying production system. Would it make sense to increase the population modifier? Which population modifier? Nerds for What could they kids. do to try to change that? That's Nerds like a really kids. big and complicated question. It's way easier to identify a problem and not a solution. Oh, thank you. Um, because thank you. identifying a problem I don't is have all I have oh. to do is thank you, assess a system that currently exists and say, oh, look, this is wrong with it. Trying to identify a solution is like identifying a system that already exists, identifying a problem with it, and then abstracting a solution from the from the problem. But here's the thing, even potentially identifying the problem doesn't necessarily lead you to getting a good abstraction of the solution. Does that make sense? Um, and in order to actually test a solution to a problem, you have to be able to test it. Like, Or in order to be able to evaluate a solution to a problem, you have to be able to test it. It's very easy to argue about how things should be and how they should, like, uh, it's very easy to get into traps of like, this is a good idea, this is what they should do. Um, and the developer could spend, you know, dozens or thousands of dollars or whatever, developing, prototyping, testing those ideas, and they end up just not being, like, worth it. Maybe it's like 5% more fun, but is 5% more fun worth like a quarter like a quarter of a year worth of development time? Probably not, right? Because these things no, are really budget. They have a limited amount of money. I, my empire? Oh, no, it's complicated. oh no, the capital got liberated back to Yes, Sassy. thank you for liberating me! Rebellion oh, in eight turns. Oh, no. Wait, somebody liberated the capital? Yeah, Who TBH, did that? That's the answer what I expected. Happened? Me? Potato it's McCluskey. Me. <laughs> oh, because she was your friend the whole time. If I sent you a Civ 6 balance mod I'm working oh, yeah. on for you, send it to me in Discord DM. My DMs are open on Discord as long as you've joined my own things. personal right? YouTube Discord. Right? See? <laughs> Don't mess with the best. I didn't mess with him at all. I messed with, I messed with the horse lady. <laughs> <laughs> and Leash. Leash just decided that that wasn't acceptable. Yeah, but like, you know, messing with me would be like messing with my friends. So you understand where they're coming Man. from. I didn't mess with him or his teammate. <laughs> and I'm reaping the rewards of that decision. <laughs> I'm fucking rapidly running out of energy here. <laughs> That's what it took to get you to declare <laughs> Thank war. you, Liege! The horse li lady lives on! For one turn. For I'm one. Lost. For the one. <laughs> Let's go. <sighs> Why? Well, the world 
is flooding. Potato, what's your top three sieves? What dimension am I evaluating these sieves upon? My own personal just preference of sieves that I like to play? How powerful they are? The best culture sieves? Like, I don't know. Probably is, if it's just my favorite sieves, the sieves that I really enjoy to play. Uh, Khmer? Khmer, rather. Um... Got Kamai. That covers like my religious and culture. I had to do it. Then we have probably America. <laughs> it was taken back. Teddy, <laughs> uh, Teddy Roosevelt. They the, the, they the they Moose attacked Moose. me again, like, Liege. Uh, yeah, no Bull Moose Teddy. Thank you though. <laughs> thank you for freeing my people for like five for yeah, like ten the seconds. Horse lady's back. So Kamai, yeah, Bull yeah, Moose yeah. Teddy, and the, the casting booth is just like laughing right. The ink yeah, maybe? you'd go get him. I'd have to play around with more sieves. I haven't played a lot of the sieves in a while. Oh, the seas are rising. Oh, no. <laughs> yes, they are. There is a new, uh, I really like the Cree Australian the and... Yeah, oh, Korean Australian God, music is like I two of my Dave. favorites, I think. I see a giant death robot. The Mongolian music is sick, too. GDR? Oh, no. And you named it? I am actually like so fucking tired right now. I'm actually falling asleep. No, 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 I didn't. Please. Yes. Why? Why? Why did you not? Why did you ignore my battering ram of death and just leave it stranded in between empires? I don't need this ram. I'm so sorry. My goal is to liberate Horse Lady. That's fair. And it's a wonderful goal. <gasps> Thank you. They should have given Lincoln a unique unit like Freedom Fighter or some shit. Why? Did he do much freedom fighting? Dude, I am so... Dude, I am so hungry for some like McDonald's chicken tenders and like sweet chili or barbecue sauce right now. Why, mm. why doesn't McDonald's open at this time of night here? Dude, I'm so hungry. My God. I totally agree with you. I can taste the barbecue sauce, dude. The city is mine and no one will take it. Except for maybe that giant GDR. Oh my gosh. Uh-oh, stop cheering. You don't have 24-hour Maccas? Nah, not generally. I don't think so. Let me have a look. What's going on? What's open food? Why is this late? Usually are we crap. not ending the game at the end of this era? Are we waiting for a nuke to go? Bro, I think yeah, I just actually have to leave this game. Yeah, one, really one, one, one second, I'm one second. I'm falling guys. asleep. So I don't know how oh, much here's the longer it's going to be to build a nuke. Falling asleep. Hey, Nystagmus. What's up? How's everyone doing? So easy. Uh, I'm doing great. Last, uh, my empire last, has done better. 
only. I'm being told last. This will be the last turn. Hello, folks. Yes, confirmed. This will be the last turn. Nukes are not coming because he's if building something else. Okay only the Every, most everyone scuffed. Everyone good with last turn and dubbing Liege as oh, Liege yes. and Lego as the Vix. Only the Yay, most Yay, Liege! Uh, Thank no, you! No, no, not me. Not me. You're not going me. <laughs> he's yeah, GDRs. I thought nukes would come, and then he's building GDRs. I'm like, okay. It's not well. Liege is the winner. Only. It's Liege and Whitney. Yeah, that's, very, that's, very what much. that's what I said. Yeah, Liege, Liege and Whitney. Did, yeah. did, did Sassy vassal at all? <laughs> it's definitely oh, no, Sassy no. came with it. No, she she win no it. Sassy, the reason why I took that last city in the north, I thought that was her last one, but she refused to quit. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Sassy, absolute hero. Oh, guys, that was such a fun game to watch. Oh my gosh. That was just... An that was a fun treat. game to play. Thank you so much, everybody. That was just amazing. It, Sassy, the fact that you went down to one city and settled the escape city. And that Van Brad on the same island. Yeah, 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 do you guys know you're on the same island here? Yeah, we do. Yeah, she oh, called so, it out. So funny. That, We've been so fighting funny. on the island, too. <laughs> That's even more funny. Oh my gosh. Okay, it's... we're going to wrap up here. I'm going to pause it just so that we don't have any annoying stuff. So, like, too bad if you have GDRs. Some... I'm not saying who has GDRs, but yeah. if somebody has GDRs and they... <laughs> it's too bad you're not going to be able to use them. You should have used a nuke. <laughs> no, they did. They did. They, they did to get oh, a Leash, shot at Leash oh, got my city back for me for, like, freed, yeah. freed, freedom. And then yeah. uh, Foibles, Mr. I'm not aggressive at all, came in <laughs> and took it. Yeah, we, we, we saw it all. Nobody we expected saw it. it all. Nobody yeah. expected it. <laughs> The Egyptian Inquisition? Assault? Assault? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, uh, let's give everyone just an opportunity to kind of just say some last words. So we're going to start in alphabetical order. Uh, so one leaf, uh, you are or you are first. Well, what do I say? How I feel? Yeah. How you My feel? Thoughts? You raised a total of $38,171 at the end That's of this. That's absolutely insane. I feel like I haven't even made that much money in my entire life. You guys are awesome. <laughs> thank you so much for all of the wonderful donations. And thank you so much for having me be a part of this because this was super fun. Albeit intimidating, but I learned a whole lot. Um, apparently not much past making more than six cities, but... <laughs> Okay, I had a great really time. Well. Yeah, one lady, well. you did great, and then your spawn was very rough. And also, you, I think, had so much culture early that you were the main reason oh, why yawning. Liege didn't win the culture victory that he was trying to go for. So, <laughs> oh, I'm done. That, Sorry, that, that, that was That was a real impact. Boast. Yay. Great. Boast. Do you have any uh, final, th final words? Yeah, just uh, rad that we raised so much money. Uh, for the Base. kids, um, once again, I had mentioned it before, but like, when we went, when we met the gamers outreach people in uh, at TwitchCon, you get to see like the physical machines that they actually, you know, that your money goes to, and so it's Huge. cool that we're raising enough money to basically build like eleven or twelve of these machines, which is pretty sick. They take these machines, they have consoles and TVs in them, and they send them to hospitals so that kids that are in those hospitals can play video games. And so the fact that we're able to do that and raise a lot of money once again just by playing a silly game is is pretty cool. So thank you everybody, and thank you everybody for uh, for donating. Thank you, Bose. The great words. Foibles, you're next. Howdy. Well, I've got a child on my lap, so hopefully she doesn't interrupt me. But uh, <laughs> it was a great experience. I mean, I think we did so much more this year just game-wise to be uh, more entertaining for the viewers. And I really hope everybody appreciated that, um, that participated and joined in. Um, I just wanted to say thank you to Moy and uh, the Civ Show and PB for all you guys putting uh, a lot of effort into making this much better, uh, you know, stepping up. I guess you could say from last year. I mean, we raised a lot of money money last year. We raised a lot of money this year, but overall the experience has just been so much better um, in my personal opinion. And uh, it's been great to bring on new people, get new uh, content creators involved. So super happy to have supported a new organization, have a new setup this year. And uh, it was a lot of fun to participate in. So thank you. Uh, I want to ask, how was Parsec for everybody? Was it super laggy? Was it not too bad? Like. There was some Overall, lag. not too Pretty. bad at all. Like, definitely some lag and stuff, but like, I way better than I would have expected. <sighs> awesome. Okay, good to know. Leash, newcomer. Newcomer and very happy to to take part of uh, Civ Give. Uh, it's it is the first time for me uh, with you guys, and uh, I'm very glad to 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 play with you. I know there is maybe a, a bit uh, level difference, but. Uh, 
I think it's we don't care about this in this kind of event, and uh, we are doing for a very great cause. Uh, I can oppose you because you you doing that uh, since uh, some time now, and uh, it's not simple to do charity events. So very well played to all of you, and uh, thank you to inviting me and uh, Gigi Limango for the game. Thank you, Liege. Thank you, thank you buddy. Uh, Lumbago, the other winner. So I just have to say, I woke up this morning with a soul, uh, sore throat, not feeling well, ran to the store to get some like snacks before the thing, knocked over the, the uh, chai, the hot chai latte I was really looking forward to drinking and just spent $5 on, just totally oh. spilled on the ground. I was like, today's going to be a disaster. Couldn't get the game set up, all that stuff. And then what? how it turned out, I was like, this is not going to go well for me. And then now I'm on the winning team. Woohoo! I just wanted to remind everybody Did that you? I'm better than all of you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Thank nice. you so much. Yes, 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 yes. Great, yes, great yes. use of a speech. <laughs> She's going to be able to like, much better. Have, have the title over all of us the entire year. <laughs> oh, yeah. I am. I'm going to hold it over your head. Like, we're just going to have these conversations. going to be like, well, did you win the Civ Give? <laughs> I'm sorry, but as the... Uh, as the current champion of the Civ game, I have to say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can hold right. everybody's hands. Yeah, man. But thank right. you so much for inviting me to be part of it this year. I've had a blast, and I just could not imagine anything more fun um, than playing with people that I admire and have always respected, and who basically are the people who taught me how to play Civ. So. so thank you. <laughs> thank you, Lumbago. We were happy to have you guys have you on. Uh, Michael on Spot TV. You are next. Oh my God, this Suleiman is great, by the way, in the 15%. I <laughs> you can look only so say, good. Yeah. I, yeah, oh my goodness. Like at the Go beginning, ahead, it was slow, but then it ramped up nicely. But again, I don't know if it was the best choice to go holy sites or not, but it, it did what it did. Uh, I can only say I'm amazed of like we managed to get this 12 man game going you know, without a hitch, no problems for turn 125. We only had one single issue and we solved it quickly. That was amazing. Uh, also, much appreciated for all of the donations from uh, everybody during the um, tournament. We we had uh, what thirty eight thousand yeah, gathered over thousand. here. That's that's amazing. That that is amazing, and I, I can only hope uh, we can do more in the in the next tournament, in the next Thank event. You. Thank you, Michael. We're gonna skip over myself and Astagmas, so we're gonna go to Potato. Hey, what's up, guys? Um, it's a little bit late for me, so I'm a little tired, but. Uh, this has been a wonderful game, <clears throat> a wonderful game to participate in uh, with a bunch of lovely, wonderful people, too. Uh, and also, uh, it's insane to see so many people uh, just display so much generosity, giving money, especially to a really good cause, which is, you know, it always it always humbles me a little bit to see people give so much uh, to other people. Not only their time, but their money. And... Uh, God, you know, I can't help but feel that maybe we should have embargoed Leash. <laughs> 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 I, I, I would have felt oh, a little bit mad because I, because me and Moy thought we were muted and that Moy told me that we were muted and then we weren't. And then I said, embargo <laughs> Leash! Embargo Leash! <laughs> 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 so Whoops. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but, I'd be like, uh, by the way, I was right and no one listened yeah. to me, so... <laughs> I like how yeah. you voted uh, Pito, and then afterwards, you're like, I'm going to vote for everything that's not being voted yeah. for right now, because I don't like this uh, democracy. Yeah, that was, that was yeah. great. I, I apologize for the poor performance of the Congress, Potato. I'm sorry. No, no, it's fine. Uh, no, it was, it was, uh, it was a ton of fun. Um, I just, uh, I thought it'd be more fun if I just started being like a heel. I was like, I refuse to participate in democracy. Yeah. <laughs> it was great. It was great. No, was that good. was great. That was yeah. such a great uh, uh, thing to say, yeah. Uh, I think that's, that's basically everything I have to say. Huge shout out to everyone who organized this, Moy and the gang. Um, they put in an incredible amount of work. Uh, thank you to Firaxis, all those guys. You know, the peop people who need to be thanked will get thanked at some point during this whole thing. So uh, rather than go over them multiple times, I'll just say thank you, everyone. Uh, I love you all very much. Thank you, Potato. Thanks for coming by, too, because I know you have Jingle Jam going on right now. So make sure you be too, yeah, you guys all tune into Jingle Jam going on all December, if I'm not mistaken. And so uh, he will be there. Potato will be there. So go and tune uh, into that. Right. I, I actually ahead. just got home from it. It's it's on for another two days, and uh, it was there it was a ton of fun. Okay. So check it out. <clears throat> awesome. And th that's also a wonderful cause. So check them out. So, 
Mike, I actually got to hear that because you were like right behind me. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> oh my goodness. What a game. So much fun. Uh, I'm so glad that we like that's amazing. 38k is just fantastic. We were like we set a very, very ambitious goal this year, going 50% above our goal last year. And we'll, you know, we're not going to stop that. We're, we'll, we'll probably still push next year for, for 75K until we get Knowing full well that that means that the next one will be even higher. So <laughs> um, this was a labor of love. So much effort behind the scenes. We had meetings and delays and so many meetings. pushing forward and pushing backwards. Sometimes it was like three steps forward, seven steps back. Uh, but we did it. Um, there's always... Stagmus, uh, thank you for support. Thank you uh, for being the Jeopardy and everything. Uh, PB, thank you for casting. You guys, like, I heard you guys in the background. Uh, the casting, it was the icing on the cake. Uh, I think everybody just loved tuning in and listening to your guys' excitement. And every time you had a loud laugh, I was like, oh, man, what's going on? Because <laughs> I can't look. <laughs> um, my brother at arms, Moy, uh, we did it. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm proud of our goal. I'm proud of what we did. 85. Right. That's that 35, 38,000 is 38 right. units. You know, it's a great way to look at it. That's 38 um, units that are going to be bringing all sorts of kids, all sorts of awesome fun uh, in, in times that aren't that great. So uh, that's just such a spectacular way to visualize it. Thank you for all of our new players and all of our old players that came out and got your communities out. Uh, I know that this is a big effort, it's a big commitment to like come and, and dedicate the day and, and all the time leading up to it. You've got lives and all sorts of stuff, so I know that's a really big deal. Uh, and a really big shout out to Invictus Games here in Toronto for uh, hosting us. Um, they, it, 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 I love that the solution in the end was we're going to go retro or now by computer standards going oh, go land man. and i'm sure we all remember having right. land parties in our basements and stuff growing up so this was kind of like a super land party with some of my favorite people uh, that are in this amazing community we are the best fans in gaming so thank you so much everyone and fraxis of course thank you so much for all the support throughout this was so much fun uh that's it for me well done everybody well done Thank you, Zoe. Very good words. Sassy. Very nice. All right. Just want to make sure I'm. I've got it clicked. Um, I, I want to thank everyone, um, especially the Civ Show. I I joined you guys. I was the first lady in the group. Yeah. Last year, and it was Gosh, it was very challenging. So and what really encouraged me to do that was TGM because he's such a wonderful streamer and such a beautiful, amazing friend. So I got to compliment him. And then you guys made my experience so, like, engaging and, and encouraging. And everyone was just so kind. And um, it was just, it was lovely to be a part of it. So it was really, it was really fun to come back. And um, I love that we're doing a charity. And I love that we're doing something to help children in hospitals. Because that's really tough for these children to be in these places. And I want to thank the community for the donations. I want to thank everyone for the generosity. I want to thank everyone for helping me be horse lady. <laughs> yeah. I had a lot for of fun. Thanks. For the record, Sassy, uh, me and PB both gave you MVP. Yeah. For just having the bravery of going to early war and it's causing chaos and then getting back and then basically getting crushed afterwards. But we yeah, gave you the I, MVP. Uh, or just I just agree with that there. decision. Hey, too, I, I kept boys. things so. positive. I, I had words on the screen, like the words, the, the game. I kept things lively and singing and we were just having a blast. So that's that's all that matters. We're doing this for kids. Absolutely. And are you not entertained? <laughs> <laughs> it was awesome to watch. It was great. <laughs> Good job, Sassy. Yeah, way to go. Uh, game mechanic. Uh, shout out to everybody that's uh, that's here, obviously participating, but but the Civ community at large. Uh, Thirty-eight thousand is insane. I, I want to personally thank everybody. Uh, we, we hit our five thousand goal uh, personally, and that's that's an incredible amount of money uh, to, to to raise. And I don't know. Shout out to the Civ show guys. I mean, this started as just a tiny little uh passion project and it still is obviously all the work that goes into it i know it's it's crazy all year round you you guys probably don't appreciate that like in the following weeks of this there's a lot of coordination and discussion that goes into next year's event 
Um, but shout out to the Civ community at whole. I, I, I feel very, very lucky and blessed to have stumbled into such uh, such a magnanimous group of, of generous, enthusiastic people. I, I, the amount of joy that, that Civ gives us uh, and, and, and the amount of uh, camaraderie um, that, that, that comes out of this is, is truly something special. And we should all fe feel very, very proud of, uh, of the community. So thank you. Shout out to everybody. You are all amazing. Thank you, TGM. Van to the man, Bradley. What's up? Uh, I'll go through the list real quick. Uh, first off, thank you to Gamers Outreach. Um, last year, we, we kind of all did a, a similar type of thing, but we were all fundraising for slightly uh, different charities. And I think it through just for the messaging and the event and everything, uh, it was super cool for everyone's donations to kind of be going to the same thing that we all believed in. And Gamers Outreach was nothing but kind and welcoming and very, very supportive and excited for this event. Um, so it was super cool to not only be raising money for a great cause, but that that great cause was was excited to have us on board uh, to do that. So that was awesome. Um, Civ community, thank you so much for turning up every single time we ask you to to, to do one of these events. Um, we, we know times are a little bit hard right now and they've been hard through the pandemic for the last couple of Civ gives as well. Um, but you guys turned up again and, and donated a, a, a wonderfully, just huge amount of money uh, to charity today so so pat yourselves on the back thank you so much um moy and the the gang at the civ show thank you again so much for organizing this uh what the people watching don't see is all of our discord messages arguing about map type <laughs> like like you think organizing <laughs> oh the, the broad thing of the event is is hard uh we make it as hard as possible by arguing over like new world maps and stuff in the discord um so so they definitely have their handful so big thank you for for organizing this again um, and then to everyone who participated, thank you so much. It was wonderful um, to, to be playing again with all the people we've played with before. It was wonderful to have all of the new folks who've never played in this event before. Um, it's always uh, one of the things I, I've always believed about the, the Civ community is that a, a rising tide kind of raises all ships. And so welcoming in new people each and every time, I, I think is a very fun way to, to freshen up the event and make everyone else who, who creates now and in the future wants to create content feel like they have a home in our little crew and they can be part of these events so that's great um and then uh finally i just want to talk a little bit about perspective um for a lot of us um i won't speak for everyone else but if you had told me like three years ago when i hit go live for the first time uh that i'd be end up at a charity event on a team with potato mcwhiskey i i would have said you are absolutely crazy and so um just looking back over time this is a, a really special event to, to be a part of and uh, uh thank you everybody for for being a part of it with me Listen, the real... Thank you, very Bradley. <laughs> Appreciate that very much. And the the last... real person you should be impressed by is Moisos, because all I did was show up. <clears throat> That's all we needed you to do. We had that expectation going in, because you're a jingle jam, and it, we, we wanted to like, hey, man, you're like a Civ icon. We, we still want you to be here, because this is, a, this is a, a big Civilization event. So, like, we had that expectation of you coming into it, so that's all you needed to do, and you, you did it. So, like, hey, man, thank you. <laughs> White and nerdy. Last one. Hey, well, uh, speaking of new We're people, um, super, super excited to uh, be officially playing this year. Uh, last year, I got to, I got thrown last minute into the casting bench, which was an amazing experience. But uh, playing, anytime I'm playing, like with the Civ Show guys and with TGM, Bose, and Potato, and all the, uh, the whole, uh, say the whole list, obviously. But I always have a, an absolute blast every time I get to play with you, um, girls, guys, and girls. Um, so, and I got to do like literally everything I wanted to do. Sassy caused a lot of problems for everyone else. So I got to sit here and <laughs> get all of my yields, get all my Martian and Temenanki uh, yields, and my, all my preserves, get a six, a six National Park Golden Gate Bridge. I have oh, Biosphere good. coming on. Like I had so much fun, but of course, like in terms of the, the charity, um, I did not think I would raise this much. I ended up raising over $1,500. Awesome. I, I made the, awesome. the the very ambitious goal for 2000, um, which we do have a 500 turn score victory with all victory conditions on. If someone was sitting around and still wanted to be generous, but I, I really, really can't ask for any more. This is a fantastic experience and uh, props to everyone. This was a lot of work going in. I hope uh, everyone enjoyed the overlays <laughs> that were used on the main cast. Shut it you up. Every excited. time I use them, buddy. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> I heard there's a there's a quite a few shout outs, so I appreciate you. I appreciate that. And um yeah, like yeah, just being more and more involved every year. It it, it 
brings me happy, hmm. bring me, brings me joy. So thank you everyone. And thank you uh, to everyone uh, that donated, especially or, or viewed or shared. Um, not everyone has the same resources to contribute to the type of event. So everyone that donated what they could, thank you so much. Uh, let's go to Nystagmus next, yeah. if you have anything. Mm -hmm. uh, what else can there be to say from everyone else? Say, you know, thanks everybody for coming in and participating. Uh, I would say the same thing that was echoed before, like three years ago, if you told me that we'd be doing this, I'd tell you you were crazy. Um, and so, <laughs> you know, I think we started with a very humble goal back in the first Civ Give two years ago. Um, and so I think I'm very proud of what we were able to put together today, and it was a lot of fun. Um, and, and what you nerdy, the amount of time we were talking about all your preserves and your yields. Yeah. You gotta go back and watch go back and watch the VOD, trust me. <laughs> um, so I heard yeah. there's a cinnamon challenge. <laughs> Someone no, no. That? So I said that you're always gonna build a preserve. And if you didn't, I was gonna do the cinnamon cha challenge. Uh, so yeah, that, preserves that have was their place. They have their place. And so we always knew that you're that was your favorite your your favorite district basically right so uh, but yeah uh, kudos to everybody for showing up having fun and for a great cause as someone who's you know um, a healthcare worker myself it, it is a great cause and it will go forward to help a lot of kids who are sick so uh, thank you for everybody for donated and uh, uh, see you next year. Do you have anything, Pepper my brother? Uh, yeah, I obviously would just love to echo the sentiment, sentiments that everybody has made already and it make my job easy talking here because I 100% agree and will endorse what everyone said. It's just been absolutely wonderful experience and uh, I'm really happy that I was able to get to cast this year because wow, that was fun and that was such a fun game to watch. And the fact that it's for charity is just amazing and we raised so much money. So thank you everybody for doing all of this. And I just, I don't know, it's just a surreal experience every time, but um, being on the casting side was a lot of fun and uh, we'll see if I do it next year, but I'll be casting or playing if Moya will have me. Yeah, you'll be far away from us. I Well, unless <laughs> I'm not, Actually, <laughs> we'll see, asleep, right? I don't know. we'll see. But either, either way, either way, it's been, Anyway, just every time is just absolutely great. So fun, such an amazing lineup of people playing. Huge shout out to the new players. This year is just super fun to see the impact everyone had on the game. And I'm really glad that, uh, that yeah, it can just open it, keep having it be a thing that opens up more doors yeah. for people, but mostly just have it be a way to raise money for people who need it. It's been truly yeah. amazing thank you everybody yeah i'll wrap it up but i'll keep it short and sweet uh we did we raised thirty eight thousand one hundred and ninety one dollars i know we set out a, a goal of seventy five thousand. it was very ambitious and we understand that yeah but it doesn't matter that we didn't hit that because we still made a difference in a lot of kids lives with this thirty eight thousand. so don't feel like everyone here don't feel like you didn't achieve any goals don't feel like you we didn't do anything special because thirty eight thousand dollars is still extremely special and it's something that we should all be proud of and you should all keep your heads held high. Uh, I wanna thank Parsec for providing the technology for uh, remote connecting to our computers here and now allowing us to create a LAN game virtually. I wanna thank Invictus Game Station for hosting us as well. If you're here in Toronto, Invictus Game Station is the place to go if you wanna play games. Also, thank you to Zach who was on, uh, the CEO of Gamers Outreach who was on for an interview. And thank you to Ed Beach who was yeah. on the lead uh lead not developer lead what's the word Nine. designer lead designer of um of, of <laughs> civilization i I'm, I'm struggling here it's been a long time. and i want to apologize actually we were supposed to have one more interview and i kind of lost track of time oh wow and so i want to shout out to ronnie who ronnie kahana oh, who yeah. i messaged and I'm, i apologize to her we we it was there was so much going on yeah that i just i completely lost track of time so i want to apologize to her and still thank her for being on board mm -hmm. and just wanting to be here uh do, but i do want to apologize and i do want to acknowledge that she was supposed that to be here did. and it was yeah. completely my fault that she was not on the stream so ronnie thank you for doing your job and i didn't do mine <laughs> so i apologize for that but i have nothing else to say i want to thank everybody all the community 
of here Civ fans you really are the best fans in gaming we always raise a lot of money every year and I think this has been an incredible event all the streamers thank you for your time I know you guys thank me for the time that I put in but you guys put in the same amount of time streaming every single day and building the communities that we, we can then bring to this event so you can thank me all you want but I'm not gonna I'll accept it but I'm gonna thank all of you because all of you put in as much work as I did and you're gonna take that compliment because I'm not gonna let you not take it <laughs> uh that's really it I have nothing else to say it's been a long day I think everybody wants to maybe just unwind and, and, and head off so thank you everybody for coming in this has been the Civ Give 2022 it's been awesome and we will see you hopefully all next year for the Civ Give 2023 Good night, everybody. Thank you. Thank you, bye everybody. Bye. Bye, bye. Good night. Good night. Have a great one. Good night. Great stuff. Great stuff. Good, Good night. night. Thanks for everything, y'all. Have a great night. Bye. Love you all very much. Catch us later. <laughs>